Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Alright, we're gonna jump into this battle where we left off last time. We're ambushing the dwarf endgame crisis. It's the first army we've encountered. It says valiant defeat, but I think we'll be fine. I mean, if we knock out the artillery early, it should be fine. And we, we got some stuff here to work with. But yeah, I was actually really looking forward to this stream because uh, I'm enjoying this campaign. Despite the fact that uh, Beastmen are definitely not as fun to play in Warhammer 3 as they are in 2. But they're still fun to play. I guess the 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 rampage is more balanced now. It's just it was so overpowered in two, and that made it fun. Oh well. The healing this morning was crazy, good stuff. I know, right? That was ridiculous. All right, so let's have a look here. I think if we send the minotaurs in here. Uh, just watch out for gyrocopters. And these guys as well. And send Torox there. Guys, just shoot at whatever, but I'll move you back. I'll have these go for, um, for this. What we want to do is, like, just get rid of the artillery and then bail on the, on the fight there. I think. That all seems good to go. Ready to do this battle? Let's do this. I'm break this commit. That's why I move. Just move them back a little bit. Okay, start getting out of here. With them. Pop down the. I've got overcast with this. Okay, get them out of there as well. They took out most of the missile units. So I'll be able with that. Let's get them out. We don't want to take too much damage because we've got other fights to do. Well, we walked out of there with like next to no damage. These guys here didn't take any casualties. We massively disrupted them. Okay, you guys can run up that again. That should be fine. Yeah, those are just summons, no big deal there. This one's got the potion of healing, so that's good. Watch out for these. Okay, time for the next load of summons. Good, we got rid of the Lord. No experience for him. Look at these gyrocopters, look what they're doing, they're messing us around. I think they might even be trying to get us to shoot our own troops. 
which we're not. I think that's what they're trying to do. Get out of there again. Okay, let's move back again. Yeah, these gyrocopters, they're really sort of messing with around, but it's no big deal. How does Malago simplify global cost reduction for spells? Nah, they got rid of that, unfortunately. Yeah, they got rid of it. And there's the army losses. Okay, you guys get back over here. Let's run them down. Oh, we didn't destroy any gyrocopters. Nah, we're not going to get any of them. I think that worked out pretty well. Yeah, we barely took any damage. Considering it said Valiant Defeat, that's pretty damn good, I think. I don't know, you tell me. Why aren't you using Viletob in that big blob? I was using it. I did use it. I was using a lot of different spells. Viletide is 0% armor piercing, dude. 0%. Against dwarfs, why would I use Viletide? Brace Scream is 100% armor piercing. Should be using Brace Scream against them. Or, um, Traitorkin. Because that, that bypasses armor, I think. Can Torox kick people down cliffs? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't see any reason why he couldn't. Need more minnows? I know, I'm, I'm gonna try to get them. I need dread. I need dread. Imperial Devastated to the Super Chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the Super Chat. Thanks for the support. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna get more minotaurs. Definitely. I just need some dread. And we get dread by fighting battles. Keep in mind, it's only turn 19. <laughs> like, Legend, how come you don't have a Minotaur spam on turn 19? God, you dread. There's so much stuff to buy with dread. And uh, upgrading unit um, capacity is one of the least cost-effective dread usage. Damn, that's... I think I did pretty well, though. What is the difference between Valiant and Decisive Defeats? Valiant Close. It, it, Valiant means that you do, do a lot of damage to them, but you still lose. Close means you maybe wipe out half of their army, um, but you still lose. And Decisive is like, you just get totally wrecked. Could Torox beat Archeon? Um, not sure. I'm not sure. Um... Torox doesn't do magical damage, even with his um, weapon when we get him, I, th I think. 
Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, look at that. Only 125 dread. It's like I was talking about yesterday. You don't get much from a big fight. Mm. So I'll go with the replenishment because we need to keep fighting. Now we got 11, uh, no, 13 more points to distribute in total. Uh, yeah, we do need a co apocalyptic vision, so I should probably work towards that. Um, I've already got all the upgrades here for Minotaurs. I went with the melee defense as opposed to melee attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. Uh, this one here, no point in increasing capacity for a unit I can't recruit yet. That's just not that important. Armor-piercing weapon strength plus 15 is barely anything. That's not a big deal. Uh, he doesn't need leadership. I guess I'll increase ammunition for Ungols. I, I just gotta get through this red line to get to the next spot. Uh, Dabble Dabba Data did a photo of Hey, Hello, just happy to see you finally playing Beastmen since you barely recruit high tier units while you play other factions due to cost efficiency. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just don't need to. But thanks, Super Chat, yeah. For the most part, anyway. Didn't get Trader Kid on this one. Any further dealing we have must lead to bloodshed. Uh, Fakel Oreo did a 1.79 pound super chat. My bad, I thought Viletide was the AP one. That's okay, dude. No worries. Thanks for the chat. That's all right. So, looking at this, we can now start increasing our capacity for these, but we should try to make sure... Okay, we're... Yeah, we should get this one before we start doing that, so that it's uh, a bit cheaper. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, we should beat that up again. Finish it off, just because it'll give us another momentum. Hang on. I need to have a look here at what I've currently got on. So I've got that for three more turns. And we can reduce the cost of gore balls. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Should I fight this manually or auto resolve it? I kind of feel like I should fight it manually, but I'm gonna auto it. <laughs> Please don't wreck my army. Yeah. Yeah, it hurt my army a fair bit. Def I probably should have fought that manually. 
The end game event has started. Yep. Earliest end game. Alright, we could go and blow this up. Can't see what's out this way. No idea where Malekith is. Okay, cool. Alright, well, we got uh, three momentum there now. Did we not gain a momentum from killing this? Innate momentum? What the fuck does that mean? Um, hmm. Oh! It expired. Right, 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 right. That's what happened. I ran out of, mom of rampage. Oh, uh, well, these things happen. Alright, I can't see myself blowing up any of these settlements here, so I might as well just perform the ritual. Oh, wait, 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 Temple of Cain. Okay, no, we're not going to blow that up. I mean, we're going to blow that up. Alright, got to be careful coming through here. I could really use a scout to go ahead and just see what's going on. If you wouldn't mind going to check what's going on over here. You waste my time. Oh, I should be able to make it there next turn if I move in raid stance this turn, which is kind of like our forced march. Yeah. If anyone comes down from over here that we don't want to fight, we can just avoid it. I can see that there's a large army here. Now, we know they spawned with eight um, armies. And we just took out one of them. I doubt any of their other armies got wiped out. Oh yeah, that's right. We oh, maybe I should have gone to him. It's too late now. I do need to recruit more minotaurs. All right, well we got this that we can spend. I don't have to do it right this very second. Same thing with this one here. Because it could be a little while before we uh, get another rampage. Well, just, you know, it should could be a short while before we get another rampage going. Okay. Yeah, it kind of sucks with Malagor. I don't think he's got any good global bonuses anymore, which means I'd knock him out of being 10 out of 10. Without global bonuses, you can't get 10 out of 10. Hero action success chance is not a big deal. Yeah, having... Having that taken away from him, Malagor is no longer 10 out of 10. He's still good. He's still good. He's just no longer 10 out of 10. They knocked him off that. Have you tried Albrook yet? If yes, is it any fun? Uh, I haven't, but it's on my to-do list to cover. Huh? I want harpies. Garbage. Alright, so we could start purchasing some upgrades for, um, let's start getting some extra minotaurs. Could.
Let me just have a look at uh, heroes that we can recruit at the moment. We've got a Nurgle's Foul Stink show up over here, which would be good for Malagor. Since we're going to make him a stinky boy. Yep. Okay, send this one here. It will be a chaos. Down this way here to meet up with Malagor. Legend, do you, you Empire Knights are now viable after their speed buff? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. What do you mean you don't want herpes? Right. Um, wait, you neglected Arcane Conduit for item drop chance and extra skill points and spell? Weird. Yeah, Arcane Conduit is not that big of a deal anymore. It's just, it's just not that big of a deal. Um, it doesn't give you extra wins, it just like... Power recharge rates a little bit faster, but it's just it's just not that big of a deal. Did I not get it? Oh yeah, I haven't got arcane conduit yet. Eh. It's just it's just like it used to be like something that you just had to get, and now it's just not. It just it just isn't. It's it's nerfed, so I don't really care that much about getting it. It's definitely not bad. I don't need it. All right, let's have a look here. The Chalice of Dark Ruin might be better for Malagor instead of a Opal Amulet. Oh, no, Wood Serve. Yeah, no, no, I'll keep that for now. Hmm, that's not really a big deal. Let's fuse those. Pelt of the Shadow Gave. 13% missile resistance. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, hmm. Oh, man. All that for a scroll of leeching. Garbage. Oh, well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Talisman. Yeah. Don't have a lot of amazing items that have just dropped off. Oh, Talisman. No, no, Luckstone's not that good. Yeah, our items at the moment are not amazing. We just need some time to get new ones. The more heroes we get, the faster we'll get um, items. Do you spawn bounce spell items? Yeah, yeah, now. yeah, sure. Um, alright, so there's Sigvald over here, who I definitely want to get his defeat trait for... Yeah, I'll just leave that for now. Lover. Are you a god? Could trade Catch with him, woman. but, you know, it's only a tiny little bit of money. Don't bother. Don't bother. Waste of time. Okay, let's move on. Is is feel so bad to see death magic wizard? You kind of can disable it any time, but I hate death magic so much. Oh, there's Malekith. Oh, so much worse than other three choices, wild especially. Okay. All right. Well, we ambushed him. This is a great opportunity for Malagor to gain a ton of experience. What's his missile resistance up to at the moment? 15%. They probably won't really shoot at him very well. He doesn't have regen though. I'm fairly sure I can win.
Yeah. How is item drop chance calculated? I don't know exactly. I, I just suspect that that every hero increases the item drop chance by a little bit. Some more than others. Every hero, every character attached to an, uh, an army. I could be wrong about that, but I have noticed that I get way more items when I have an army full of heroes than when I only have, like, a lord. Game thinks you don't have a chance. Well, you gotta look at it from their point of view. You know, Dark Shard's definitely better than Ungor's. Malagor is only rank 5. They, they just don't realize just how little they have to work with against Malagor, that's all. I need these two to hide for the time being and have these to hide back. If he just runs off the battlefield, uh, it would just be easier experience. We won't get much loot, but I doubt he'll do that. But we'll see. Because, yeah, he's on Force March. Sometimes the AI will just do that. Now, we've got life leeching, so as we do this, what we really need to do is cast and then wait until that's expired before doing it again. Now, because this is where being on very hard battle difficulty might actually make the game more difficult than normal difficulty, right? Because I don't think they want to shoot me. And if they don't want to shoot me, they can't kill me. Whereas on normal battle difficulty, they would at least shoot at me. Sure, that would be a bad use of their ammo, but at least they would try. So this way, we get refunded a little bit of our Winds of Magic cost every time we do this. And Malagor has already done 10,000 damage. And what we're going to do is run... Yeah, they refuse to shoot at him. They refuse. This is where, you know, people often said, Oh, Legend, what are you going to do in Warhammer 3 when they don't shoot at your lord and you can't waste their ammo? Cool! <laughs> I just won't get shot. You know? Look at that brilliant AI right there. Look how smart they are for not shooting at me. Brilliance. Absolute brilliance. Oh my god, this AI is so hard. So yeah, we still got heaps of reserves. Oh my god, this is disgusting! <laughs> the winds are against us. I think we'll end up. Oh, it'd be good if we ended up with a heroic victory. Funny thing here is that the cowboy is the one rounding up the Dark Elves. Get along here, little do uh, Dark Elves. <laughs> like sheep. So, did the nerfs hurt Torox much? Uh, yeah, the, the, the nerfs are pretty severe, but, um, you know, he's still super strong. I've only killed five, but I've done 41,000 damage. Thing is, yeah, he's just rank five. It's just kind of difficult to cast really quickly at the moment. Well, that's okay, because you really want to get that life leeching anyway. Compensate you for the, for the wins. Okay, we're starting to actually kill him now. Do I have blood pack on? Should have one. Yeah, yeah, it's one. Look out! Enemy spells! Fighting dart! Enemy enchantments! I'll cast cards! Legend, why don't you fight fairly? Just 
to send all your ongles to die for no reason. Dude, has anyone ever seen you Torox Doomstack before? Just curious. Uh, you mean Torox One Man Doomstack? I don't think I'd really want that because Torox would not make a good One Man Doomstack. He's a, he's a good hero, but he doesn't have any mass ability to dish out damage unless he's got the Sword of Cain. Um, I, I just don't think it'd be that interesting. It'd just be another Sword of Cain. Look at me. I'm only strong because I got the Sword of Cain Doomstack. Okay, now we're inflicting kills. Couple more casts we should be done. Now the thing is here, we really do need to kill as many of them as possible in order to get the um, as, as much loot as we possibly can. Now when Malekith routes, I need to bring in this Gorbul to wound him because I need that loot money. Did Flock of Doom get a buff? No, it seems about the same as it is in Wyman 2. Still got plenty of wins. So I want to keep making sure they keep the blob nice and nice and big blob. Otherwise, uh, just not going to get efficient casting. There's the army losses. Gorbul, go and take out um, Malagor. Alright, that should give Malagor a ton of experience. Yeah, I'm really bummed about the loss of his global bonuses. See, there seemed to have a big problem with global bonuses in Wormer 3. They just don't want you to have fun with that stuff. I mean, it, it would have been overpowered, but still. I don't think we're going to kill Malekith. He's just got too much physical resistance. And if we don't kill him, we're not going to get any loot money from from trying. Oh, hang on, hang on. We might be able to get him to... Yeah, yeah, run in that direction. Okay, maybe I will kill him. Okay, that's good. Yeah, as long as we can keep him on the battlefield, that's the main thing. Okay, he's just very close to the edge.
Okay. Well, we killed more than half of them, so that's good. We should get a decent amount of, uh... Well, then again, we didn't really need the loot money. Hmm. Close victory? Yeah, you're always, you're always gonna get close victory in these sort of situations. It wasn't... We weren't outpowered enough for it to be a heroic victory. They also nerfed a Bible line of the basement. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that, that was a bummer as well. Bloody champion distance. Yeah, that's not that much. Um, yeah, might as well just take the uh, the favor. Oh man, <laughs> I'm coming this way. If I buy the Torx campaign but don't own the basement DLC, can I still use the whole roster of units? Yes, but you won't be able to get all of the regiments of renown and you won't get the other legendary lords. You'll only get access to Torox. So you won't really get the full experience. When's the right time to take the post battle reward with replenishment penalty? Uh -huh. Gonna make a, a decision. quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary though, for while the potential rewards are great. So too are the perils. That's only got a 25% protection against um, ambush, Not like but our ambush success chance is 50%. So that means they've only got a 25% chance of ambushing. He hasn't got the ambush trait yet. Stop that. Malagor, so Malagor gained three levels up on that, so that's pretty good. Um, Yeah, we want to put two points into Flock of Doom. That'll reduce his Winds of Magic cost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting the Spell Mastery would be good. Yeah, increasing his damage output. That would, that would be good for sure. Uh, but yeah, getting two points into Flock of Doom will bring it down to, I think, four Winds of Magic instead of five, which would be good. Make it cheaper. I can cast a little bit faster. This seems like a downgrade. Like, I'm looking at this. It, it, this reduces enemy leadership by minus five, uh, nine in the local region, but this reduces it by minus five, so it's reduced by four. Something wicked this way come upgraded, minus eight, but we already have minus four. So, all it really does is remove immune to psychology. That's it. In essence. That's not, that's not an upgrade. 
Let's see, I didn't check this stuff. Oh, we got the unholy power. Power recharge. Okay, okay, that's fine, whatever. Um, yeah, we should definitely get two points into Flock of Doom. And then I'm thinking probably Wild Heart. Because I want to get to Doom of Mankind next. Greater Arcane Conduit would be good. And we'll get there eventually. Yeah, so yeah, I want magical items. I don't, I don't need Arcane Conduit right now. I need, I, need my, I need better items. Or just need more items, then I can fuse them into better items. Does ten percent mastery increase to ten percent more? Sorry, equate equal ten percent more damage. Yeah, yeah, more or less. And Worm Two is minus five and minus five, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, something like that. I'm just not sure. Okay, so this guy here is so not afraid of us that what's our chance of ambushing? Fifty-five percent. I got some Regiment of Renown, but I just don't think I need it. Because we've got... With Kazrak here. We've got 18 units. Up against 20. Uh, but I don't have a spell cast or anything special. But with Ambush... Maybe I should get one. I reckon the Centicles would be good. Get both of them. I know we got like big monsters here, but that army looks like it's geared against big monsters. We need to take out the enemy artillery straight away. It needs to be an ambush. Absolutely needs to be. It's okay, we should have loads of chances. Still decisive defeat. No spells on this one. No magic. Okay, they got some slayers. Speed 40 to our speed 38. Ooh, they outrun us. Um. Hmm, and Kazrak's on foot. Hmm. That is a interesting scenario with an army of mostly trash. Yeah, this could be a tough fight. Okay, so all right, so here's the things we need to be concerned about. We have to get rid of the giant slayers. That needs to be top priority. Uh, and oh, sorry, there's and regular slayers. Okay, those need to be top priority because of their speed boost, 40 speed, because they outrun us. Then we've got, since we've got 38 speed, we can outrun anything else in here, I think. Yeah, we can outrun them and these. Yeah, those are not a huge concern because we don't have a lot of monsters. Um, so they don't have too many missile units. They've got this one here. Do they have a rune of slowness? Yeah, but that only affects one unit. Could very well lose this. Let's we'll see if we go. Just brought my Manscaped Premium Bundle. It was over half price with your discount. Cheers. No, it's it. I um, hope you get a good experience out of it. But more like, uh, I hope the people around you appreciate your improved uh, grooming. <laughs> Dabu Dabba Dada did a two dollar super chat. Are you not gonna get Morgo? Uh, yeah, I'll get Morgo. Just I can't get everything. That's the thing. I can't get everything all at once. You know, Morgo is probably the the least important out of the four. 
Legendary Lords at this stage. Rune of Slower AoE, no? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's AoE. Ah, damn. I can't get at this one over here easily. Alright, well these stalk. Let's leave them out of it for now. Same thing with these gores. No, no, I'm going to throw them in at the start. But what we're going to do with the gores is we're going to wait. Come on, man. What we're going to do is stand here and lie in wait, right? Kazrak is not going to get involved at the start. He is on foot and therefore weak. So what we want to do here with these guys is kind of make a suicidal, not, not necessarily suicidal, but we want to make a big hit on these units here in the rear, but I just need them to, like, walk up to a bat here first. Yeah. Yeah, we got more reinforcements coming in. Let's see, we got five units here. If these five units can take out one, two, three, four, five of theirs, I'd consider that a worthy trade-off. And if they get wiped out, it's no big deal. But yeah, don't you dare shoot right now. Well, I just gotta wait for them to get up to here, because I've gotta take out the flame cannon and their missile units. If we take all of that stuff out, we should be okay. They will continue moving forward if you stay hidden. Uh, okay. They'll get yeah, yeah, I know that. That's that's why I'm waiting for. So I think we're gonna have to work pretty hard in this battle, but we'll see how we go. Just want to give them absolutely no time to respond. Rex Teresia did an MYR15 super chat. Is there anything from Troy Toad Award that you liked and would approve being added into Warmer 3? Nah, not really. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Maybe just like the skill respecking as soon as you can federate a, a legendary lord. That's or just a lord in general. That's actually pretty good from Troy. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Okay, go for the Iron Drakes first. You guys go for the Thunderers. Oh, there's another one there. That's it. So far, so good. Giving them a pretty good reckon so far. Okay, we got we got slayers coming in from the rear. That's not good. Move forward, move forward. And when I'm relying on you guys, you haven't done enough damage yet. Uh, Nicholas Bradley, did you appreciate the content, man? Good job. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Oh, they broke us all. Man, we ran straight into their missile units. We didn't break a single one of them. Fucking dwarfs. We're not done yet. These guys will rally. Alright, 
Alright, we got reinforcements over here. Okay, the harpies. Let's see how they go. This is gonna be a rough fight, I think. We are just... We outnumber them, but we are outpowered. This is gonna be a rough one. Oh, did one of my cavalry actually shattered? Fucking hell, did they even do much damage? Really? On the plus side, this guy here seems to be overcasting his runes and therefore miscasting. Alright, we got another Centigore in here. I'm gonna put them in a control group. Uh, Doug Yoxel, the two super chat. He just smiled and gave me a Okay, dude. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. We got a tough fight on our hands here. Yeah. Okay, if you could run up through here and try to get away, that would be great, but I don't think that you will get away. How many kills did you get? Uh, you did okay. We, we don't have to trade off one to one. But I was hoping for a bit better. Alright, we got Iron Drake Trollhammer Torpedoes coming around this way. That's that's good. We should be able to handle it. I guess another problem here is that these are quite... Oh, well, they got some experience. That's it. Come around over this way. You guys, move out of the way. They're going to come up this way. Also, if we can get them tired, that would really help. This guy here is going to leave the battlefield. That's okay. Alright, you lot. Let's get over here. Let's take out these two. Okay. I was really hoping to wipe out all of their missile units, but it just... Just wasn't really enough. Guess these ones here can start firing at will, not really matters that much now. Now, did they leave the artillery behind? They did. They left the actual artillery behind. So the crew, I believe, are still there, but the artillery have been left behind. Yeah, you just keep running. Okay, good. We can use this terrain here to goof them around. Alright, that was a good trade-off there. That was good. Next up, these ones here, but let's finish off with these. Actually, just get the harpies over there now. They should be able to handle the iron drakes on their own. This one here gets wiped out. Careful, careful, we do not want them to be detected, not yet. But yeah, with these guys here running around constantly, we can see they're starting to get exhausted. That will make a big difference. Try to touch that as best we can. Cast track is visible. Oh, right, yeah, he doesn't talk. Um, yeah, good point. Thanks, dude. Nah, I can't outrun the giant slayers, even if they're tired. And our guys here, they'll do a little bit of damage to them, but ultimately the giant slayers will wreck them. 
But you can see that they're way ahead of... Okay, let's get these other gores out here. Yeah, if the if the giant slayers are coming way ahead of the rest of their army, we could use that to our advantage. Chaos curse. All right. So if we use these gores. Might as well put down gauze here. If they come down in into the water, and we fight them here, that could be alright. Maybe I'll use this one here to try to lure them. Just way ahead of the rest of this slow-ass army. Hey, Radiant Ash, how's it going? Gotta wait for them to actually come down here. They're vis. Oh, they're not visible. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So 15 FPS. Does it? Um, not at my end. It's not at my end. On doors. All right. Looks like in terms of their missile units, they're pretty much defeated. Now I've just got to lure all these slayers away from all of this and just get them into a fight over here. Just be just by sheer numbers, we should be able to beat them. Because they're anti-large, they're not necessarily going to trade that well against uh, all of this here, especially if they're tired. I just wish this one here would hurry up and leave you. Okay. How's your, what would, army would you recommend if you don't want to play Archer Spam? Uh, Corn? Maybe? Vampire counts. Uh, probably dwarfs would be a good one because they don't they don't benefit from archer spam a lot of the time. Sometimes they do. Yeah, we'll do some damage to them, and yeah, stay away from that one. Smash! Drunken Bravado, heal per second, plus 0.1%. Does that mean the Champion's Essence, which provides Drunken Bravado, actually does provide regen? I'll need to look into that. Look, that's providing regen. I'll have to, I'll have, to have a look at it. The frames are slightly struggling for me. Um, it might just be YouTube. Like, I'm not getting dropped frames. I don't know what it is. It, it might just be YouTube being shit. They're not healing, though. That's because they can't revive dead entities. They can't heal anymore until they actually take some damage. I think item provides other effects. Maybe. I'll have to have a look at it, though. Look, they're not actually regenerating, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not regenerating because they... Alright, we need to do some maths here. Hang on. Oh, God, I hate that. Okay, I need to get a calculator up. 
Alright, so the max health is 5880. 5880 divided by 60 means each entity has 98 health times by the 17 remaining. 1666. Each, each of these guys are at full health. They can't revive health of, of units that are, uh, you know, not there anymore. Oh shit. I lured them over here and I didn't mean to. Whoops. Uh, this isn't actually the end of the world. <laughs> Whoops. Well, it wasn't what I meant to do. But I might be able to make use of this. I should pay attention. Okay, what I'm trying to do. Ah, oh, this was a bad idea. They are healing. They are healing. They just need to take some damage, that's all. Get that one out of there. Shit. I forgot I was luring them too close over here. Whoops. Get that one out of there. If I get rid of the slayers, I can get out of here re relatively easily. It's okay, we're dishing out damage. We're taking a little bit of damage, but we're trading really well for Bounce of Power here. Really, really well. Just have one of them pin them down, the others shoot. That's not great there, they're going to be obstructed. Oh shit, maybe we run away. Just change music, giving me some hopium. You gotta focus on them slayers. Because once we get rid of the slayers, we can outrun them. Oh, no, no, no. Stay away from the flames. Stay away from the flames. Okay, we've got to get a bit further back down because the, uh... The other... Uh, the rest of our army has arrived. Yeah, it was a bit of a mess... Uh, uh, a little bit of a mistake here. Yeah, you keep them pinned down while we try to get away. Alright, what do we got in here? I think we traded alright for Bounce of Power there. Ch taking out a few Ungor Raiders for Slayers is a good trade-off. I don't want these guys fighting right now. Get back. You get over there. You two get over this way. You stay there, actually. Okay, there's only a few slayers left. Shoot them as they're coming in. And they're going to be up the front because they're the fastest units.
Once the slayers are gone, they have no units that can catch us. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. On doors. Is that doing any serious damage? Nah. Nah. Okay, let's get out of there. Oh, no, no, just shoot him just a little bit more. Fucking out of there. A tiny little bit more damage. There we go, there we go. Alright, we'll use the Ungor Raiders again later. I think we're done with them for now. Now I've got to try to find a way to get rid of their last few missile units out here. Alright, how are we going to do this bit? Yeah, they're using Rune of Slowness on us. Uh, okay. Because uh, I can't outrage the Quarrelers. Oh, those are Rangers, actually, because I can't see them anymore. I can't try Fast! Alright, I'm just going to try to get their attention with the Harpies. This guy's actually kind of catching up with her. Just try to stay away from him for a little bit. There's the artillery crew. Rather, there they are. There they are. Alright, I'm going to try to feign attacks on them. They're Bugman Rangers, so they've been regenerating. Don't actually want to land on them. Just want them to shoot at us so that they stand still. That's it. Keep the missile unit standing still so the rest of their army walks past them. So they can't defend them when we charge in. With these guys here. Once they've taken out their missile units... They're going to be a lot more vulnerable. Obviously, we can't dodge every single shot. I used to help you to take out the Iron Drakes in a moment. Just a little bit longer, because otherwise this guy here will just turn around and use the, uh, the shots on us, and it'll absolutely wreck us. You go over that way. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Oof, that's hurting. Okay, now. Yeah, see how they're turning around? Okay, good. Okay, good. The Iron Drakes got wiped out completely. They took a lot of damage though because of those Iron Breakers get over here and help out. We really... Oh, shit. See, this is why I need to buy a bit more time. God, those Iron Breaker shots just... Fuck. There's so much bloody damage. Uh, best we don't fight them yet. Like, those hammers will kill every last one of our dudes here. Don't engage with them yet.
Because, yeah, if we attack head on right now, we would probably still lose. Even though the battle's gone alright to begin with. Okay, this is good because these are not shielded. Yeah, they're bloody healing. I just can't do anything about it. That's okay there. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck it. Go after the Iron Breakers with this. They probably won't beat them, but. Do some damage at least. Okay, move them back. Alright, let's get Kazrak out here as well. Yeah, ridiculous melee defense. This makes it really hard to really hard to get him. Alright, Bugman Ranger's gone. That's good. Look at that. Alright, you got more incoming over here. Hell, we're lucky they came in range of our um, garrison. Very lucky. The, the garrison's been really helpful so far. If I had a Bestigor spam army, I'd probably be able to handle this fairly easily. But, you know, we're a little while away from that. These are out of ammo now. I don't know if a level 3 Kazrak can take on a level 2 Rune Lord, just not sure. What race do you recommend for people new to Warhammer, but played other Total Wars? Uh, probably... Cathay? Kislev, Kislev's kinda hard. Um, Corn. play Corn. Corn's easy. Yeah, you can't go wrong with corn. Yeah, play corn. Yeah, try to shoot at the ones that don't have shields and ridiculous amounts of armor. I mean, they've all got ridiculous amounts of armor. But when it comes to iron breakers, we should just try to um, army loss them. Should be fairly close to army losses now. And this is why I say, like, the dwarves are one of the easiest enemies to go up against. That are an army of trash with enough effort can overcome them if you know what you're doing. Because this is all just low tier trash, and we're going up against elite dwarves. I know we outnumber them a bit, but still, I think we're trading off really well. So what we're going to do is um, try to pin it down from the back. That way we actually shoot it into the rear so we bypass their shields. Oh, 
There we go. Good, 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 good. Where's uh, Kazrak? Get over here. Good, look at this. We're going to be able to shoot into the backs of those Iron Breakers now. Bit of a blob, but I don't think they've got Rune of Wrath and... Oh, shit. <laughs> they do. Okay, don't blob up too much. We're almost out of ammo, so we're going to have to go into melee. Well, this should be good experience for Kazrak. Uh, they, luckily, they don't seem to be using it too much. Yeah, use it on the one that's in loose formation there. No, don't shoot the Dwarf Lord, you fucking moron. Ah, oh, yeah, they use Rune of Wrath and Ruin. I've got to watch out about blobbing then. Uh, what can we do to kill that Lord? I guess getting Kazrak in there might help a little bit. Or at least we're shooting the Iron Breaker in the rear. Really can't ask for anything better than that. Yeah, we've got this. We got this. What's the trash while battling with cheap tactics for 30 minutes? Oh, cheap. You mean hit and run? That is standard tactics as opposed to just YOLOing in. Cheap tactics, my ass. I mean, cheap is in, uh, like, cheap upkeep costs, I guess, is fair. But that, what I meant by dwarves being trash is that this kind of, if, if we went up against the wood elves with the same, do uh, like, endgame crisis army, we wouldn't win against the, um, the wood elves regardless of what we did. Whereas dwarves, you can overcome them. There we go, got him. There we go. Now we should let that l no, don't kill the let let that hammer lift because we want to get another battle out of it. Uh, because I believe the minimum amount of dread we can get is seventy-five. So yeah, look at how much dread we get for winning this battle, and then see how much we get for the next one, which will just be like one unit. This one over here. Uh, do you think that uh, CA will do anything to fix the difficulty of Warhammer 3? I haven't felt any difficulty after 4 Legendary campaigns, especially with so with Archeons and the Kislev felt legendary. Um, I don't know, sorry. I don't know what they're going to do. I, I don't talk to CA anymore. Alright, that'll do. Legend, would you say that the Wood Elf Archers are better than the High Elves? Uh, it depends on which ones. So... Tier 1 archers? No. I'd say that the tier 1 archers of um, the high elves are slightly better than the wood elf ones because they have longer range. I know that the, the wood elf ones can fire while moving, but only while shooting forward. Um, I feel like the high elf ones can be boosted more than the wood elf ones as well. Uh, however, way watchers are possibly the best archers in the game, bar none.
Any plans for a Kai, Carl Franz campaign at some point? I have no plans to cover Carl Franz right now. What I'm just trying to do at the moment is just trying to have fun. That's the most important thing. Uh, and Carl Franz's campaign doesn't look like any fun. It just doesn't look fun at all. Okay, so we gained 125 dread. That's... Not that much. <laughs> Let's see how much we get when we just take on one unit. Uh, I'll just go with the money. But good. You know? Um... A lot of damage, a lot of levels up for, for him. That's good. Uh, yeah, we want to get foul premonitions. Ambush success chance is just so important. And then we do this. This should net us 75, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So the base is 75. Dread, so you always get that. It's like that equation that I did yesterday. Oh no, we lost the units. Best your rage doesn't mean much anymore. No, nah, it's not that big of a deal. It just helps with growth. Best your rage is if we have a look at um, what it does. Horde growth plus three at this point. If uh, we look at Torox, Torox is maxed out. His best your rage provides charge bonus, casualty replenishment rate. Horde growth plus eight. Yeah, you know, charge bonus and re replenishment rate is definitely good. For sure. But at least all these battles here are getting us dread. That's what we need if we want to get better armies. Because I know people were asking for more interesting army to, to come around. Okay, now get rid of you. You suck. Problem here though, bloody spell resistance. Our chance of ambushing this one is actually pretty good. It's 55%, I think. Even though they're in the stance here, it's only 25% defense. Uh, we're trying to research this one here. An extra 10% would be good. But that'll take a few turns. Once again, I don't think they're going to shoot at Malagor. I'm going to give him a blind eye of seeing from one of the other ones. Uh, Cloak of Unreality. Why not? You can always just give it back to him. What else do we need? Chalice of Dark Ruin. Missile resistance, sure. Uh, what else we got? Enchanted item. Potion of healing. Why not? You know, just in case they do shoot at us. Yeah, that's a good item there. And since we got a good amount of money, why don't we pop down? Why don't we get a banner of unholy exaltation for him for the time being? Um, it, it won't give him as much physical resistance, but it's about that speed. It costs five grand, though. Ah, oh, right. It provides rowdy, not um, drunken bravado. It used to provide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that is not regen. Yeah, they yeah. So champion's essence isn't really worth getting unless you really, really want that ward save, which it's only five percent. It's not that much for a talisman. Not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, they they really sort of made these items not that useful. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they did that. Like you can just find better items dropped. Yeah, you got the shardstone amulet that can be useful. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's get this one. I'm going to put that on him.
You got any magic items? Yeah, I might be able to steal one of these. We'll see. Very unlikely this one will run away. Trickster shot? I don't have any. That's a good idea, but I don't have any. Alright, this being an underway fight here could be tricky if... Uh, okay, so these ones here could give away my position. I may need to withdraw them from the battlefield immediately. do this and we'll just see how we go. Having every hero regenerating was kind of broken to be honest. I know but I liked it. <laughs> okay look here's, here's the thing though. Here's the thing you have to keep in mind. Um, what they tend to do is they tend to put in items that are first can you try for an ambush? Um, probably could have. I think we'll be we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll see. Hang on. Move, oh, hang on. Can you move to the back over here? No. All right. I may need to tell these two here to leave the battlefield. Yes. Yeah, so what I was saying. Um, they. They tend to put in, like, items that are, like, super good and everyone tries to get them because they're super good items. Then they're like, hey, everybody's trying to get this one item. Let's nerf it. And then they nerf it so hard that everyone's like, oh, God, this item is garbage now. Then nobody ever gets it. So what's the point in doing that? What's the point in developing an item that's so garbage that nobody ever gets? Like, why would you pay 10 grand for the, um, the champion's essence now? You wouldn't. It's not good. So, you know, you've just developed an item that's useless. Um, it's not completely useless. It's just, it's not worth 10 grand. And it's the same thing with entrepreneur, right? With the high elves. I, I tried to make this argument with CA. It's just like, if you put something, if you nerf something that hard, it actually becomes bad to build, to get it. Like, there is absolutely no circumstance in where recruiting an entrepreneur wizard over any other type of wizard is better. So you just literally will never recruit it. So you might as well just delete it from the game entirely. What they need to do is give the player a fucking choice, okay? Give the player a choice. Put in good items, good traits. Give the player a choice. Don't make just one trait that everyone always gets. Put in five traits that are pretty good, right? Pretty good. And you have to decide which one you want, okay? Give the player a choice. You know, don't make don't make the choice worthless by being like, oh, plus one leadership plus one percent extra income in the region on a Wednesday you know it just gets ignored it's just it's really simple stuff you just got to give the player a real choice okay this is this is what CA does right they either give pl players an obvious choice or no choice at all there's there's a happy medium which they never ever get Actually, no, they do get it with nobles. With nobles, okay, they've actually got a perfect situation with high off nobles because there isn't just one good trait, right? And so what happens with, um, with, with nobles is that you don't spam one trait. Like, obviously, emollient is the best, but there's conscientious, and there's crushing, and there's resilient. You know, all of these are good traits, and so you don't spam one. You get all of them because they're all good, you know? So rather than make everything crap or one thing great, follow the example of what the High Off Nobles was doing and give the player a fucking choice. Alright, so I think I need to withdraw these from the battlefield immediately. Because otherwise they're just going to advance on us. And we don't want that at the start. So, you are losing ground. Oh no, I'm gonna lose the battle. Oh, there's a um, Jarvan over there. That's actually 
Maybe a little bit of a problem. Okay, if I go around the back of it. Oh no, Rune of Slowness. But the thing is, they still just won't... That one there will shoot at Malagor. Good thing I gave him a potion of healing. What was that? Oh shit, I gotta not cast near that fucking dude. Because I... Oh damn, Runesmith's everywhere. Yeah, to come back this way. God, if we lost Malagor in this battle, that would suck so hard. Okay, so he he, he does a lot of damage per her thing. I think I'll need to try to um get rid of this Jaro Bomber first. Maybe start using this just to begin with. Don't you discuss with Locus about? Yeah, I gotta be careful about that. You're absolutely right. I gotta be careful about that. Okay, don't worry about shooting that. Your chances of hitting is basically on. I'm really glad. I got a potion of healing. I'm really bloody glad. Now, the thing is, if this guy here overcasts enough, he'll probably die. And the AI loves to overcast. Alright, let's see. I gotta see what the distance is from this locus of power shit. Okay, it's it's pretty long range, but from here it should be okay. Yeah, okay, th from there it didn't happen. But yeah, they won't shoot at Malagor. Okay, this now only costs four wins of magic, meaning that is that it only cost me one point five wins of magic. Once this one runs out of ammo, they might want to fight Malagor in melee. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ah, oh, Malagor should be able to beat it. It's got like no combat stats. Can easily wreck it in melee? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not shooting at us, these guys. Let's see if I do circles around them fairly wide. Gotta stay out of that range, which is radius. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stannis Lev Nadenkov did a two dollars Hey, Legend, has AO ever cast a wind of death on you? Uh, probably, but I think they always fuck it up. Not in Warhammer 3 so far, though. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, they, they never get the line right. They've always been pretty bad with breath spells. They're usually best with bombardments and explosions. Okay, you want to come into melee now? I 
I'm worried that um, once I go into melee, they might try to shoot him because he's pinned down. No. Okay, that's good. So what are they? These put a run of speed on. Oh no, oath and steel. Okay. That's not good. Oh fuck! Shouldn't have cast that spell. <laughs> I got. I gotta remember to stop casting spells near this dude. That was not worth it. Good thing I got my second chance. Thing in here. Hundred meters. Yeah, range 100 meters, yeah. Which is the same range as this as well. Alright, so far so good. Good, he's miscasting. Nice. If he keeps this up, he'll just keep killing. Killing himself. Good, get rid of this. Get rid of it. You can do it. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Alright, I think that's the hard part done. Now we just gotta try to, um... See what we can do about this. Try to cast at our maximum range, where possible. Ah, damn it! Motherfucker! <laughs> it's, it's such a long range. I could overcast, but that would bloody miscast on me as well. I could just sit here and maybe just wait for him to overcast himself to death. Will he do that though? Hmm. Goddamn rune lords. I think what I'll do is... Yeah, okay, he's at the front of the army there. So if I go around the back of it here, I need to just be 100 meters away from him. And then cast it. Yeah, see, that was fine. That was fine. Oh, we're doing good damage. I just gotta be careful, that's all. Doing good damage. I just gotta be careful. Wherever he is, be on the opposite side. Maybe I'll try an overcast. No, 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 no. Because overcasting it... No. It does give us extra range. Okay, so he's at the front there. So if we go... And at the back. There we go. I didn't uh, miscast there. meters away from that room smith good I think I was close there good even with that spell resistance we're still doing loads of damage because it's still a decent blob there and we got plenty of wins that's not a problem Gotta play it safe. Because the bounce power is still in their favor. The Ungor are not going to overcome that yet. Oh man. Fucker. Disabling me from being able to just wreck this. Good. Yeah, we're getting really good damage, just gotta be really careful. Oh man, that actually might be worth... Over 
miss overcasting. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta get some distance. Because I'm not really too worried about uh, Winds of Magic. We got plenty. Okay, it's. Uh, doing this. This, thing. this is battle harder on easier difficulties. Uh, you could argue that because, like, they re just refuse to shoot at small single entities on very hard battle difficulty. Yeah, so I'm overcasting it because. It's only 35% miscast chance, and it gives us extra range. And it does double the damage, but, you know, increases the cost. You know, 35% chance is a lot better than 100% chance. Has it miscasted yet? Then again, it, isn't it in Warhammer 3 that miscast damage is pretty much nullified at the moment? Oh yeah, we're inflicting massive damage. We're absolutely destroying them. Still playing dwarf music though. Absolutely fucking destroying them. Hey, it's just not miscasting. I think maybe miscasting is bugged in this game at the moment. Yeah, there we go. Play my music. Uh, nope, nope, we can miscast. Yep, <laughs> we just did it there. And there's the army losses, nice. Did it. Kill him. Oh, no, 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 slayers. I haven't dealt with the slayers yet. I'll just have to get him another time. Have you confederated all the basement lords yet? No, I, I still need to do Morgor. Well, I'm glad I gave him that potion of healing. Hey, a heroic victory instead of a close victory. How about that? Cool. Yeah, these damn um, bloody rune lords, they're gonna be a problem for uh, Malagor. Or at least we know what to do about them. Now, there were eight full stack armies of dwarfs when they spawned. We counted it. This is number three that we've destroyed. So, Torox has killed one, Malagor has killed one, well, almost killed one, and, um, Kazrak killed one. And Torox is about to kill another one this turn. So that should be really good for getting him even more experience. He's got to get his missile resistance and hit points and stuff up. Good, we stole its obsidian blade. I guess that's pretty good. 75? <laughs> Jeez, not giving me much dread there. Four levels up, nice. Doom of Mankind? Okay. So, with that... 
Three winds of magic, flock of doom. Okay, that means it essentially costs 0 0.5, because with life leeching... Well, hang on, it still might cost four. Yeah, it still might cost four, it's just hard to tell. We've also got something wicked this way comes. Which, it doesn't make sense to put two points into it, it doesn't make sense at all. Because he's already got something wicked this way comes. And the upgraded version, it's just not... I don't know, it just doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, I need Shadow Hide. Greater Arcane Conduit would be good too. Yeah, get Shadow Hide. Uh, Brian did a 10 super chat. Hey Legend, I used to be a mod for Total Bro Hammer. After that, I've had a lot of trouble getting back into Warhammer, but you, Janet, and Zotek have made it fun again. Absolutely love you guys. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, is the remove immune to psychology worth it with Malagor? Uh, it just depends. If you've got a particularly, like, fear or terror army, it's useful. Um, it, it's, it's, it's like, it just depends on what you've got and what they've got. Yeah. Yeah, no. Useful every now and again. Wish I wasn't bugged. Oh, darkness! Ah, God! <laughs> Well. Well, shit. Okay, then. I can't order resolve that. <laughs> Damn dwarfs and their order resolve power. Hey, Legend, I am Exhaustion of Total War currently. Nice to meet you, Exhaustion of Total War. <laughs> I, am, I am Legend of Total War. Hello, well, welcome, Exhaustion of Total War. <laughs> I get I get what you were trying to say, dude, that you were exhausted of the Total War community. I get it. Yeah, it hasn't it has not a great not a, not a great time at the moment. Um it, it's not the worst it's been. It's not the best either. The best was like peak Warhammer 2 in like um 2020, that was the best. Because like the whole community was like united in their love of Warhammer 2. It's just not united in their love or dislike of Warhammer 3. And it's difficult because I both like and dislike Warhammer 3 in, in different ways, so it's, it's just difficult. I think our units can handle this. Uh, Perry Mortem did a 5 dollars subject. Legend, glad to see you're feeling better. I sprained my back and binge watch your vids takes the mind off things. Alright, thanks dude. Um, good to be back. Thanks for the chat. Is Ambushay really smart now? Not really smart, but it's you know better than Warhammer 2 was. In terms of the AI. Yeah, anyway. I need to overcast the duress. Zach Strasdus did a 10 pound super chat. Hey ladies, hope you feel better. I am feeling better. I think I think the worst of the cold is over. I didn't need to take any cold medication today. So I think my cold is over. And hopefully, with this being the back end of September, that also means hay fever is done as well. Hopefully. You know, happens for about a week every year at the end of September. Happened last year as well. And funny thing is, last year in September, I also had a hissy fit. It's just, it's just like a yearly occurrence thing. I don't know. Won't happen next year, though. <laughs> oh, they just want to leave the battlefield. Alright, fine, just let them.
Yeah, okay, so this is pretty stupid when they do this, because if they run off the battlefield, they've they've been wiped out. So, just, just let them. Oh, you're, yeah. It's going to get the army losses if they do this. So yeah, that's one way that the AI is fairly stupid in ambush battles. They'll try to leave even if they get wiped out because they can withdraw. Sometimes if you catch them on force march, they'll just immediately run off the battlefield. Now, if you don't kill them, you don't get as much loot money, but you can get through a battle without taking any casualties. I did some testing yesterday. Minotaurs of Corn are considered Minotaurs in all respects. My Beastman upgrades text traits. Nice. So they actually made that... Okay, well, that's good. So yeah, maybe getting an alliance with Corn and picking up some Minotaurs of Corn would be a good idea as soon as he can recruit them. That'll be a while because Minotaurs of Corn are like tier 4 and 5. That'll take a long time. But that's good to know. So I could put... Eventually, at turn 100, <laughs> uh, four Minotaurs of Corn into um, Torox's army without requiring unit caps. Thing is, by turn 100... Beastmen are so strong that I would probably be able to just get regular Minotaurs. But that's good to know, thanks. Yeah, 75, whatever. I'll take the money. Good, Malagor is leveling up fairly quickly. Alright, so he's got his Doom of Mankind stuff sorted. Let's get... I wish this stuff here wasn't bugged. Let's work towards um, Greater Arcane Conduit. Alright, he's out of movement. Oh yeah, I did see that there was a Dark Elf making its way over this way. A reasonably large army. So we want line of sight. Put a lord in here with some regiment of renown to um, intercept that dark elf army. All right, but let's uh, let's backtrack over here and get rid of this because I can get two battles out of that, and I can't. I could make it to Altar of Ultimate Darkness, but yeah, if I can get two battles out of that, that might actually be better. All right, let's let's get the uh, the call of the Minotaurs. Yeah, I'll claim that reward. Which will make, um, getting Minotaurs cheaper. Oh, it orders them in terms of cost. Okay, so 275 for each of them now. So let's get... Let's get one more of each. For some reason, this one here's cost didn't go up as much. Don't know why. Alright, so we'll be able to give Torox a whole bunch of, um, if you have a look here, let's have a look, let's have a look. Alright, um, alright, I'm still actually at the maximum capacity for Minotaurs at the moment. And I haven't got the building built yet. Yeah, because we don't spend many turns in encampment stance. But I'll do it, I'll do it this turn. Alright, let's go take these guys out. Can Torox still kept in Rampage forever, theoretically, or has that changed a bit to that? Theoretically, you can still do that, but practically, that's not likely to happen. Alright, we ambushed them. Gotta fight it manually. But this is army number four. A lot of missile units in this army. Okay. Let's 
Love it when dwarves put their unbreakable rune on the slayers. Yeah, it's because the the AI in this game is not programmed to think. It's just it just puts it in the first unit. It can just there's a lot of random stuff that it does. Um, it's just easier to program randomness. Just pick something at random than actually make it. Yeah, make a decision. Slightly bugged. Oh no, it's because I started off with two Minotaurs. I think. Okay. Shouldn't have a problem with this. Shouldn't. Alright, I'm gonna put them here. Uh, okay. I need the Minotaurs to come from here and charge right into the Iron Drakes to begin with. And I need these guys here to charge into the artillery to begin with. Same thing with you. And I need Torox to charge into the Slayers. You might think, but he's, a, he's large. But he's super strong. And we just have to tie them down. Oh, maybe I should charge into the Miners with Blasting Chargers, actually. Okay. And maybe have these guys to stand back a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, like that. That seems a bit better. Ah, oh, shit, I took that guy's item off. And he fucking turned around instantly on us. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here with the Minotaurs. Let's get them out of here. Especially this one. Get that one out of there. Okay, move these back a little bit. The uh, These guys here are doing fine. Minotaurs out of here. Don't want them taking excessive damage if we don't need to. Not coming in here. This guy's taking too much damage. Get him out of there. Okay, now let's get these guys out of here as well. Get that one out. You need to put a potion of healing on him for the next fight. So your last Imric stream was two years ago. Any plans for playing a new run? No, I don't like High Elves in Wormer 3. Sorry, I'm not I'm not touching the High Elves in Wormer 3. Don't like them. 
I'm gonna just try to focus on enjoying the campaigns that I play, and I just really don't enjoy High Elves. If I was gonna play Imric, I'd much prefer playing him, playing him on Warhammer 2. He's just a lot more fun there. Uh, no gore or best of gore units, just wanna ask, since they're upkeep free. Yep, it's only turn 20, and I'm gonna get Minotaurs into this army. And I do wanna get best of gores, but I actually can't recruit them yet. And I wanna put best of gores into Kazrak's army, it doesn't make sense putting him in here. Don't forget, that they're, they're, they're free of upkeep, but they cost dread to increase capacity of, that's the only problem. Alright, fight this, fight this. You guys need to be shooting. Right, the army losses shouldn't be too far off. Yeah, uh, Torox has no problem with Rune Lords. There it is. He wasn't too far off. Alright, looks like there's still a few Slayers left over. But that shouldn't be too difficult for them to handle. Which factions are you least interested in playing Wormer 3? High Elves and Dark Elves and Vampire Council. Those are the ones I'm least interested in. Uh, and probably Reichland. And uh, Balthazar Girls. Just not really interested in them. How come all the Dwarf Missile Units lost 75% of their ammo outside of the ambush? We've got an ability that gets rid of 75% of their ammo. That's what happens, an army ability. Why the vampire counts? Just don't have fun with them. Can't really explain it. Just don't, I just don't enjoy them. Just think they're boring. You know, we've all got factions that we prefer and don't prefer. And I just don't prefer vampire counts. You know? I liked the way they played in Warhammer 2. I just don't like the way they play in Warhammer 3. It's just that simple. Same thing with Dark Elves and High Elves. You know? They're not improved in Warhammer 3, but they're downgraded. Uh, CJX1 did a 5 year submission. Hey Legend, how would you rate Wolfric vs. Throg campaign in terms of fun and difficulty? What would you recommend for first time trying an Oscar? Either one is fine, but I just think give Throg a go. Throg's, Throg's actually a lot of fun now in uh, Warhammer uh, 3. Yeah. So Norsk is a faction that got a big improvement in terms of fun in Warhammer 3. Big improvement. Okay. Alright, well, we're not getting many uh, Rampage tokens there. Vampire Coast? Oh, I haven't looked into the Vampire Coast yet. Um, I'll think about that one. So we took a bit of damage. Alright, let's get over that. Okay, hang on. Back off. We should try to ambush them so that we get the ambusher trait. And also, I forgot to, um... I need to put that potion of healing back on this dude. So they can heal. Because, yeah, we should be fairly close to the ambusher trade if we don't already have it. Yeah, we don't have it yet. I don't want to waste.
waste all my movement though. More ambushes will happen. Have you looked much into Nakai since the Worm 3 changes? No, I just don't like Nakai. I'll give him a look at some point, but he's never been... Like, I've always just really hated Nakai, so it's just not something that I'm that keen on. And there's still a few things that irk me about vassals, so... I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Alright, I'll just send Torox in, because I don't want my army taking any additional damage. And Torox can handle this on his own. Just do some summons. So yeah, that's the thing that reduces all their ammo by a ton. The, um, vile entropy. Oh, I'm doing my healing. How about this, playing Nakari and destroying our Elven factions? I do want to play a Slanesh campaign, but at the moment there is something that's turning me off from playing um, Slanesh. When you create devotee armies, they increase your supply lines. That didn't happen before, it's a new bug that's been introduced. It irks me, um, and so I'd rather wait for that to be fixed before I, uh, before I play it. I hope it gets fixed in the next patch. I kind of don't expect it to be because uh, there hasn't been a big, like, stink about it. Uh, but we'll just see. I'll, it'll be one of the first things I test when the next patch comes through, which should be in about two or three weeks. So I really, really hope that they fix the hidden supply lines for devotee armies. Because that's bullshit. Alright, we don't need to run them down. Nagis Maximus did a 5 year Super Jet Legend. Tell us your favorite character in Wormer in the terms of their appearance and your interest. By the way, cool to see big brass balls again rampaging. Right, thanks, Super Chat. Uh, probably Cetra. Thanks, Super Chat. But yeah, if, if they fix the supply line, hidden supply line bug for Nakari, I'd definitely give it a go. I really don't like hidden supply lines, it's, it's bad. I really don't like it, it's not fun. Do Bloodhose also have hidden supply lines? Yes. Yeah, they do. But hidden supply line bugs? So when you create a devotee army, it increases your supply lines. So you get 4% extra upkeep cost faction wide. Which, in my opinion, is bullshit. Alright, so two battles, we got four momentum. Uh, two momentum out of it, so that'll, that'll be good. And then we've got to upgrade this. And this. So that'll give us access to all of those other Minotaurs, but then we still need some more time to recruit them. Uh, still got plenty of money. Uh, I don't intend to really recruit any of these other things. There's just no need. It's just it's just extra cost for what for? Just leave it.
Uh, Samuel Cooper did a $10 super jet. Hey, Legion, currently playing a Widow campaign and Talson is dead. Is it possible to revive him? Yep, you just got to cause a revolt at the King's Glade. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it, dude. Very well. Kill for corn as I do, and you will get your just reward. This aids the. All right, cool. I, would, I mainly wanted line of sight to no. find out where they were. They're not going to be able to reach Nagaron, so that's good. Um, but just in case they swing around over this way, we'll recruit. We got another lord that we can recruit. Just chuck one of these dudes in here and recruit a bunch of trash because you know we're at our capacity. But then just demolish that crap there. Yeah, I don't really want to be spamming out on Gore Raiders spam armies because you guys will get bored with that. But we'll just uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, we really want to try to phase out the Ungor Raider spams as quickly as possible, but that requires dread. You know, I just spent all my dread. I'm going to get some Minotaurs. You know, I get I get so many people come on and be like, "Ah, why are you just recruiting Ungor Raiders? It's all I can fucking get." You know, it's either that or like Ungors with spears. Why bother? All right, uh, we need yeah upgrades for Minotaurs. There, that's good. Yeah, missile resistance will really help them. Okay, cool. Uh, do these guys here have the uh, blood greed? Yeah, they do. Gore greed, sorry, yeah. What's the optimal army with Torox? Uh, probably Minotaur spam. Yeah. Minotaur with shields are the best, but you know, you kind of. You're better off getting a variety of Minotaurs, I think. Alright, well. No sign of anyone coming around over here just yet. Uh, I think I just want to keep him protecting here and, um... Yeah, we'll see. Get another gore and some more ungors. Merge all of this shit. Yeah, merge that as well, actually. I mean, disband it. And we just got to get him developed. This takes time. Okay, if we upgrade this to Bestigor, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get working on that. And this one here, yeah. I even if he gets wiped out, this stuff will be preserved. Um, yeah. So I might give him Razor Gore chariots because he does boost them. Maybe. Let's see how we go. And Malagor's Horde is being developed. It just takes time. Just takes time. Alright, so we, we've wiped out four out of eight of their initial armies of the uh, the dwarfs. We'll be able to tell if they're recruiting like a new army because it'll be full of trash. Because it's too early in the campaign. They will be coming in with like iron breaks and shit like that. So these two armies here, these are ones that they spawned with. Um, not, not Grombrindle though, that is not one of the eight. So that means there was nine armies, including Grombrindle, that they start off with. Grombrindle's army actually looks pretty easy, because he, he, he was not a wiped out faction. People were telling me though that, um, that the, if you wipe out a dwarf, um, endgame crisis, they just spawn back apparently. Could you recruit Minotaurs from Valkyria? Well, she's Warriors of Chaos. They don't get Minotaurs. No Thanks, Super Chat, though. Oh, sorry. Um, Garrett Ratchford did a final Super Chat. How do you get the most out of Doom Wheels and Doom Flayers? They're not cheap units, and I feel like you have to pull teeth to get the work out of them. Yeah, pretty much. I don't recruit Doom Wheels. Um, I just don't find them that good for a Tier 5 unit. I just don't recruit them. Uh, Doom Flayers are okay. Uh, they're pretty good at, like, just taking out, like, low-tier infantry. Yeah, and just... They're, they're okay at holding the line as well. They've got good melee defense and armor. But yeah, I don't get Doom Wheels. They're, they're just kind of derpy. Not terrible units. It's just that you got better options. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Keep this guy here. It's just uh, keeping an eye out on them. Uh, 
Let's have a look at the Sisters of Twilight. I want to know how strong they are compared to us. They're a lot stronger. Talson's got wrecked. How did that happen? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, Grom took him out. Oh, that means um, uh, Arguilon got wiped out as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Alright, let's move on. Do you use the one button respect mod? Nah, I don't really need it. It would it would be good if it was just in the game, but I don't need it. Alright, Grom Brindle has just given us a way to get him. Uh, Phil Figlo did a fight on Superchat. Watching this campaign has been a breath of fresh air. All these field battles have been glorious. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Nah. But why? You get money! Basement faction. You can't confederate minor basement factions anymore. Used to be able to before the rework, but who cares? You don't need them. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. For while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. So this is an interesting situation. If I attack here, I believe that yeah, they'll back each other up. That'll be interesting. What is this foolishness? I will not disgrace my ancestors. The goddess forbids it. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. Think about how to go about that. All right, well, that's good. We can get him. And now we can recruit some more Minotaurs. So here's what we've got available. We've got three Minotaurs with great weapons and three Minotaurs with shields. So we can get ourselves... Oh, they take two turns to recruit? All units used to just take one turn to recruit. Fuck me, I hate sitting in, in camp stands for ages. Oh, that's garbage. Especially with momentum... Yeah, they've really nerfed the Beastman a lot. Uh, that does not complement his, his main mechanic at all. That's a big nerf. Because, yeah, he used to just be able to recruit any unit in one turn. Hmm. No way the dwarves to help Malekith. Oh, yeah, they will, because they're not at war with each other. 
And if you have a look, they don't hate each other too much. Oh, well, actually, they have a look. Oh, yeah, Malekith hates them, but he won't go to war with them. Need to keep an eye on whatever's coming up this way. Doesn't seem like anything's on the way. Can you recruit Minotaurs with a second lord and swap them over? Uh, okay, that is possible, but in order to do that, they would have to have the recruit building. So, they would have to get a horde to tier 4. So, that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, at this stage here, if we want Minotaurs within the next few turns, the only way I'm going to get it is through Torox's army. It just sucks to have to go into encamp stance for two turns, especially with the momentum mechanic. Because otherwise you just lose momentum. Because if we have a look here, we got five recruit slots. So maybe I should maybe I should put in for another recruit slot so I can make full use of it with the next level up. Because mm. yeah, I would I would definitely like some more minotaurs in the army. But I just I don't like two turn recruit time. That's not good. But we'll just make do with what we got. We've just got to deal with the hands that we've been dealt. Oh, good. He's on Tuscor Chariot now. That's good. Uh, yeah, you gotta get down that way. Get back over here. Cause yeah, he's, he's just not ready yet. Need, need time for upgrading. Gotta get down Bestigal. Yeah, Bestigals also take two turns to recruit. Not overly important right now, but the this one here is very good. There goes all our money. That's okay. I could bring this guy around over this way to assist. That would really help that much. What would be easier if I was to attack this one here in the underway stance? Very low, I would not be able to ambush them. You waste my time. Okay, at least that's just a rune lord, which means this would actually be really easy for Malagor to defeat. Like, really, really easy. Resistance. 15%, okay. So, if we're going to do this, once again, it would be better if these guys here left the battle immediately because they just give away our position. That's why I'm saying stalking army is usually best for, um, for Malagor. I don't think we've got any items that give stalk. I'll just double check this stuff over here because if there was anything that gives a stalk. There's Vanguard deployed, but there's nothing here that gives a stalk. I should really get that for, um, Kazrak as well. I'll get enough money this turn, I think. Alright, um... Yeah, I think the best course of action would be to attack this. Man, Malagor's gonna level up so quickly if he keeps this up. So this is army number five. It would definitely say decisive defeat. Definitely. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. But at least no um, miscast explosions, so that's good. Um, the only concern here is that the f they might chuck fireballs at him, but Malagor is fast enough that he can dodge it with you know huge speed reserves. Um, and I don't think they'll shoot him with the artillery or anything. You can recruit all army at one go. I think there is a bug that could avoid this mechanic. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of that one. I'd, I'd prefer not to do it, though. Uh, Dirt Thirsted at Toodles uh, Sorry. Dirt Thirsted at Toodles Bichat. The fun police strike again. Thanks, CA. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Whatever. Will you spend all of your money in one Lork X? Yeah, I'll, I'll get my own money back. It's fine. <laughs> ah, shit! Well, we have to get rid of that straight away. <laughs> Alright, well, they'll probably just stand back for the time being. Don't charge at me, don't- No! No! <laughs> no! Damn Dark Elves! Fuck! Oh, hang on, hang on. Maybe they're just standing still, maybe. They just moved up a little bit. I can't get these guys here off the battlefield until these are gone. Alright, they're taking a defensive position, that's good. That's good. Yeah, don't make them come forward. What's next? Empire reinforcing chaos? Well, that is possible. If they have a common enemy, they will reinforce each other and don't automatically go to war with each other. So that is possible. Alright, here we go. It is four winds of magic. Yeah. Just get them off the battlefield. Yeah, dwarfs are actually they're not on the way yet. Yeah. yeah, if I put Malagor near them, he can scare them away. Just get him out of here. Alright, Dark Hills have been defeated there. That's good. Alright, now get these two here off the battlefield. Cool, that way they can't see our army at all. And uh, Malagor should have no problem just taking them all out by himself. But yeah, getting him a Trickster Shard would be really good. Really, really good for the extra magic damage. Nice. Oh god, this is so easy to dupe them. And it's nice not having the explodiness happen. Just don't freaking land. That's it. We need to keep moving so that they eventually do this, because this has been a problem since Empire Total War. The way that the AI reforms, it's just the most stupid thing I've ever seen. Leftover code from Empire Total War. It just never changed how armies reform. They always just turn into this stupid blob. <laughs> well, CA's like, well, if it ain't that broken, don't need to fix it. 
Cool. This is why we had to withdraw those other units or else they detect them and come after us. And this is why Malagor benefits from like an all stalking army. Because Malagor doesn't need an army for the most part. He only needs to deal with single entities. And yeah, they just refuse to shoot at him because it's on very hard battle difficulty and they're just programmed not to shoot at him. Whereas on normal battle difficulty, they could potentially take him out. It's better just to use Flock of Doom than using Penumbra Pendulum just because of the different types of damage. Um, I don't know. Flock of Doom's good. It's only it's cheap as well. This is uh, 8. Yeah. Still haven't killed very many of them, but okay, now we're starting to get kills, so that's good. Just gonna get them to reform. Yeah, Trickster Shard would be a very good item for this. Keep having fun with this and they'll fix it. Nah, nah, fixing something like this is actually difficult. You know, moving numbers around is easy, like getting rid of Entrepreneur. So you just go into a database and fix it. This is this is actual programming. Uh, they actually have to hire a programmer to fix this stuff. Like, yeah, to be fair to them, fixing this would actually be difficult. CA tend to try to fix the easier stuff first, which makes sense, you know, but, you know, you focus on the easy stuff because it's cost effective to focus on. It's not like this this kind of stuff makes it a bad game, it's just, I'm just saying this is leftover. <coughs> Code from Empire Total War, this kind of ridiculous reforming constantly like this. Do you think CA will ever make a new engine, or will they just stick with the Warscape engine until the end of days? Oh, it's really hard to say. I'd say it's it's like this. As long as Total War games remain profitable, they're probably not looking to innovate very much. Creative Assembly does not innovate, right? It's just, it's way cheaper just building on top of crappy foundations than um, investing in something entirely new. Like, I imagine developing the Warscape engine was an incredibly expensive exercise, and starting again and building a better engine um, would take a very long time and be very expensive. And at the end of the day, Total War games are still incredibly profitable. And I don't think it's necessarily a problem with the engine. Um, it's just that... I think we've got to keep in mind that Total War games have become a lot more disposable, um, more, more junk foody, more casual than they were, you know, back in Rome 1, Medieval 2 days, right? Imagine making an engine that only had two games played on it, you know, that's, um, that's unheard of for, for AAA titles. Uh, AAA companies will reuse the engine over and over and over again because it's cheap, that way you just need to, re just need to pay artists to make the artwork. You know, an artist or you know, dime a dozen or whatever. Comparatively. So, what? Uh, like, you gotta, you gotta look at it from a business point of view, right? Sure, we can criticize it and be like, oh, you need to make a new engine. But at the end of the day, are you not buying a Total War game because of the Warscape engine? And if the answer is no, you're still buying the, the Total War game, then Creative. Who cares? Creative Simply doesn't fucking care. They got your money. Right? 
the only way to get them to like innovate is for them to not make a profit like if they i would say that every single total war game they've released in the past decade at least has been profitable including thrones of britannia every single total war game has been profitable so if they were to release a total war game that wasn't profitable then they would be like okay Either they'll scrap Total War entirely and just focus on Hyenas, or they'll actually innovate. You gotta force their hand with this kind of stuff, but you can't rely on Creative Assembly to do the right thing without being forced to do it. Because that's kind of what happens with AAA companies, where it's the mindset of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that you should boycott all Total War games from here on out. I'm just saying what would need to happen in order to get a new engine or to get something like that. They would have to have some sort of uh, financial catastrophe. Now, they can release a game, even Troy. Troy is probably the most profitable Total War game ever made. P possibly the most profitable. Okay, the deals that they made with Troy and the amount of, like cost it took to make troy like their return on investment for troy is i don't know i don't know what the actual figures are but if i had to just guess it's absurd absolutely absurd rip total war arena total war arena might actually be a total war game in which they didn't make a profit that is possible um i'm not sure about that one though um But yeah, Troy is quite. Again, I don't. I don't have access to their books, but I would say that Troy is the most profitable out of any Total War game. I'm not saying it made the most money, okay. But what I'm saying is, for the amount of, like, let's let's, let's, let's use two examples. Let's just say a Total War game costs a billion dollars and makes two billion dollars, right? Makes a billion dollar profit, right? Just using I'm just spitballing, right? But it takes like like eight years to develop something like that. Um, as opposed to a, a, a Total War game that, um, let's just say costs a hundred thousand dollars and makes forty million dollars, okay, and takes one year to develop. CA is more likely to focus on that because the return on investment is a lot. Maybe the billion dollars was a bit was a bit much. I should probably use different examples. I don't know. It just depends. It just depends. You know. Companies will try to make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. And Saga games are able to be developed very quickly, so they don't need to make bazillions of dollars in order to be profitable. They just gotta, you know, they just gotta turn a quick buck. That's why I call Saga games the junk food of Total War, because they're, they're a quick buck. CA doesn't put a lot of effort or time or money into it, and they make a quick buck and then they just move on to the next one. Like, Troy had, what, one year of development and then it's canned. You know, because, you know, we'll just move on to the next one. It's not, it's not a bad thing for them to do that. I'm just it's trying to explain sort of how it works. As far as I understand it, again, I don't have an intimate knowledge of how Creative Assembly works. I only have a suspicion. Yeah, give me that greater arcane condor. Cool. So that'll make our flock of dooms 10% stronger. Would you play Total Arena if they would add it back? Mm, probably not. I already played Total Arena and it's like it, it was good, but it's not the kind of game that I could really sink a lot of hours into. I just would get bored of it after a couple of hours and then just not play it again. It's um Yeah, it's fine. Uh it's Uh okay, just back off from that. I do want to blow it up, for sure, but I can't leave this army hanging around over here. What is unthinkable? If I blow it up, though, I'll get a little bit of extra movement. I might still be able to catch it. It's not like they're doing anything here. Hmm. 
How are we going with strength ranking against Grombu Dindle? Still very strong. You have one skill point left? No, I don't. Alright, I might regret this, but I'm going to blow this settlement up first. Who cares? Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> Uh, that was a bit of a run, Malago. What the fuck? How the fuck did he get there? <laughs> uh, okay, well, okay. Okay. Oh, this guy might only just be in blood grounds, I'm not sure. This is the problem when you play with Malagor. Um, he can be very uh, order resolve weak. I gotta fight it manually. Because there's other armies in the area here, and I need to make sure we're, we've got some strength left. In zones of control, the influence of the armies cause that? Yeah, you're probably right. Is Torox aligned with Korn and Malagor closely aligned with the Changer? Uh, Torox is definitely aligned with Korn. As for Malagor, um... Yeah, I guess you could argue that. As for, as for, um, Morgur, Morgur is kind of... the Changer? As well, it depends on how you look at it. There isn't there isn't a legendary lord aligned with each chaos god for beastmen. It's, it's, uh, but um, what's it called? Nah, I can't hit them from there. A good angle, but I just can't get close enough. Um, hang on, let me try this. Chaos. Yeah, that might work. Crow means Nurgle. Yeah. Did they actually shoot at me? Oh, 
And not move. Good. Oh, well, that's a nice little deletion. Alright, army losses should be triggered any moment now. And this should be the complete end of Nagarond, I think. In army books, Torox is unaligned. Hmm. I don't know, man. Um, he does have things for corn. Which law of magic is the strongest to beastmen? Hmm. I think all of the laws of magic are fine. There is no clear this one is the best in all situations. It, d it depends on what you're doing with your army. So I'd say... Uh, it used to be that Lore of the Wilds was the best um, for them, but Death Magic has its use, Beast Magic has its use, Shadow Magic has its use, so... I'd say that they don't have a best Lore of Magic, and all four of their Laws of Magic are good in various different situations. Depending on what you're going up against, and depending on your build. That should be the end of Nagarond, I think. Alright, I need to um, merge some of this shit biscuits. can we do now with him? He's essentially reached his maximum ke uh, maximum power in terms of magic now. Because while we can increase his winds of magic power reserve, these traits here are bugged. Yeah. They're bugged. Crowfather will give him extra speed. Extra capacity for harpies. Pfft, whatever. Fueled by blood is good. Um, yeah, let's get that. Like I said, unholy power is bugged. It's just not, it's just not good. It doesn't work properly. Alright, and let's take out Grom Brindle. So this, this hero here should actually go and attach itself to um, Kazrak. But I was using it to just scout ahead for um, Torox. But now that we've wiped out so many of their armies, I think I can justify sending him back down. There's a disciplined war gore. Yeah, I don't see anything else that would be better for Kazrak. Let me just, um... Except for Cunning, maybe. Although, Cunning is locally owned region, still. Isn't it? Let me, let me confirm that. Oh, we don't have Cunning here at all. Did they get rid of Cunning for... Let me just check this. There's no way. Did they get rid of Cunning for the Beastmen? You son of a bitch! Either that or I've been very unlucky, unlucky and it just hasn't showed up. The fuck? 
<laughs> they got rid of cunning for the beastmen. Uh, unless, unless I'm mistaken. So yeah, sending a war gore down to um to him would be good. To um to Kazrak. We'll be able to start recruiting his uh, best of gores as of next turn. Looking at the cost on that. No cunning. Either none showed up, or it's still there, but only works in Hearthstone regions. Okay, yeah. So it's not really worth getting, but I just have been unlucky and didn't get it. Uh, yeah, look at that. 500 dread cost each. Oh, God. Damn it. It'll take a while to get a full stack of that going. Yeah, quite a while. Might be a good idea to actually go and grab Morgor first and get him a um, Chaos Spawn army, because at least I can get started with that without requiring any uh, dread usage. Alright, let's get on with this. We're gonna w get rid of some units anyway. So I guess it's fine. Seems like at the moment 125 is like the max dread I can get. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Let's get. Yep. All right, so we're gonna start recruiting. Uh, oh, hang on. There it is. Here it is. We need to get gathering of beasts. That'll allow us to recruit the six minotaurs that we have available. So we've got two slots at the moment. We get rid of the melee infantry or the archers. We get rid of the melee infantry, and then I can maybe put it into um, Kazrak's army instead. But yeah, we're going to be stuck here for two turns. We just have to hope that we don't get pulled out of it. But, you know, we get some Minotaurs going. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Bestigals take two turns, just saying. Yeah, I know, they take two turns. I know. I uh, know, it sucks. What are you going to do? Alright, I was going to build or do something. I can't remember what. Uh, yeah, he did that. Okay. Still need to cheese our economy a little bit, because I, I, I need more... Um, Need more stuff to build, so I don't really need another army right now. So let's get rid of you. And maybe let's perform this ritual. Yeah. And then just yeah, keep doing that cheese because uh, you know it gives us a fair bit of money. It doesn't cost us anything to do it, apart from not using another army. But uh, unit caps are just expensive, and I don't really want to be spamming Ungor spams, especially when most of the battles before by Torox. Not moving one turn as Torox is a pain. I agree. Can confirm they still get cunning. Just your usual luck. Okay, cool. I just see yeah, I didn't get it. 
Yeah, I'd only be able to use it in regions that I have um a herdstone. So it's not that useful, but I was just curious about it. Because I remember in Warhammer 2 I would get cunning ones. Increasing the dread from battles faction wide at a cost of ten thousand, uh, four thousand. Um, it also improve our garrison here a little bit. All right, let's do that because that should be one that we try to keep permanently. And just looking for good traits over here. Yep, get rid of that. Alright, if we have a look over here, what should we be focusing next on Dread? I think I might wait a little bit longer before I increase unit caps further on Minotaurs. They're just a little bit on the expensive side. We've got a decent amount of them now. Um, we haven't increased the capacity of Wargores. Probably don't worry about that right now. Uh, we still need to get Morgor. Maybe we should focus on that, so I need 1,200 for that. How expensive is that port? I can't, I can't build ports. I can't build it. Why removing army if it's free upkeep? Okay, so it's a little bit of a cheese. You build an army, so you recruit an army, and then you demolish this because it comes automatically. The army is recruited for free, right? Demolish that, and I get 2,400. Then next turn, I re-recruit re it again, and I just keep doing it. That way I make passively 2,400 each turn. I can make more money if I get these upgrades. So it's just a way of cheesing the economy a little bit. Just so I get more favor. You know, while I'm not rolling around in favor and I don't have unit capacities to raise anything other than Ungor spams, um, it's just something that I can do. And we'll get more dread coming in from that, so that's good. So, yeah. And it's just starting to grow. Next turn we can build. Oh, I gotta get the money though. Alright, if I'm gonna need the money, maybe hold off on this. Because, yeah, we're bound to fight with Malagor, maybe. Because, yeah, we want to be able to upgrade this straight away. Name one thing you don't cheese. I always cheese. A always got to remember your ABCs. Always be cheesing. Okay, I want him to just... Well, he's got a good line of sight. Just stay there. All right, and let's move on. You play in the dark. That is my realm. Maybe not gonna be that movie. You know, whatever. You can always stab him in the back later. Alright, we can maybe start doing some quest battles. I wonder if the icons of vilification one will be fairly easy. I don't have anything good to fuse. Alright, let's move on. Fuck, I didn't know that army was there. <laughs> Ambush failed. 
Uh, but Malagor can beat it on his own. Oh, shit. I doesn't have the potion of healing on him at the moment. He's not at full strength, and they got a little, fair few gyrocopters. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Listen, oh, I'm gonna have to fight this, because if I don't, if I don't, they'll just attack me anyway. Oh, uh, it just had to be fucking gy I didn't know that dude was there. Fucking gyrocopter. No, dude, they'll just attack me anyway. That dude had lots of movement. If you decline attack, they pull you out of the, um, the encamp stance. First loss incoming? Maybe. Maybe. Um, we're gonna have to be super careful here. We're technically the attacker. Shit. Two gyro bombers. Fuck me. Fuck me. Alright, well, we're gonna have to work hard on this one, that's for sure. Alright, I think the best thing I can hope to do is maybe... Is Malagos stalking? I don't know. I think maybe the best thing I can do is maybe try to have this dude here and this one here tank the um, the shots a little bit. Yeah, Malagor is actually stalking. I've also got Transformation of Ked on. How is he... How is he hidden? If I can just get rid of the gyrocopters and gyro bombers, everything will be okay. Yeah, they got a fucking brimstone gun. How much magic is that? 12. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, I want them to shoot at it. That's it. for us for some reason. Oh! That's weird. Yeah, you're right. He, he can hide in forest. You're right. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright. These ones here don't seem to want to shoot at him. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Shit, now they're doing some damage. Oh, piss. Off. Oh, I gotta get this guy out of here. Just go hide in there. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> Shit. Malagor can't possibly tank all of that. His missile resistance has gone up a little bit since since uh, the first time we fought, but he's damaged. The fucking order was, I, did, I need that potion of healing. Drunken bravado would be nice. Come on, could you shoot at this? Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. All right, the, the gyro bombers are probably more of a threat than the, uh, the other two. Because Malagor can easily fight them in melee. That's not a problem. I just need this one to try to tank as much of this damage as possible. Yeah, 
Because, yeah, if we get rid of the gyro bomber ammo without too much damage on, on Malagor, he can take out the rest of the army no problem. This is good so far. This is good. You know, he's, he may not have enough health to take... We get more at the maximum range yet. Yeah, slows him down a little bit. Might not have enough health to get rid of all their ammo, but this amount here is still really good. Good. He might just be able to get rid of all the ammo. It's going to be a close one. Yeah, some of these boys aren't hidden. Frame rate's fine. What are you talking about? I'm I'm got good frame rates on my end. Just must be the freaking encoding or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this guy's gonna be able to survive too much longer. He's got wounds active now. I think I need to get him out of here. He used up most of their ammo. That's pretty good. Need to leave the battlefield or else he's going to die. Come on, just, just a few more shots. You can do it. A few more shots. They ran out of ammo. And it's just going to run back. Come on. Right, that one's still got one volley left. But there we go. Okay. That is a big deal there that we got rid of that. Okay, I'm going to bring this one back out for some more dodging shit. And we're just going to work on the artillery first. This one come over here. Okay, this is good. This is good. I got hit. Oh, I got hit again. Get him out of there. Don't want him to die. Mm, I can't really use him anymore. Alright, Malagor, you come out. Alright, the problem's going to be the brimstone guns. Um, I can probably dodge their shots a fair bit. We do have summons, so that's good. Here we go. Luckily, the artillery just won't shoot at us. Uh, he could fight these gyro bombers because we don't want to fight them next time either. If we fight them one at a time, it should be okay. Good, got a hit in for free there, that's nice. This one's still got ammo left. Oh, 
Alright, this is good, this is good. Oh man, I really wish I had that freaking potion of healing on us right now. Yeah, this is really good. That gyrocopter is fucked. Good. Two Saigo summons and a Wyvern? You mean Manticore? Yeah, still got another Manticore, but it wasn't really a, a good use of the magic. Just use Net of Amaranth talk. Careful, or else it'll give away our position there. Okay, Malagor is having a duel with it, and it's going just fine. He only took a tiny little bit of damage, and that's... Oh, there we go, took a little bit more, but that's okay, that's okay. I would really like to destroy it so that we don't have to deal with it again. How can I slow it down? I think I need to get in front of it somehow. Dark. There we go, good. Not gonna be seeing that one again. That's great. Alright. Alright, well. Let's start doing this, and we'll just see how we go. Oh shit, he's exhausted. Shit. Cover fatigue first. I'm not too late. This one here is just a regular gyrocopter. Even if that hits, it shouldn't do too much damage. I tell you what we really need to bloody get is the um, the upgrade that reduces enemy ammunition. I don't think they're going to shoot at Malagor for some reason. This one wanted to come into melee. I'm fine with that. Just don't do it near here. No, they don't really want it. It's been silly. Oh, hang on, do they? This is good. I could use Enfeebling Foe, but that, I think that'd be a waste of magic. So it's not exactly doing any damage anyway. Shooting. Okay, it's only four wins of magic, which goes down to bloody 1.2. Okay, wait until this is over before we cast again. We gotta try to get the most out of our magic here. Hey, Tariff, how's it going, dude? Violent would be good right now. Yeah, it would be, but I don't have it yet. But this is working, this is working. This is working, we're okay. Nice big blob here. Good, but... Shit! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Fucking landed. He's like, I need to rest. Alright, at least we don't have to deal with those um, gyro copters again, those gyro bombers, so that's good. Brimstone guns would be really good to take out. Okay, this one needs an enfeebling foe, I think, because yeah, we cannot afford to be taking. Don't. Fucking land, you dipshit! Wasted it, enfeebling foe as well. 
dark side. Why they don't fire? It's on very hard battle difficulty, which means that the AI doesn't shoot at small targets. <laughs> so, they just refuse to. If you're on normal battle difficulty, they'll... Because the AI is programmed to not waste their ammunition on, on, like, lords because of what happened in Warhammer 2. But you can actually use that to your advantage. If they were shooting at us, Malagor would, would actually be doomed. So, in trying to fix the cheese, they actually introduced a new cheese. The AI is just incapable of telling when it should or should not shoot. So CA puts these situations in where it just tells them, in all situations, do not shoot at targets like Malagor. Because they know it's like, just going to waste ammo. Look, if the gyrocopters aren't going to shoot at us, maybe we don't worry too much about it. As much as I want to get rid of them. I know I've got the summons as well. Man, if this was any other lord, we'd be fucked in this battle. Nice. That is a nice blob there. We are starting to dish out loads of damage now, loads of kills. So, no, 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 oh fuck me, I nearly landed, Jesus Christ, that would have ended me. Uh, I could probably end up winning the battle now with uh, what we've got. These, um, these guys are coming into melee. I got an idea, I got an idea. They're killing my fucking dude here. Okay, I didn't go for it too much. Uh, Elf Graves did a two Euro Super Chat. Melagor is the goat. Yep. Thanks to the chat, appreciate it. Alright, just keep them in the corner. Maybe maybe even withdraw them. Like they really can't do any more but for us. Summon on top of this one. We should be able to win even without Malagor, but still, if we can, just keep doing, doing those flock of dubs. Still got plenty of them left in reserve. No, 
know some music has stopped. Put it back on. Still playing um, dwarf music though. Easy battle. <laughs> it's not an easy one. I've had to really cheese this one. Not an easy one. It's easy-ish now, because at least they're not shooting at us with these guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this brimstone gun. Right, if Malagor takes too much more damage. Your bloody route. The thing is, we don't just want to win, because if we win, we still got to deal with these damn gyrocopters. Okay, whatever. They just don't want to engage with us. Funny how they're not using the brimstone guns on um, Malagor. Oh, we did it! We did it! There's the army losses. Okay. Well, we're still gonna have to deal with those gyrocopters again. We also need to make sure that they don't come back and attack us again this turn. Because we've probably been pulled out of uh, encamp stance. Possibly. So let's try to kill off as many of them as we can before the battle ends. Especially at level 18 Lord. Yeah, we don't want that dude getting experience. It can be avoided. That would be good. But there we go. We did it. The undefeated streak continues. Come Malagor, you can do it. Fierce Snake did a eight dollars super chat. Morning, Legend. Coffee on me, mate. How's your game going? Uh, yeah, we're doing fine. You know, the Dwarf Endgame Crisis is, you know, a challenge. But uh, this is what Army number five or six that we've wiped out. Since the AI greatly prefers to target high value and squishy units now, are early rattling gun doom stacks harder to pull off? I don't know. Is there a difference between unbreakable and immune psychology? Yes, big difference. So if something is unbreakable, unbreakable is better than immune to psychology. So immune to psychology makes them immune to fear and terror. Whereas unbreakable, they just don't deal with leadership at all. They will never break no matter what. Um, except if all capture points are gained in a defensive siege, then they'll rout. Um, so yeah, no casualties, but a lot of damage on the heroes here. But it was... If we didn't do that with the Gorbal, they would have shot at Malagor, and that would have been really difficult. I'm glad that the, um, the Jaro Bombers were... Well, where's 125? Yeah, we're... Uh, it's not much replenishment. I'll take them all, whatever. Hope we stay in Encamp Stance. Just not sure. Yeah, okay, we're still in Encamp Stance. Cool.
Is there a difference between fear and terror? Yes. So fear is a minus eight leadership penalty. Whereas terror doesn't cause a leadership penalty. It gives the enemy unit a chance to instantly rout if its leadership is already wavering. Um, yeah. So if the unit is wavering and a unit with terror is nearby, they might rout. So a unit with high leadership is less likely to be affected by terror. Maybe all the people are just like, Legend, decline the attack! Don't do it, Legend! Don't, don't do it! You won't win! Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> There's some anti-player bias for you. Hmm, who should I go and attack? Where is the player? I'm gonna go after the player. Mm, vampire counts are not good for ambushing either. I need Torox to go and smash him, but I'm not bloody sad than that. Literally never seen you lose. It's a solid game. I do lose from time to time. I haven't lost a battle in a long time, but I do. I do lose. Never lose a campaign, but I do lose battles. I haven't lost a battle in this campaign, though. Why is that now two turns? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no! Why do I only have three recruit slots now? Ah, oh, that's... <laughs> what? I had six! I got... Um, well... Oh man, what the fuck? I had six before, why do I only have three now? You had an event? Mm, I don't think I did. Did you move out of your herdstone? Oh, no, nothing changed since I moved here. Confederation buff. Yes, the confederation buff expired. But hang on, if you add this up... Right? Oh. Oh god, that's so annoying. Alright, well look, if we go and create a herdstone at Altar of Ultimate Darkness, that'll give us our recruit slots back. U ultimately, we didn't lose any movement because I cancelled it. Um, because we were gonna- we moved to here last turn anyway. Um, if I go and create a herdstone at Altar of Ultimate Darkness, that should give us local horde recruit slots. Yeah, that should give us local horde recruit slots, and we'll be able to, uh... To recruit the, the Minotaurs there instead. So, as long as I get there this turn, it should be fine. There's only a small military presence, and it's probably over here. Alright, Malagor's in good shape. And he gained four levels up. Alright, what are we going to do with him now? He's slowly sapping it from his Winds of Magic. How's he going for health? Yeah, I better give him that um, potion of healing again. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, I think we had a buff that wore off. It's alright, I'll, I'll figure something out. Yeah, this is why um, recruit time t uh, two turns is such a pain in the ass. Extra speed would be good. We already got that. Not too concerned about any of this here. Uh, getting extra ambush success chance would be good. Mm -hmm. Alright, attach this one here. Hmm. Oh, it's a fairly large army, though. That's okay, Torox will basically be able to do it on his own. I might even be able to stalk it. It just depends on what the map is. Should be able to manage that. Let's have a look at how strong they are over here. Yeah, they're still pretty strong. Is Nagaron dead? Yeah, yeah, we got rid of them. Kazrak, why is he got? Oh yeah, because of um, low growth and this thing. It's okay. Uh, well, we can now recruit Bestigors. If we have a look at it, Bestigors are. Uh, they, I think they take two turns. Yeah, they do. Okay, well, we should increase our capacity before we even bother starting to do that. I think we should get uh, Morgra first. Now, there's a army of uh, vampire accounts coming over here. Let's see how strong they are as a faction. Very strong. Fuck me, holy crap. They're really, really strong. Mantle of Crows? That's only useful if you go into melee. He's not a one man doomstack yet. Yeah. No, I don't think we need it. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Hang on, before we do it, before we do it, um, put that potion of healing... Oh, hang on, let's do this one here first, actually. This one here, because I want to give that potion healing back. <sighs> if we order, oh, they've got. Oh, it's only level one. If we order resolve this, these guys here will take an excessive amount of damage. Should be fine. Oh, but I gave him a potion. No, I'll have to fight him. Oh, we could just we could just instantly kill them with uh with the archers. This will be fine. This will be fine. Yeah, because they've got a bunch of stuff that's really vulnerable to our archers. As long as we get a good angle at the start, what are they going to do about it? We'll instantly kill the artillery, and the um. And the iron breakers and yeah yeah, yeah this will be fine. Has Malagor's mantle of crow skill been changed? I don't think so. But yeah, you don't really want to get that until you can justify throwing him into a big melee blob, which we're not at that stage yet. Yeah, just run up to there and kill him. Alright, you guys stand back. Dark beasts! 
There we go. And then push the healing. Cool, cool, cool. Could be good to give Malagor the bloody trait. <laughs> but uh that'll be fine. Don't forget to use position. Poison? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't forget. Is Malagor still one of the best casters, or is Kairos above him now? Mm, Kairos is still... Yeah, Kairos could be above him, because I think it's possible for Kairos to have unlimited wins of magic, whereas Malagor doesn't have access to unlimited wins of magic. He's got almost unlimited, but he just do doesn't quite have enough. Um, Flock of Doom in Warhammer 2 costs two wins of magic. We well, can get it down to two wins of magic, but in Warhammer 3, it actually costs four. It says three, but it costs four. So, with... Life leeching can get down to 1.5, but since you get way lower reserves in Warhammer 3 than 2, you know, in Warhammer 2, the Beastmen could very easily get, you know, three, four hundred reserves of magic, so you could get more cast that way. Plus, the items were better. Alright, if we, I'll take the money. Replenishment will be fine. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Give him some more time to recover. And... Yeah, I need more growth for that. Yeah. That's okay. It's getting there. Just takes time. Could go down this way. Nah, go to Altar of Ultimate Darkness. Hmm. Beastman Tribes. Yeah, I figured we'd have to fight this manually. Okay, there's nothing in here that's too dangerous. There's a few slayers, but honestly, Torox is at the moment strong enough to be able to handle it. Let's see about his... Okay, he needs the Cloak of Unreality. Um, he doesn't need a potion of healing. Um, Crown of Command is useless, so let's see what else we got. Uh, nothing there. This is garbage. Let's fuse it. Uh, two piles of garbage. I got one. Troll hide. Yay! Okay, so troll hide is how we get regen. Guess where that's going? We don't need it on. We don't need it on him. But guess who's going to get that? Malagor. There's your troll hide. Look at that. Now you've got regen. That's the items that we want to be getting. Uh, but maybe. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. But for this battle, I'm going to put it on him because I'm going to need him. Uh, but now he doesn't need the potion of healing. And so that was good. We, we fused a good item there. So let's have a look. What else we got that we could... Okay, we've got two lock stones. Let's fuse them and get a filth mace. Yeah. Alright, 
Cool. Uh, let's get on with this. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on. We never got him a enchanted item. Uh, I just don't have anything outside of the um, crown of command. Yeah, we just don't have any. Uh, I got a potion of healing, but that, that, that makes no sense. He's got regen. Beastman herds. Let's just ignore them. Alright, let's see how we go. Uh, Max Hinkle did it. Become a member for two months. Southwest Florida here. Stay safe, everyone. Ian looking rough. Okay, thanks, dude. Appreciate the membership. Uh, can you explain what's wrong with Confederation system with High Elves? Because I played as Tyrion and can't confederate anyone, even if I'm strength ranking number one and have relations over 300. Yeah, so the Confederation system is really weird in Warhammer 3. Um, your relations being at 300 doesn't matter. Once you hit 150, that's the maximum threshold for that. So it doesn't get easier when it, when it gets higher than that. Once you're at 150, that's it. You know, makes no difference. 150 is the same as having 100,000, right? You being strength ranking 1 helps, but why is your army so weak? I was recruiting and it got cancelled. <laughs> so, I'm trying to get some Minotaurs, but it take two turns to recruit, but they got disrupted. Um, just made the attack anyway. Oh, this is easy win, easy win. Uh, this will take five minutes. So, yeah. When it comes to Confederation, it's a little bit weird because it is not clear at all about how it works. And your strength ranking, while it does help, it's not really about strength ranking. It's actually about numbers of wars. So, what you want to do, if you want to confederate someone, you need to be stronger than them. That helps. But you actually need to be in fewer wars than them. The more wars that you're in and the fewer wars that they're in the less likely that they will confederate. I found that the um, the uh, the relative faction strength is not based on how strong you are, but based on how many wars you're in. So what you want to do is try to drag them into as many wars as possible. So getting them into a military alliance and then de declaring war on just everyone you possibly can, and then peacing out with those enemies eventually, what will eventually happen is that your um, number of wars will be lower than the person you're trying to confederate, they'll feel overwhelmed, and then they'll confederate. Another thing that you can do, and I don't like this method, but it can work, um, is that you can um, go to war with the person that you want to confederate. Go to war with them. Oh, I should have used this. Um, too late now. Uh, nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, go to war with them. Then you, um, you bring them down to just one settlement and then besiege their last settlement. Wait for relations to improve, okay? Wait for them to improve as much as possible. And then wait until they offer you a peace treaty over the end turn. Alright, when they offer you a peace treaty, you can also ask them to confederate. Now, it, let's just say that the peace treaty was 40 in your favor. Now, if the peace treaty was 40 in your favor, that works towards adding 40 weight into the, um, the, the, the confederation. It's a stupidly long method, but it does work. It's reliable. It's fucking stupid. Now, when we were in early access for, um, for, uh, Immortal Empires, I protested heavily the confederation methods with uh, Creative Assembly, and they ultimately did nothing.
they keep making tiny, tiny little tweaks that ultimately don't really make that big of a difference. Um, I think they will eventually get there, but it, it might be tiny little tweaks. But ever since they made it so that you can't just offer money for a confederation, it's it's kind of difficult to do these diplomatic confederations. Like they, they really don't want you to confederate other legendary lords. They just don't want you to do it. Um, this is one of the big problems I've had. Creative Assembly are now trying to get people into playing particular playstyles, even if the player doesn't want to do it. Even if it's not necessarily an optimal playstyle either. Um, I think what Creative Assembly should be working towards, rather than making confederations easier, is start making it that every faction has missions to confederate legendary lords, like the Wood Elves. So if there's like unique conditions for confederation, that would be more interesting than just like beating them into submission and then and then threatening them into confederation because the threaten mechanic doesn't work very well. It's not it's not a good mechanic. Um, you know, like like with um, the wood elves, right? If you're playing as um, the sister twilight and you encounter Durthu, like you have to fight three battles against dwarfs and then he'll confederate you. Uh, so you'll confederate him. That's a good method, right? Um, but ultimately, you can do it diplomatically. Um, so, I think it'd be good if, if you're playing High Elves, right? If you're trying to confederate Alariel, if you had a mission that said either, so either destroy Harganeth or fight five battles against Harganeth, and then confederation becomes possible for, um, or just like super easy for, um, for Alariel. If you want to confederate Imric, maybe you need to fucking own 10 dragons. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, kill Nurgle. Uh, kill Miao Ying. Um, or be, have a military alliance with Miao Ying, and have and that'll give you a confederation offer from from Imric. You know, Teclas, have five mages, and then he'll confederate. Um... You know, there's a lot of things that they could do to... That really is not difficult. That actually adds interesting things that causes... That will force the player to play differently. That can get people to incentivize confederations instead of this bullshit method that they've currently got. It's so easy to just do that stuff. You know, like Eltharian, what if it's just like, defeat Grom the Porch or fight five battles against Grom the Porch? Because you don't want to make it that... Um, fight five battles against Grom the Porch, and then he just gets defeated by somebody else, and then it just cancels the mission. You don't want that. Um, so make it either or. If he's destroyed, he'll confederate. You know, Alithanar, d destroy Malekith, and he'll confederate with you. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? I feel like that makes so much sense. You know, um, and you can do that with other factions as well. Like, if you're playing as the Dwarfs, they're another one that's fucking annoying for confederations. If, if again, if you're playing as Karazza Karak, destroy Malekith, and he'll confederate. Um, or fight ten battles against elves. You know, you, you go up against, um, if you if you're, want to confederate, um, if you want to confederate Belagar, Capture Karak Eight Peaks. Belagar Confederates. That makes so much sense. You know, capture Karak Eight Peaks, or kill Queek Headtaker, or something like that. Like the Wood Elf Confederations. Yeah, it, it adds an interesting method to do it. But I don't know. They just, I don't know. They just don't want to do that stuff. It seems. Alright, now that we're here, we've got ourselves five recruit slots. Okay, well I want six, so give me another one. Yeah, I want six. I don't need another one right now. Uh, get Apocalyptic Vision. And here we go, we try again. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get the Minotaurs, but they fucking take two turns to recruit in a faction that should never be sitting around doing nothing. So that's annoying, but you know, go and try to recruit them as quickly as possible. We we, do, we want our downtime to be absolutely minimal. Um, get that built. 
You just gained a healing item? No, no, um, that was just a notification from it. I already equipped the healing item. I didn't end up needing it in the battle. Um, I'm gonna switch it over to, um, to Malagor. He needs to troll hide more than anyone else. Maybe go for a spot that's the A development team. Nah. CA, CA yeah, don't yeah. like my ideas. They never implement them. CA don't like my ideas. Also, they can't afford me. <laughs> Retreat from 10 battles, Confederate Tretch. Yeah, yeah, it's a good first game. Yeah, it's, you know, I don't think that's a good one, but yeah. You know, I think it'd be interesting to have just different missions for confederations. Make it interesting. You know, give the player some, some different ways of playing the game that they are. Give them some incentives of, of uh, doing something different that they maybe wouldn't normally do. Because they're, they're not good at incentivizing different play styles. What they're good is punishing particular playstyles, and they, they should try to incentivize things more. I think they need to realize that they're actually making a video game, and that you've got to reward people's playtime. The CA is really bad with that. They don't respect the player's playtime at all. Cool, you just spent 10 hours fighting an endgame crisis. Eh. The reward was the journey. Oh, God. Crap. Got, you gotta respect the players, um... Hang on. Alright, we'll go with this one here. Let's see how that goes. Your ideas sound really fun to me. We'd love to hear some more. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy to give ideas. A lot of people be like, um... Uh, Legend should not be developed. He's not a game developer. He should just stick to playing the game. And that's fine. But people ask. People ask me, um, <laughs> yeah, what would I do to fix things? And then I tell them, they're like, oh, you should, you should shut up. Okay. Problem with here is that I can't see over this way. It looks like this one wants to land about there, but even if I ambushed it with this fucking garbage army, I probably wouldn't be able to win it. I'd need a second army, which I can get. Maybe that's what I should do. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna have Kazrak just scout over here. Yeah, he's good. Recruit another army here. Uh, with one of the sh Yeah, you'll do. Still get rid of this, because I'm not going to keep him. And just recruit a bunch of trash. Yeah, we just need to get uh, our forces together quickly. If I can confederate Morgur in the next turn or so, that would make for a lot faster confederation, but I need more dread. See, I got told there are too many obese gamers that need to force people outside. I don't think that's really the case. Um, and it's... People should have response, uh, personal responsibility and not... You know, that's that's their own problem. You know. You can't you can't blame a game being too fun for your obesity. You have to take personal responsibility for that. You know, nobody's forcing you to play twenty hours a day or whatever. Or to eat nothing but junk. You have to take personal responsibility for your health. Alright, I don't think I can do anything else here. Oh. 
Yeah, so we'll send these two armies to go and take this out, and maybe we'll succeed. Maybe. If you demolish the herd building, won't units be recruited? No, because um, these units here are recruited from the herdstone, and these ones here are recruited from this building. So, no. Yeah, you'd think so, but no, it'll be fine. Alright, and then I need to get rid of... I'm trying to get a... Um, Unsated Bloodthirst, I think it's called. Cool. Want to boost the Minotaurs. You know, get that sweet, sweet Minotaur strength up. Okay, how close? Oh, we're getting pretty close to the next Rampage, that's good. Yeah, and I got this one saved up, ready for reduced momentum cost. So, he just needs like one more victory. Yeah, bring Malagor in closer. He'll be fine. Alright, let's move on. Are you not able to recruit our units from allies in this basement? Yeah, but I didn't build an outpost. I should be able to recruit those units. Guess I should build an outpost with Valkyrie. Why not? I've been enjoying Norsk a lot, like game Berserkers versus the 100 melee attack it is quite fun. Does allied recruitment still cost gold? Yeah, so it's not preferable. You only get them as a re emergency. Aren't people just not watching Legend anymore because it's less chaseable? I think it's a variety of factors. I think it's, uh, one, um, the game's not as difficult, therefore it's not as exciting to watch. Number two, I whinge a lot, which isn't interesting to watch. And three, um, I think that overall there is a bit of a, there is interest in other games at the moment. This tends to happen when like a Stellaris DLC or, or something comes through. So it's just like, it's like a triple whammy at the moment. Um, just gotta deal with it. Okay. Stand here because we don't want them to see that Hotex column actually has armies here. Because if you're sitting in there, they can see you. Not hidden. Stay within the, uh, the zone of control. Though. So I told you the stuff would get recruited. 
All right, so over here. Yeah, okay, we just need one turn of no interruptions there, and we'll get that done. Chance of ambushing this is 70%. That would be good if we can pull that off. Did we finish the technology yet? No, it's still two turns to go. Okay. I mean, you could win that, but... I have to find it manually. Still got the pushing out you do. Uh, it would be better if we got an ambush done. I would not have taken that much damage. <laughs> I, probably, I probably should have just drawn them out. Let's have a look at this map here. Yeah, oh God. Yeah, I should. I should have actually not done an ambush. In hindsight. Oh well, here we go. We have to fight this manually, obviously. That. Um Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we do that, before we do that, we might as well try to recover as much as possible. Since I'm not using the other healing item, uh, pop it down on this one here. The gore bull will be fine. Put the troll hide down. Wait, was that on Malagor? It was, but he's got a potion of healing, and they're not going to shoot at him anyway. Alright, let's do this. Why are you only using archers? Well, I'm not. It's just that I need dread to increase army capa- uh, sorry, unit capacity. And we're recruiting other units. It just takes a long time to get the units that we want. So, for example, with Malagor, what units do you think I could recruit? I don't have unit capacity available. You know. It takes a long time to get dread to um to, to really increase unit capacity. These ones here are the best unit to recruit with no capacity. You can recruit unlimited of them. On your own. All right, only towers are going to shoot at us, I think. Cool, it's regenerating. All right, uh, let's see how we're going to do this. All right, you come over here and knock down. Actually, no, 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 get the other dude to do it, because at least he can regenerate. But yeah, we couldn't order resolve this battle, so, you know, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> it's fucking, I'm just going to have to do this. Oh, hang on, there's enough. There's not that many of them. Uh, we might be able to sneak over and actually get over there, because there's just not that many of them here. No, no, you get out of here. 
Oh, uh, no, no, what the fuck? I didn't tell you to land, dipshit. Try getting some chaos spawn with followers. Yep, um, we'll do that. What I'm what I'm gonna do with that is get Morgo first, and then we'll start getting those followers in. Again, it all just comes down to dread. Yeah, you know? it just uh. Hard to get shitloads of it really quick, and it's hard to cheese. You just gotta fight loads of battles to get um, to get the uh, dread. Loads and loads of battles. But the great thing about dread is that every time you spend it, it's basically a permanent upgrade. There's nothing you can buy with dread that is ever lost. You know, you d you don't ever lose unit capacity. You don't ever lose the legendary lords. Don't ever lose any of the permanent upgrades. So I think that's why it's kind of slow to upgrade, because you never lose dread. The only time you lose dread is if you actually lose the ca- What the fuck? Lose the campaign. Get into Clump around a side goal. Yep, I just need to destroy this section of wall here, which for some reason this guy is just not attacking it. See, I can't summon a Saigor yet. I gotta destroy the, um, the gate. Why no mammoth spam? Yeah, I know, right? I think we'll win this by capping the point. There's few enough that I'll be able to just cheese it. Oh my god, this guy here, I should have sent the bloody gore ball. He, he just can't fucking get the gate open. Okay, there we go. Get the hell out of that. Deep shit. Okay, now we can summon the Cygore. His speed, ridiculous. Yeah, there's nobody up here. We should be able to just cap this. We'll see what happens first: army losses or um. Yeah. Is Torox a worse Scarbrand? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as strong as what Scarbrand can get. Oh, there's something in it up here. Could just be patrolling, I'm just not sure. Let's we'll see. Don't, don't fire it, Will. Oh, I think this one here got detected. Yeah, yeah, we got detected. Oh, well, get him out of here. What happened to the Manfred live stream? Just uh, one four hour live stream. Well, did you watch the live stream? Just out of curiosity, did you did you watch the live stream?
Because oftentimes the answer can be answered with a question. Did you watch the live stream? Did you watch it live or did you watch the VOD? Oh, they're, they're still allowing it to be capped. They never bothered to recap it. Well, good. Oh, they almost got it there. All right, there we go. Pop this down. So, yeah, in case you are curious about the Manfred live stream, um, I just didn't enjoy it. Um, I didn't enjoy it. That's all. It wasn't difficult. I just uh, wasn't having fun. Uh, I'm not going to continue a campaign. That's not fun. People don't want to watch me um, be bored in a campaign. I'm actually enjoying the Beastman campaign. I am enjoying it. Uh, but I, I wasn't enjoying Manfred. Yeah, some people do enjoy Manfred. I just personally didn't. Doesn't doesn't appeal to me anymore. I prefer the vampire accounts in Warhammer 2 because... It's more of a challenge because the AI throws so much more at you. Um, and I kind of feel like the AI is smarter. And you just end up going from siege battle to siege battle. And vampire counts doing sieges is really boring in Warhammer 3. And I just feel like in Warhammer 2, you fight more field battles. And I just feel like that, as the vampire counts, that's just more my jam. That's all. Yeah. I'm not going to do, like, you know, two episodes of a campaign that is just going to put people off. Alright. How strong is the Ancestral Strong now? Well, they're down to four settlements, but they've Gotta have at least three armies. I've lost track of how many of their armies I've killed. So that army there is probably worth any more more than one of ours. But with Malagor, uh, do we need to construct anything? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, I think what I'll do is come over to here in encamp stance and maybe I'll just jump over here next turn because I have no idea what's over there but we'll see Vlad is so much more fun yeah look it's it wasn't Vlad or Manfred the problem I just don't really like vampire accounts in Warhammer 3 I just I just don't want to play them I'm not I'm not going to cover vampire accounts again, uh, again for a long time Unless something changes with them, I just don't enjoy them. It's cool if you enjoy vampire accounts. It's just not for everyone. You know. Alright, let's upgrade this. Best race for siege battles. Whichever race can get through them quickly, because siege battles are shit in this game, so you want to just get over get them over with quickly. That's kind of why I just prefer to cheese them with like a stalking unit. Just because I want it over with. That's it. They're just not fun. About Vampire Coast. I'm trying Vampire Coast, but I'll, I'll give them a look. They're on my to-do list. Alright, we've got enough dread to confederate Morgar. Alright, did we get his herdstone? Yep, he was still alive. Oh, we get his army. Huh. We got another we got an other tricks of shard, okay. What's that doing there? Whatever, um, okay. 
Thanks, Grow. I hate no furs. <laughs> Give me warpstone. Oh shit, you got wrecked. All oh, right, because dwarf end game crisis on the way. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. So, should we keep Morgor here? Because we're actually over our army cap at the moment. Yeah. We've got a Gorbul here that is strong. Now I'm going to get rid of that. Many inventions I have to kill you. Uh, I think we should fucking bail on this area. Just get rid of this. Re-recruit him back up this way where we've got all of our stuff together. And this herdstone is not worth anything, just get rid of it. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to fighting huge amounts of dwarfs with this. This isn't this isn't gonna go down well. You can't actually kick out lords. <laughs> uh, legendary lords. You can't... You can't kick them out. Right, so... You can't remove them. Hmm. Interesting. Sell stone to Clan Scryer? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Cower before Chief Warlock Ickett Claw, no fair. Yes, not much money. Hmm. Maybe it's because you're in Beast Pass Dance? Well, I can't get out of it, so I guess we'll just see how we go next turn. But yeah, the ritual's completed here, so it's of no value. Morgor only gets wounded for one turn. Yeah, so what we need to do is find a battle where he can win, but we get wounded in it. Because, yeah, he's only ever wounded for one turn. And then I can just... That'd be a better than disbanding him. Alright, so I'll abandon this. No, I'll sell it to Clan Scryer. But I think I might actually attack Clan Scryer. I have to kill you. <laughs> Agreed. But yeah, I can't move this turn. Such a thing is impossible. Slayer Morgor against the Walson's game. But oh right, he's a mortis engine. Um with that doesn't need to be in melee. Let me let me just um where is he? Well, we got all of our legendary lords now, so that's good. Um, is he still? Let me have a look. Where is it? This one here. Yeah, he still doesn't need to be in melee or a vile transmutation. All you gotta do is park him underneath a uh, gate, <laughs> and he can win the whole entire battle on his own. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we should maybe build a outpost a out here. I got money. Yeah, build it at the Palace of Ruin. Cool. Three grand. All right, I think that's all I can do this turn. My bestial rage. Yeah, look, we're not going to be fighting this turn, so just uh, just do that. Okay, let's move on.
Maybe use that army to get the bloody trait. Uh, I don't really care that much about the bloody trait. Uh, it just depends on whether or not you like uh, one man doomstacks. I just don't think one man doomstacks are all that important. Do you still think Torox has the strongest faction bonus for Beastmen? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Even with a massive nerf, it's still very powerful. Because it's really good at getting dread, but also reducing dread costs. Which is really bloody important. And um, even though the Rampage mechanic has been significantly nerfed, you can still get Morgor a good chain of victories. Sorry, Mal um, Torox, not Morgor. <laughs> Morgor on the brain. Oh. And <laughs> they were just like, Nah. Nah, fuck these guys. Yeah, what we should be doing with Morgur is just fighting siege, like, walled siege battle after walled siege battle, because you can basically can't lose them. Alright, so let's have a look here. we got a lunar event. These don't happen very often. Uh, let's see. What do we got? That's really good. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. That's pretty good. I think I'll go with Casualty Replenishment, right? Uh, then again, I don't have any armies that are damaged. When do we get another army? Oh, I've got to get all the way to here. When do we get... When, when can we upgrade our army capacity through this? It says Reach Ruination Level 8. But you were able to do it once you got to 6 or 7 in the previous game, but we'll just have to see. Alright, Torox might be able to reach there if we use Raid Stance. Mm, it's a bit of a stretch. Because we're running out of this and we're so close to a Rampage. I could definitely make it to Iron Frost though, but if I go over here to Iron Frost, I don't have anywhere else to go. There's nothing out here. It's just a waste of time to even go there. Uh, he won't be able to make it to Elder Spire. Okay, we said we were going to use Malakor to just like jump over here. There, at least we got some more Minotaurs, so that's good. Alright, we got another, um... No, not that one. Why the... Oh, no, that's a Gorb. Yeah, go... What? Did that cost go up? Oh, right, because the event expired. Stop that! Uh, Uke Rocket did a photo of show. With Bellicor, does it make sense to specialize his armies into each monogod units? Is keeping his army undivided smart or better to specialize? I'd say do whatever you want, dude. It works on either way. Um, I'd say it doesn't... It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think there's any real sort of... 
Yeah, I just don't think it matters. <laughs> Sorry. I wish there was something else I could say. Like, I... <gasps> I used him with an undivided army, and it was fine. You could use him with a demon army, it'll be fine. You could use him with various mono god units, and it'll be fine. Uh, it just depends on what you want to do. So, yeah, just just do whatever you want to do and make it work. Okay, I could reach that one, but it's a pretty strong army, and now it's pretty shit. All right, should we declare war on Clan Scryer? Yeah, they're here. Let's have a look. We could use this battle to get Morgar wounded and just teleport him up that way. His army can easily be replaced. Yeah, I just have no interest in keeping him here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna fight this battle man manually. We're gonna win it, but I need to make sure that he gets wounded in this battle. Try to disband first. Well, if we disband him, he'll take five turns to come back. If we get him wounded, it'll only take one turn to come back. So this is the better option. Plus, blowing up this settlement will give us some dread, which is nice. Is that Morgus starting army? Uh, well, we, when we confederated him, this is what we got, but I, I just need to teleport him up this way, just because this is not really a safe spot. There's a lot of, uh, in-game crisis factions here, and I kind of need him elsewhere. Alright, we got a lot of units that stalk. They're going to pop down a nuke on us, so we just need to make sure that we're spread out. It doesn't really matter about the nuke. Let's, um, what we want to do is have Morgur come over here and just damage them by a lot before we go and get him killed. All we have to do is like put him underneath the thing. Yeah, whatever, who cares if we get hit. And while that's going on, just start sneaking in. Sneak, sneak in. Yeah, open the gate, whatever. Yep. Whatever. Doesn't matter, we're gonna disband the entire army anyway. What was there? Fucking center ghouls. Okay, no big deal. I don't know if you've gotten the trait yet, but I remember you mentioning momentum. Torox has a trait which nets two momentum per one instead of one. Oh, how do I do that? That would be really good. I don't know how to get that. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. That would be really, really handy for me. Yeah, I don't know how to get that trait. You have to tell me how to get it. I don't, can't remember. <laughs> it's eighty-five missile resistance. All right, how are we going over here? Uh, Morgan's not unbreakable, so we got to keep that in mind. He needs to actually get killed.
Used to be one of the rampage raid points. For oh, yeah, yeah, I've got that, but it's not permanent. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Legend of Totally Forgot? Well, I actually have it. I just, I wasn't sure what he meant. So I actually didn't forget. Was it a first tier rampage reward? It was second tier. He is dying. He's just regenerating quickly. He is dying. High momentum for multiple turns. Trying to check how high, but 6 plus momentum, I think. Oh, that's really hard to do in Warhammer 3. There's just not enough ways to get momentum. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think we've ever been at 6 momentum. Because every time we finish a, um... A rampage, it gets reset down to 3. Yeah, he is dying. And he's inflicting shitloads of damage. Can't see him dying here. Uh, there is a way. Okay, look, he's done a ton of damage. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Towers. Okay, we just go and get killed by this tower here. <laughs> they, I don't know if they're gonna make use of it. Come on, do you need to sh come and shoot me up on the towers, guys? They they won't do it. Oh man, how are we gonna get killed here? You're right. Because they they won't shoot at us. Come on, man! How hard is it to kill my bloody legendary lord? Alright, uh, let's have a look. I gotta find some towers to get shot by. Yeah, I think those are storm vermin. Maybe those will kill me a bit quicker. Pretty funny. We gotta try not to win until he's been wounded. <laughs> Another problem that might happen is if he um, if he routes before he's been killed, he could shatter. He does have naturally high leadership though. Oh fuck! We're gonna get. We're bloody gonna win before. This yeah, we're getting really close to the army losses. I think I gotta get him out of here. Because <laughs> I'm killing them too quick. Towers, shoot me. Come on, I just want Morgan to die, you fuck. It's too hard to kill. Go stand next to, like, the biggest concentration of towers. Hey, you, night runners, shoot me. I know we've got a lot of missile resistance, but just shoot me anyway. No, they won't. They just won't do it. It's a really good trait, so it makes sense. I think you only found it. You need to have 8 momentum when you end your turn, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna try to- I'll try to get that then. I'll try to get that. The 
Okay, this is all, he's almost at his max regen, but I'm concerned that we're going to inflict the army losses really soon. We've just done so much damage to them. Stay away from me. I'm killing you too much. Stay away. Just let me get shot. Stay away from me. <laughs> Stay away. I'm doing it for your own good. I stink too much. Alright, maybe I should withdraw some of these units here. Uh, not these two, not these two, not these two. They're unbreakable, I need them. They'll ensure that we don't get army lost. Okay, at least we got no more regen, so I just gotta try to get shot by towers. Cause yeah, these guys are just completely incapable of beating me. Can you withdraw units to avoid army losses? I, I tried that, yeah, I just did that then. Alright, if we can stay, like, over here, that should have a decent angle at shooting at us. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage. Fuck, this is annoying. Oh, I can replenish minus one hit points. So we actually replenished hit one hit point too many, apparently. Achieve five victories in a battle with Torox as your only surviving unit against an army worth at least 2,500 gold. Reward is 20% replacement for lords and 10% ward save. Ooh. So that you'd have to make Torox a one-man doomstack for that. That's interesting. Yeah, there we go. We're getting shot by towers and they're not coming at us. Now we just got to be patient. And he's still got really high leadership. Yeah, recover your fatigues. Oh man, this could take a while. Even if at point blank range. Another option that we could do is actually destroying a tower so that they build higher tier towers. You could also have an army reinforced to rocks. Yeah, that's a good point. damage. I don't want to win just yet. Okay, look, I only need one. Get rid of one of them. Alright, they're doing some damage to him. It's only at one clan rat, so that shouldn't army loss him if we defeat it. Why is he trying to die? Because we're trying to teleport him somewhere else. I just confederated him, I don't want to be here. I can't disband him, so I've got to get him wounded. But it's actually very difficult to get him killed. No! Stay away from me! <laughs> we better not fucking win! Stay away from me, you're just gonna get killed, bitch. Uh, if I had Shatterstone, I could go stand on a wall and then just, like, destroy the wall.
Alright. If we do if we cap a point, they might rebuild the towers with way higher tier towers, allowing me to actually kill them. Now I put him out in front here and they wouldn't get up on the other towers, so kill us. Don't just stay away, you dipshit. I'm just hurting you. Stay away. I don't want to win. Alright, look, look, let me leave this way if we can. I oh, know I can't get out. Let me let me leave. Oh, I keep cut the gate's open and you can't get out. Fucking gate bug. Alright. Stop trying to attack me. Oh shit, we got detected out here. Mm, oh my god, I'm trying so hard to not wipe out their forces. The army losses. Leave them be, leave them be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need to get attacked? That's fine. It's fine. We're we're too close to winning anyway. This whole army needs to be disbanded. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so hard to get Morgan killed! AI. Just chase that one away if you wouldn't mind. Like, we're winning by a freaking country mile. We're, we're not going to lose this. So, we need to kind of fight it badly, or else the army losses are going to be inflicted. It's kind of weird. You could withdraw some of your troops. I did that. I did that. Um, but I need these guys here to go and cap the point in a bit. Stay away from Walker, you dipshits. We haven't taken any damage in ages here. Just, the part of the problem is that they just won't shoot him with with their you know missile units. They'll shoot him with the towers, but the towers are so inaccurate. I'm trying to uh, cap this point so that they'll recap it and actually build like really high powered towers because they would have um, accumulated a lot of supply points now. Stay away. Just uh, just run back out. We'll just we'll just come back later. Okay, cool. Now come back over here and recap that. Yeah, let these get wiped out. Don't don't do any damage. Just let them get wiped out. Cause yeah, we need to win the battle. We're not trying to lose the battle. So I need to have just enough force left over to actually win it. You're nearly dead, Morgan. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Just keep moving around them. No, he still keeps killing them. <laughs> He's such a powerful mortis engine. Come on, you got a thousand health left. Yeah, get these ones out of here. We can just come back inside in a bit.
We're almost there. Just need a little bit more. Okay. Alexander Jung did a 10 euro super chat. Hey legend, your content your content makes me come back to Total War Warhammer again and again. Keep it up. Greetings from Germany. No, right, dude. Um, glad to help. Thanks for super chat. Why wound Morgo? All right, they're coming over here to recap it. If they build a really high powered tower, we sit in front of it, and it'll only take a couple of shots to kill us. Oh look, this one here. That's fine. Good. Alright, and... Oh my god, don't tell me they're building tier 1 towers. If, oh my god, fucking morons. They're building tier 1 towers. Come on, damage Morgo for fuck's sake. <laughs> they just want to kill him. Oh, they just rebuilt tier 1 towers. They surely have enough supplies after half an hour. Alright, well maybe we'll try for this one here. Alright, we're almost killed. We're almost dead. These towers are really inaccurate. Okay, that's been destroyed. Come back over here. This guy here might just be able to win me the battle. Without them realizing it. Once this is done. Will the towers be more accurate if you close them as possible? Oh, I tried that. I sat right underneath them and they weren't very accurate. It's just that Morgar is quite a small target. again. No, stay away from me. Oh, they might actually be able to kill me. A little bit concerned about my leadership. Because routing... We don't want to route. We need to die. Chart, no. Towers haven't hit me in a while. Uh, if Morgor gets wounded, this guy here might actually just rout. Yeah. Straight away rout. I haven't been hit by the towers in ages. Okay, we got a tier 2 tower here. <laughs> Great. Stop doing this. I don't want to kill you, stupid rats. Trying to stay away from them because if I go near them, we will cause um, mortis engine effect. It just kills them so quickly. Alright, well the tier 2 tower here will at least do more damage when it hits. It's not going to do tons. But yeah, they just got like no chance of hitting him. And then he's got so much missile resistance. <laughs> he won't attack if he makes movement commands when surrounded. Yeah, but the mortis engine effect will. That's the problem. It's not his attacks that are the problem. It's his mortis engine that does all the damage. He, he only needs to be near them. Okay, we are getting here just really slowly. I just need to take a little bit more damage. Send one more unit in. Just one. Alright, we're, we're taking damage. Bit of patience, and we might just get this done. Just gotta be patient here. Because they, they seemingly don't want to come at us anymore. Okay, if I get a little bit closer, they might 
be a bit more accurate. Problem is that tower there might be obstructed now. They might use wall towers again if you bring units nearby as well. Mm, I'm not sure. They wouldn't do it before, so just, let's just keep going with this. Like, they currently don't have anyone up on the walls, and they can see this unit, so they're not interested in fighting on the walls. Typically speaking, once you've done a lot of damage to them, uh, they don't want to uh, hold the walls anymore. They're not programmed to hold their, the walls with every unit they've got, just like the first, say, 50%, which they've definitely lost at this point. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, just gonna be patient. Uh, Edinoz, Edinoiz did a 50 SEK super chat. Torok unique trait, complete rampage with 5 levels, high momentum, solo army equals win, 1 plus 5 solo versus 2,500 value, multi wins equals 4 win, 1 turn. Oh, he fucking routed. Um, he'll rally. Uh, thanks for the chat, dude. That is almost unreadable. He'll rally. He better rally. Yeah, he'll rally. We have to stay away from them, because now he's so weak. Oh, shit. Oh, no! <laughs> he's... Unfortunately, his leadership is just too low now. His leadership is just too low. I just can't get him killed. I can't. Because if he gets shot by a tower, he'll be shot by missiles. I can't boost his leadership any further. Put him near troops. It doesn't really boost his leadership at all. Unless they have like an inspire ability. If he routes one more time, he's shattered. I don't know what else to do. Oh, hang on, he doesn't he doesn't get hit by that leadership penalty. Oh fuck it. Didn't realize I was capping it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm trying so hard to get him killed. I just can't get him killed. Inspired by ability. What ability? Oh, this one here? Oh, right, right, right. If we capture more points... Oh! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If we capture points... That'll be worth... Uh, leadership. No, you get over here. Because look, if we look at momentum... Leadership up to 10. That might just keep him in the fight. And we can gain those points... Shit, you need to stay away from them. We can gain those points by capturing any capture point. I just gotta I just gotta get guys up on the walls. I just need five of them. Found a way to get some leadership. Yeah, any capture point counts. Especially at towers. Come on guys, get over here. These towers count. Towards momentum. Do gates raise momentum? No, but towers do. So get these around over here. Oh shit, they've actually got units on the wall here. Uh, oh 
man, I can't. F if I kill them, <laughs> if I kill them, then they'll army lost. All right, well we'll capture this point over here. So it'll give us a little bit. I gotta. How did they know I was gonna be there? Capturing this one here won't give this to the defender. Uh, maybe it might. Units are revealed. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm trying so hard. Yeah. I gotta get my leadership up. Uh, I gotta get these guys around over here. Uh, and just, like, capture some towers or something. Alright, what happened to the dude there? Oh, shit. No, don't fight me, you dipshit. <laughs> I don't want to win. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get over here. Cap go cap this. No, 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 no. Uh, don't. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I just gotta get, get that momentum up. Capturing this, I don't know if it gives us leadership, I'm, I'm just not sure. Yeah, it... It doesn't. Okay, whatever. That was their leadership. Fuck me. Okay, let's get you over here. Through here. How are we going for my... Oh, they've got a high-powered tower. Where is it? Over here. Over here, Morgan. Over here. They've got a high-powered tower. One hit from that, because that's... No, no, no. Well, whatever. That'll, that'll kill him real quick. I need to control this point, though. Get over here. Oh, there's fucking units there. I gotta avoid their units, because it'll... No! No! Fuck! <laughs> he shattered. Oh my god, this fucking getting him killed is so annoying! Alright, whatever. I can't do anything about it. He just, he just didn't have enough leadership to do this. No, just, we'll finish off the battle. Um, I'll have to get him killed in a different battle. There's nothing else I can do. He shattered. He's not gonna die this turn. Timer is on. Uh, no, it's 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 counting up, not down. He could still die. Nah, it's not gonna happen. We're just gonna have to try to fight a different battle, and um, there's other areas where we could fight. Retreat and attack again? No, 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 that's fine. Just win. Just get the... Oh, yeah, we... Oh, right, we're capping that point. Did you already leave? Yeah, Lord fled. Haven't seen Legion fail as hard ever. Yeah, failing at trying to get my Lord killed. You know, if there's anything to fail at, that's something. But yeah, it's just really difficult to get him killed because they, uh, unless they're unbreakable, um, your lords just have like this threshold when they're really low on health. And the enemy just did not want to finish him off. Why are you trying to get him killed? Because we need to teleport him elsewhere. I can't disband him. We don't, we, I don't want to be here. Does it replace Legendary Lord with regular Lord, Disband Strat, Not Walking Woman 3? Not for Beastmen, no. Not for Legendary Lords. You can't replace them. So I gotta get them wounded. It's alright, it's done. Should've fought the Orcs? Well, I would've lost that battle. I'm still trying to win battles. The point of this was to try to, to win the battle, but also to get Morgor killed, which is difficult. It's alright, still good. You know, we're just still gonna win, but Morgus not gonna be wounded. We're just gonna have to find somewhere else to fight. Okay, 
Now, if we're lucky, we'll be able to head to Monteras, something like that. Now, here's the great thing. If Morgur goes into another fight this turn, then he won't break because the damage sustained leadership penalty is based on your starting health. Of course, he'll get regen again. You can raise an attack again. Uh, if it's raised, it'll be gone. Okay, let's see if we got enough movement. I should be able to make it to Monteras and try again there. Ah, oh, I don't have enough movement. We didn't. We didn't quite get there. At least we got like next to no. Because, yeah, the problem here is that, look, I can't disband him, and I can't kick him out. So we got to try to get him wounded. Once we get him wounded, I can kick him out. Alright, so let's uh, come around over to here, and I'll see about attacking this settlement here. I should be able to reach it next turn. Yeah, so I, I just got to just gotta figure it out. Hey, in the meantime, we'll just get him built. Built up, whatever. Figure it out, figure it out. So we gotta get our momentum above eight, apparently. That's gonna be tricky. We don't have that many enemies to fight out here at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and I can't reach this one this turn, so just go into... Can't you just send him nearer to Torox by using sea channels? Yeah, but the sea channels are actually closer to Torox. Sorry, Torox is closer to um, them than the sea channels. Like, I could sail for like 50 turns or whatever over to here. It'd just be so much quicker if you got wounded. It just didn't work. It was. It just didn't work. That's okay, we'll try again next turn. And uh, look, as long as he remains damaged, we should be able to manage something. Alright, let's stay in a camp stance and see if we can... Oh, no, no, no. You know what? Let's stay in regular stance and allow them to attack us over the end zone. Although, they'll probably just run away. The AI is such a coward. Hang on, let me have a look here. Yeah. See, the bounce of power says it's about even. So that means that they will not try to fight us. So... In camp. Gotta try to catch them. Alright, well, that was... that was crap, but, you know, these things happen. These things happen. I thought you got the 8 momentum trait yesterday. Hmm, I don't recall ever being at 8 momentum. Let me have a look. Is that it there? Unstoppable force? I'm pretty sure you get that whenever you, um, you just defeat a first, um, uh, just do a first rampage. I don't think I've ever had eight and ended the turn. Go out of encamp stance so he doesn't replenish as much? No, because I don't want to get detected. It'll be fine, he'll only replenish a little bit. Maybe if I give him... Where is he? Let's have a look at him. Yeah, I only gained one level up. If I could give him some... Oh, I got that. Oh, no, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really good for him. Um, 12 leadership would have kept him in the fight. Yeah, his base leadership's only... Let me see. If I've got an ancillary... Oh, I should have put the war banner on him. 
I just never think about using that because it's such a shit banner. But yeah, if I had that, he would have stayed. Okay, 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 okay. Well, well, we'll see how we go. Alright, we're at the end of this turn here. We'll see how we go. Live and you learn. Done! <laughs> Nothing interesting here. Okay, let's move on. Does Mortis Engine effect stack? Only different types of Mortis Engine effects stack. Oh good, he got the Ambuscator. The Ambusher trait. That's really good. Let's hope we actually catch these guys. Alright, if we fight that guy there, he, that guy's got some stuff that could kill us, but our army would win the battle. Okay, well, that's fine. At least um, I'll get him this turn, and we, we should be able to fight him twice. Forbidden rod thing for Morgur? Uh, Morgur can't equip that because he can't equip arcane items. Good idea, but he can't equip it. Also, I don't have one. Okay, I think we'll be able to get him next time. Get him wounded. This is why I wanted to stay in camp stance, because otherwise they, they don't put their armies in front of us. Unless it's super strong. Oh, they can't make up their mind. What do they want to do? Uh, Luca Tarkov Videos did a $10 super chat. Do you still do disaster battles? I just sent you an email of my campaign disaster battle. I've been trying to win for the last two hours. I'm super curious as to what you would do. Uh, yeah, I still do disaster battles all the time. Um, I I do get more emails than I could possibly read, but I'll I'll see about it. Thanks for the chat. Cool, our ambush success chance just went up by a lot there. I'm a rude lord, not some all right, hopefully this guy's actually. If I go into, oh, I want to ambush him. What's our chances of ambush again? Sixty-five minus. 25. All right, let's just work with Morgra first. Pretty much a hundred percent chance of ambushing him. Mm. Close to. So yeah, we just send Morgra in. They should kill him pretty quick. They got some high damage units. The problem with the garrison there is his low damage units. All right, this is where you die. And I'll also got that banner for uh, extra leadership for him. Here we go. Cool. Make sure we put this on. That way he's got really high leadership. Yeah, they got no hope of winning. But I reckon if they... Oh, no, they won't use that. Uh, the warp grinders... We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully they fucking manage it. <laughs> What stops Morgo equipping arcane items? Only spellcasters can equip arcane items. If you can't cast magic, then you can't equip arcane items. Nice, gets me itchy nose. Items that give him unbreakable. The only thing I could have is the crown of command, but the problem with that is that it's temporary, so if he was low in leadership, I've got 20 seconds before he routes, so it's not going to solve it. You need to have permanent um, unbreakable. I don't have anything for that. They'll run to the exit. Uh, no, they... Oh, they fucking might, might they? <laughs> yeah, they might. 
Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll put Morgur in front of him. Alright, and as for these guys here, just stay out of it. Stay out of it. Kill me! Kill me! Quick! Yes! Kill me! Kill! <laughs> Kill me! I want to die! Yes! Kill me! I am dying! Kill me! Quickly! Oh, I'm healing! Come on, heal! No, don't heal! Die! <laughs> fucking die, you bitch! No! You fucking routed! But you got such high leadership, relatively speaking. For fuck's sake! <laughs> they better not be trying to leave the battlefield. 68 leadership won't rally. Come on, man! I just can't get this fucking killed! Don't try to leave, you'll get wiped out, you bloody idiots. You won't run your own force march! Oh, for fuck's sake! I just can't get him killed. They won't shoot him with the warp fire throwers either. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. There's only I need to I need to do this battle again. I know what I need to do. In order to get Morgan killed, I have to lower the battle difficulty. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't get him killed. Because if I lower the battle difficulty, then their missile units will actually shoot me. Just join, why do I need to get him killed? Because I can't disband him. I can't disband him. The game doesn't allow you to disband your legendary lords and you can't replace him. And he's in, he's just in a bad spot. I just confederated him. And I just don't want him here. I can't get, I just cannot get rid of him. It's stupid that they don't let you do that, but I don't know. Why won't they shoot you on very hard difficulty? They're just hard coded not to do that. They won't shoot at you. So if I go to here and I bop it down to normal, all right, just just for this battle, they'll shoot me with the warp fire throwers. Because he can't lose in melee. He just won't lose. AI is actually better on lower difficulties. In some situations, yes, because they the AI will just never shoot your lords if they're small. They just won't do it on very hard battle difficulty, but they'll do it on normal. See, the AI in... Well, basically, Warhammer 3 has been developed with an extreme anti-cheese mentality. So much so that it actually damages the game's AI. It almost feels as though whoever was developing Warhammer 3 hated me so much that they made a game to try to counter me, and it didn't fucking work. Uh, PMCLH did a 2 euro super chat. Use the staff who deal damage to magic. We already, we already talked about that. You can't equip it. Thanks, super chat. Yeah, see? Look, now they're shooting at him. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! Bathe in warp fire. Yeah! Bathe me in warp fire. Don't you dare rout. Oh fuck, I didn't put the banner on.
Like I said, they won't shoot you on very hard battle difficulty, but they will do it on normal. No! Don't cause leadership problems! Fuck off! Shoot me, please! I know he's got loads of missile resistance, but they just, they don't have anything that can kill me. I'm not trying to dodge. I'm trying to move in a, in a reasonable fashion so that he can... What's going on with this? Stay away from the... Oh God. Stay away from that. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're gonna leave the battlefield and army lost themselves. The AI is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to bloody give them a chance. They won't. They won't. Ha hang on, hang on, hang on. If I withdraw a bunch of units, they w might not get army lost. Get that one out of here. Get a little bit closer. Faster, stronger enemies nearby penalty is pretty high. Don't get so close to me, you'll get sick. Come on, Morgan! Just fucking die! <laughs> Come on, Morgan, you can do it, just die. Oh my god, the AI is so stupid. God, he's gonna fucking route again. Let me just move back a little bit. Come on, Morgan. Come on, Morgan, just stay in the fight with me just a little bit longer. A little bit longer, Morgan. Oh, f no! <laughs> I just can't get him killed. I just can't get him killed. Oh my god, I just cannot get this fucker killed! Get the fuck out of his way! Get the fuck out of his- Okay, come on! Come on, let's do this warp fight! Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> Okay, just set him into melee with these dipshits. No, Morgan! No, Morgan! That's a bad Morgan! Fuck <laughs> it! Stop routing! I just want you to get wounded! Yeah, they're out of ammo, but the warp fire throws aren't. Uh, if he routes one more time. If, uh, I just got that fucking banner on. Do I need to put it on easy difficulty so that he has higher leadership so that he doesn't rout? Get out of the fucking way! Stop it, I'm regenerating too quickly. Come on, I need the warp fire throwers. This is bullshit! <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> Fucking kill me already. Stupid bloody mechanic of them not allowing you to- Get the fuck out of my way, you stupid rats. You're just stopping them from shooting me! Come on, come on, come 
on, come on, keep. Hang on, they're actually doing damage. They're actually doing damage. They're actually doing damage. Come on, Mogur. Come on, Mogur. Here we go, here we go. They're out of the way. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Charge bonus, charge bonus, charge bonus. Shoot me quick! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Oh my god! It's so hard to get him killed. Disband his army attack with Morgan only? I'm trying to win the battle though. <laughs> Son of a bitch! A hundred health! I gotta remember to put that banner on him. Alright, I gotta pop it down to easy difficulty because he he just routes. Disband army in order? No, that would cause me to lose. And there's a if you do that, if you're on the attack, oftentimes your lord won't get wiped out. Can you resolve lawsuit? No, no, we we can do this. We can do this. We just gotta figure it out. It's just a puzzle. We just gotta figure this out. It's okay, look, as long as it's entertaining for people, that's the main thing. Okay, alright. Now, please. Please. Kill Morgur. Okay, this time I gave him extra leadership. I forgot to put that on last time. And on easy battle difficulty, we will have a uh, plus four leadership? I don't know. Uh, so he shouldn't rout! <laughs> Give him the crown of command. The problem with that is that it's temporary. So that's, we need like permanent, yeah, maybe I should have given it to him. Any unbreakable item? I've got a crown of command, but it's actually not very useful. Look, if this doesn't work this time, I'll get, I'll go equip the crown of command. Put some of your troops close by to negate faster, stronger enemies. They'll what they'll do is they'll shoot my troops instead of Morgur. I have to give them no choice but to shoot Morgur. Okay, <laughs> they have to have no choice but to shoot Morgur. I'm here. Shoot me. Okay, if we have a look, difficulty will give us yeah plus four. Oh my god, they're so stupid. Yes! <laughs> Another problem is that the burnt causes minus 8 leadership, so that was probably what's doing it. But it's the only thing that does enough damage. Blocks them. Do not let this one here get away. Oh my god, fuck me. Don't let this one here leave the battlefield. Alright, I need to start withdrawing some of my troops or else they're gonna get army lost. Alright, that's gonna create a chaos spawn. Go on. So we've got essentially a 12 leadership bonus of what we did last time. Because we, we only broke by a little bit. Oh, that's it. Hit me with warp fire. Because we are weaker to fire. Get out of the fucking way. Oh my god. Come on! Don't, where are you going? Get over here. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. You 
You just lost a ton of health. That's what you want to say. Out of my fucking way, rats. Bathe. Bathe in it. Yeah, get rid of this. Ah, oh, it's gonna cause the chaos spawn. Get these fucking chaos spawn out of here. Oh, just actually go get rid of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, here we go. It's time for Morgan to die. Enemy things melt. What the fuck are you waiting for? There we go. Oh my god, come on. Come on, Morgo. You're holding that leadership. One more hit. One more hit. Come on, guys. You can do it. Enemy things are dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, one more hit. They squirt fear mask. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Ah, success. Finally. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna take us four tries. Why? Okay, I've explained this like a dozen times already. I can't disband him. I just confederated him. He's in Astalia. I don't want to be in Astalia. I need him in Nagaroth. I can't disband him and I can't switch him out. So he has to get wounded. But I don't want to lose a battle. So I have to win the battle, but lose Morgo. But he won't fucking die. So I had to kill him. And we got him killed there. See, now he got wounded. And we can just tag him in with somebody else. Yep. Uh, yeah, whatever. Put him in. And now that we have a non-legendary lord here. Oh. And then, as of next turn... This character was recently wounded in battle. They will be available for recruitment next turn. There we go. Done. Okay, uh, this army here might as well be disbanded because I'm not going to be able to transfer the units over. So just yeah, get rid of it. And I don't have any more army capacity. So pop that down. And might as well just recruit another lord just for money's sake. Alright, so yeah, we've got this dude coming in, but I'm not worried. Because Morgo will make all the difference against him. What was this guy's trait? Discipline. Okay, I need to make note of that. Raise your difficulty back up. Yes. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I don't want to be on easy. Fuck that. Uh, Eddie Brifran did a ten dollars budget. Have you ever considered doing a live stream of you attempting a few disaster battles in a row live? I think that could be fun. Sorry if you tried it in the past and it sucked. I have tried it in the past and it sucked. Thanks for the chat, people. Um, yeah, it does. It just, it just doesn't work as a as a live stream format. It doesn't work at all. All right, so that's good. That's done. All right, now now. Wasn't I at two? Man, eh, whatever. Hmm. 
Okay, so the thing to keep in mind is that their artillery will not shoot at, at him. Yeah, yeah, being in the underway is a little bit of a problem, but I think we'll be okay. When was the last time you had a Legendary Lord wounded? It happens, but, um... There we go. Did you change the difficulty back? Yeah, I've changed it back. So yeah, Torox's main objective here, go in by himself and just take out the um, the enemy artillery. I don't think they'll shoot at him. And kill the enemy lord. Because if they tried to shoot at him, he's got huge amounts of... Oh, it's actually not that... Oh, right, right. Yeah, they don't want to shoot at him. <laughs> Should we shoot this giant bull? Nah, he's got too much missile resistance. Funny thing is, if we had this on easy battle difficulty, I reckon the battle would be more difficult because they would have blasted us on the approach, but they just refuse to shoot us. got this, but let's try to clump them up a little bit before, before that. Use Vial Entropy. Yeah, no, I was just trying to clump them up because just get more use out of it. There's no point doing it on the artillery since I'm just going to kill them. Yeah. Please. Uh, actually, now that the artillery's been lagged behind, you can come over here and do some stuff. Uh, don't be fighting hammerers, you'll actually have a hard time with that. guys go. This should just roll right over them. Okay, guns shooting at us. Need to get rid of them. Oh, 
Alright, cool. I actually took a few more damage than I would have liked, but we're okay. Alright, don't want to wipe him up completely because we want to um, get another fight in so that we can get more momentum. Yeah, if we lost the Minotaur, it would take two turns to recruit new ones. It's so annoying. Does the AI shoot more on lower difficulty or something? Okay, so in Warhammer 2, Creative Assembly saw that a lot of people were using Lords to waste enemy ammunition. So they made it so that on very hard battle difficulty, the army will not shoot at Lords that are of a certain size. So Torox is just under the threshold where the AI just won't shoot at him, right? The downside to that is that if they won't shoot at him and he's a super strong melee lord, you can just punch through their entire line and just go and kill their lord, right? Which is exactly what we did there. I can fully replenish just about. That's good. But on lower difficulties, the AI will shoot uh, your lord. And while you can waste their ammunition, it's actually easier if they just don't shoot at your lord and your lord just goes and takes them out. That's why they just refuse to shoot at Morg, uh, Malagor, they refuse to shoot at Torox. But yeah, if you're of a certain size, you can, um, they will shoot at you. Alright, what do we need from him now? We've only got a few more points left. Let's have a look. He doesn't really need more charge bonus. Leadership? Nah, he's good. Uh, spell resistance? Nah, he's good. Eh, that's not very much. Yeah, might as well. And then... Yeah. Cool. Doesn't need line of strike. Alright, and... Yep, whatever. Cool. We've now got a rampage going. But a problem here... Uh, I need enemies to fight. Set up another um, thing over here, I guess. You can fuck the AI either way. Yeah, it's they didn't they didn't resolve the the core problem in that the AI just doesn't know how to think. So this is the problem with the rampage, right? I could reset his movement right now. Fuck, I didn't have the thing active. <laughs> it reset his rampage. Whoops, my bad. Forgot about that. I didn't have the thing active. Oh uh, well, I uh, might as well use it. To start a new rampage. I've still got this uh, available, I just, uh, just forgot. And we'll go and uh, kill some some of these. Yeah, so that actually cost me three. If I had done the thing active first, uh, it would have only cost us two, and then I could have done it, would have reset our rampage, but I could have made it there this turn. Go to Ulf one? No, not right now. No, right now. We got other things to do. Okay. Um, are you at war with them? Let me see if I can get them to go to war with this throng. No, they won't do it. Oh, 
It's a lot of damage. For some of them, would not do any damage to us. And there could be big armies over this way. I know it's annoying, but I gotta fight this manually. Does missile resistance figure into what they won't shoot? I think so, yeah. I think so. I have found that um, large units with a lot of resistances, the AI won't shoot at it. Which is why they weren't shooting at, well, Morgra Small, so, I don't know. Do you think the game needs auto-leveling templates? It's so tedious leveling up tons of agents. Uh, Wouldn't hurt from it. Garrison's carrying too much weight and it's adjusted. Well, it's it's just because um, the Ungor Raiders aren't ranked very high in Order Resolve, and Dwarf units are ranked very highly in Order Resolve. So about it. Even though Malagor can take out the entire army by himself, like, no problem. He's actually so fast that the game can't actually slow him down properly. Uh, which one's got the regen? This one. Do you like the Helm of Discord item? Yeah, it's a really good item. Really, really good. I uh, probably shouldn't go into melee with him. He's not that strong yet. See, they'll shoot at a chariot, even though I can dodge the ammo easily enough. Should be pretty close to army losses now. Could be another army just waiting around the corner, that's why I had to fight it manually. This wasn't worth the order resolve. Risk. So yeah, having Kazrak and Morgor working together could be a good way to keep um, their strengths and weaknesses sort of sorted.
been binging Warhammer 3 since I am released. Haven't checked streams. Do you like the game so far? Okay. It's a question I get asked all the time. Regen from Alagor. Uh, he's got an item. Potion of healing. Okay, so... I do like Warhammer 3. I don't like everything about Warhammer 3. There's a lot of design decisions, I think, that were very, very dumb. Extremely dumb. But overall, I do like it. Not as much as I should. Alright. I wasn't expecting to be able to make it down here this turn. Eh, whatever. Get that going. Cool. Okay, now that he's at rank 3, we can get some stuff that'll really help him out, like this. Vile Entropy, and this, and... Oh, hang on, we need the Dread. That's really important. And we need... Yeah, that. That's less important. The healing potion seems weaker in Warmer 3, can you confirm? No, it's actually, it depends on who's using it. If you've got a lot of hit points, it's percentage based now. You got a lot, if you've got a lot of hit points, it's um, very useful. If you don't have much hit points, then it doesn't do as much. So if you're like on a mammoth, then it's worth a ton. Vanguard deployment for Minotaurs could be good. No, I don't really need that. That's crap. Crap. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I think I'll get in this way here. There's some good stuff in there. <laughs> No, none of these traits are what we want. It's okay, it happens. Alright, looking at the dwarfs now. Looks like they've only got about one army remaining. So, we'll see what happens once they get wiped out. Alright, it'd be good if these guys here landed, because these guys here need some fighting. Um, I was thinking, I was thinking that maybe it might be a good idea to get some Bestigors. However, I've only got enough to get one. It's 500 red. That would allow me to recruit two. That's better than nothing. Okay, we've also got the ability to recruit... No, I need to build that amount of money. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, if you use a potion of healing on somebody that's only got like, say, two or three thousand health, it doesn't seem to do very much. Like, if you, if you were playing on small unit scale on Warhammer 2, then a healing potion would seem as though it would heal like all of your health if you were down to one hit point. But that's because the game wasn't balanced on different unit scales, whereas Warhammer 3 is. Alright, that's all good there. Alright, I don't see anything else we need to do. So yeah. Looks like pretty soon we're going to be going head to head with um, Sisters of Twilight, which, oh god, they're, they're difficult to deal with. Excuse me, especially uh, with, well, pretty much regardless of whatever we bring, but I'll see what I can do. 
Don't their tech make spells 0% miscast with caster talents? Yeah, but I don't overcast very much, so it's just not that useful. So I'll get it whenever I can. I wasn't able to research it yet. Are you going for the Sword of Cain? I'm not going for it, but if I stumble across it, I'll get it. Best parts of Warhammer 3? Depends on which faction you're playing. I'd say that Korn and Slanesh and Kislev are the most fun factions. Ogres are good. Uh, Cathay, I don't know, some. I don't know about Cathay. Oh shit. Why do you come here the moment I start recruiting a unit that takes two turns to recruit? Stay still. Oh, perfect. That's great. I'll be able to get so much momentum out of this. I'll ambush him, and then I'll ambush him again, and then we blow up his settlement. Get three momentum. For you to scale zero, something you need to do for it to update mid-campaign? No, it's it's stuck on whatever you start your campaign on. You can't change it. You have to start a new campaign. Oh, wow. Well, I'm of Conclave. Oh, yeah, because it goes up against the Tomb King one, which is stronger than it. Wintertooth was destroyed. Okay. Alright, what's our chance of ambushing? 75%. Okay. Yeah. This is why two turn recruitment fucking sucks. Right? Because I wouldn't be able to fucking move. Uh, Morg is available now. So, get rid of this dipshit. There's Morgur. And, yep, everything's exactly how we left it. It's kind of weird that that's there. Uh, can't recruit Chaosborn yet, so where do we get that from? Okay, I need to build this up to get the Chaosborn. But he's actually much better with a Jabba Slight army, but it takes a lot longer to build. The chance of ambushing this is... About as close to 100% as you can get. And the garrison should come out and help as well. Uh, it's fairly strong, but we should be able to handle it. How strong is the Wood Elf Endgame Crisis? Let's have a look. Eh, it's not that tough. These guys are on the way, though. Alright, well, we successfully ambushed them, but we can't win that in order resolve. <laughs> uh, this might be an opportunity to actually recruit some Regiment of Renown, because we're going to need them to, for dealing with that one as well, because that's going to come over here straight away. So I'll chuck them over in Morgra's army. Just get everything. Because this is a bit of an emergency. Should still be able to ambush. Now we can probably win this bit in order result, but if we do that, then we'll lose the, the next battle. Let me have a look. Oh, okay, we didn't ambush at that time. That's okay, that's okay. Jabba takes three turns, I believe. Hmm. Try again. It's like 95% chance of success. There we go. Oh, decisive victory with low casualties. Shit, that might actually be better then. Low. Okay, whatever. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we still got this guy coming in at the same such time. A thing is impossible. All right, and what do we need from Kazrak? Yeah, I need that extra ambush success chance. Please. One thousand two hundred thirty-seven casualties. Low. Well, low just means under twenty-five percent. So we had like five thousand men. So that's that's why. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while before we um get that stuff going. Just recruit whatever we can. So Kazrak's got a 90% chance of ambushing them if they come in through here. Obviously an ambush would be better than anything else. But uh, we'll have to just wait and see. It seems like there's a, a, a limit to how much uh, dread you can actually gain from any battle. It seems like it's 125. It's the absolute limit. Which is kind of silly. Alright, let's see if we can get some momentum this turn. We need to ambush them. 75% chance, and it worked. Cool. Have to fight it manually because the army has to survive. Jabber is two, Gorgons is three. Okay, thanks, dude. Sex bots back. Uh, they're always here, they, they never left. Less frequently than they used to be here, but yeah, they they never left. Okay. Just send Torox in. Sending anyone else in just seems like a waste. <laughs> run, fatty, run! Ah, you fat phobic! Is there a moderator? Um, we don't re- I don't think there is one active at the moment, but we don't really need a moderator when we've only got 1,700 viewers. Um, you guys are pretty well behaved. Yeah, we mostly need moderators on like episode ones, which this is not, and on like really big streams and we've like got like 5,000 viewers, which I don't know if we'll ever get 5,000 viewers again, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, right now we don't need a moderator. I can just go in and ban those sex bots. Ogres have only one weakness and it's diabetes. Hmm. Yeah, minimum 75, and seems like the maximum you can get is 125. I've never gotten more than 125 from a battle. We got some modifiers that allow us to, um, give us more dread. I've always suspected it's kind of bugged out. Just need to get lots of battles. So yeah, we fought that other battle manually so that, yeah, another 75, um, so that we could get another fight in out of them, because we got to get that momentum up. 
Every time we fight a battle, get that momentum. Get that rampage going. Alright. Alright, so with this one here, I gotta remember to try to backspace it after we order resolve, because we gotta get down moving down here as quickly as we can. Can't get around this. Oh, uh, I could raise a herdstone here. Yeah, okay. We'll kick you out, mate. Oh, no. Nah, we'll be fine. Even if it attacks us, we'll be fine. Okay, give me sight over this. And Melagor. I reckon this here, the last two armies, that's that's the last of the armies that was spawn. So we'll see if they actually re respawn once we've wiped them out, because that was a big curiosity about dwarfs. People said that they, they do uh, come back. <sighs> I mean, they, they do almost have a full stack, and the game doesn't rank our army very well. Just order it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I gotta fight it manually. Is there a random component to wade through gore? I just butchered 10 of my own Skaven Slaves and didn't get it. Uh, you've got to do it multiple times in order to get it. You don't just get it the first time you get a Pyrrhic victory with 50% casualties. So I think the f first threshold, you got to do it twice, then the second is third, and the sec and the third is third. So you I think you have to do it eight times in order to get it to wade through gore. So you can't just do it once, you got to do it multiple times. And it has to be 50% casualties, not just Pyrrhic victory, 50%. So if you bring 1,000 troops and you end the battle with 501... You're not gonna get it. You have to get down to 499, at least. All right. So I'm not just gonna rely on um, yeah, this turn. I mean, we're gonna climb up the damn hill. Say going over this way here makes sense. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That is okay. Minus. Okay, we can shoot that. Uh, Phil Cam did a five pound super chat. Just order it. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> okay, thanks for the chat. And we got we lose. What's the point in that? Shouldn't be a difficult fight, just, just couldn't be auto-resolved. Armor is just way too heavily rated in um, Warhammer 3. <laughs> Quibidon! 
Oh wait, don't we have another trickster shard now? I really should equip that on um Malagor. Area here can be a bit annoying to get into. Hey, watch out. Oh, well, that's not really ideal for you. That's a bad idea. The army losses is too far off. A lot of the units are gone now. IA should be less anti-player in IE, according to CA, but I've experienced the opposite. Uh, I, I think it is a lot less anti-player. It is a lot less than, than Realm of Chaos. Uh, but what I find that the AI is in Warhammer 3, Immortal, sorry, in Immortal Empires, is that it is, um, is cowardly, so it could be that the AI is picking on you because you're weak. That could be it. Okay, this squall ball is getting wrecked. I did violent entropy, that was doing a lot of damage. Oh shit, we almost had a magic. Alright, I'm going to start sending some guys up this way. This battle's a bit of a pain in the ass. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Just wanted to get it done quickly, but... It just, they just won't let me do it quickly. Won't let me have a quick win. Don't shoot it at right. Could you get rid of this fucking crawler here? It's probably doing the most amount of damage to us. Just focus on Flock of Dooms now, or else I'm going to run out of magic. The problem here is that the, the choke point is like just really bloody tight. It's hard to get all of our archers in here. This is sometimes where a melee infantry based army would have been better. That's fine. Dark 
Experience and all the resolve power. There we go. Alright, it wasn't too bad. Definitely better than what all resolve was going to yield. I guess Legend playing with different units is disaster and one man doom stack battles. No, not necessarily. I get that you can look at an army like this and be like, oh, why isn't he recruiting variety in his armies? And as I've explained this multiple times when playing Beastmen, you have unit caps, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to increase those unit caps, but it's expensive. <laughs> I cannot recruit anything other than Ungor Raiders beyond a certain point. Oh, Legend Huckabee, I don't have 20 Jabba slots yet. This is what happens when you have unit caps. Oof, that was a hell of a move. Okay, so I'll show you. Alright. We go into encamp stance here, and we have a look at what we can get. Alright, I could get Chaos Warhounds. Ungor Raiders, Ungor Herd, Ungor Spearmen, or Ungor Spearmen Herd. Rubbish! You know, we're working on it. We're working on it, right? So over here, um, we're trying to get Bestigors, but they take two fucking turns to recruit and everyone keeps interrupting it. Like, I, I was recruiting that. So we are we are putting variety in our armies, like Tuscor Chariot. Cool. I can't get any more! <laughs> you know? It's just, there's limits. If we have a look over here, uh, where is it? Torox. Okay, Torox has got Minotaurs in his army. But guess what? I can't recruit anymore. Okay. Yeah. It just it just takes time. All right, this will be good. This will give us a lot of extra dread, which will help us increase our unit caps, which is what we need. All right, what are we doing here? All right, looks like we've destroyed everything that we need to from this ritual here, so pop it down. Oh, we got an unbreakable, um, where was that? That was a uh, banner, I think, that gave him unbreakable. Gift of Chaos, Unbreakable Assigned Unit. Well, do you know where that's going? Fucking Morgur. Imagine Morgur, Unbreakable. Uh, where is it? Gift of Chaos. This one here. Actually, if you have that on Malagor, then he doesn't need an army. Nah, but right now I need it on Morgur. Okay, let's see if we've got some other items for him to boost him up a little bit. A Dawnstone would be alright. Physical resistance. Yeah, he doesn't really need that. Yeah, let's let's make him stronger. You have two gifts of Chaos Banner? Yeah, but I think one of them is different. Let me have a look. 
Yeah, yeah, they're, they're called the same thing, but this one here gives slug skin. It just, it's just different. They're just called the same thing, that's all. Braveheart did it too. Are there any good movement bugs still working? Yeah, yep, there are. Uh, nothing that works for Beastmen, though. As far as I'm aware. Thanks to the chat, though. Appreciate it. It's not that useful. Now oh, that's useful. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go down his blue line. I think that's what we were trying to do there. Okay, since we're probably going to have a battle over here, I think Kazrak has a lot of potential to be a good fighter, so I think we need to give him the uh, the troll hide. Hopefully we don't lose it. Oh, other stricter shard, before I forget, need to put that on him, because that's actually really good for... Yeah, he doesn't need the potion healing anymore. He's good. Okay. I'd actually really like it if they attacked Shocktack Mountain. I reckon uh, Torx would make mincemeat out of them. If we have a look... Oops, didn't mean to put that. Yeah, it's evenly matched, which means that they'll probably be a bitch about it. Alright. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is uh, start my turn... Uh, in my turn with eight momentum because apparently that'll allow us to gain momentum faster apparently but we'll we'll see about that I just got to get more battles in uh, I think I've done everything that I can yep we're trying to get him chaos spawn it's just gonna take a little bit all right um still gonna level up over here Oof. My magic's depleting. Which is the main strength of my army. It's all weak everywhere. Don't have channeling stance. Although victory conditions does give us... Hang on, how many, t how many marks do I have? If I can just destroy three more settlements, we'll we'll basically always have a hundred wins of magic. I'm just gonna do three more, which we're you know on the way to doing. Okay, moving on. Another vampire mini Karen car. Oh, I didn't look. Yeah, I can't see myself going there right now. There we go. Come on, attack me. I need momentum. I didn't see what they did. Hopefully this is their rating. I didn't see what they did. Might be a dwarf army sitting up there. I 
Sorry for bothering, but I saw a third Gift of Chaos banner. Well, if it was the same type, it would have been right next to each other, so it was of a different type. Ooh, okay, let's have a look here. 90% ambush success chance. What's it going to be? Ah, uh, we ambushed, but fuck. We can't order resolve it. All right. Well, I gotta fight it manually. It's a dangerous army. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. Let's try uh, hiding the entire army and just seeing if they'll just walk off the battlefield. <laughs> if they just walk off the battlefield and we just get the win, you know. <laughs> so I don't want to fight it. I need some time to replenish. Thanks to those fucking wood elves. Uh, I don't want to fight this. So let's just everyone here can hide. I'm just gonna gonna go over here, and I'm gonna hide. Because yeah, otherwise uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that's very fucking dangerous. It's a lot of magic damage. Mm, only this one. So I'm just gonna come over here and hide, and we'll see. We'll see. Sometimes they just walk straight off the map. If we have a look, yeah. Sometimes they just walk straight off the map, <laughs> and and you just and you just instantly win. Everybody hidden. They have no idea where we are. Uh, this guy here could do some shenanigans on them if they. Uh, but we'll just we'll see what happens. All right, I'm just gonna put this over here for now because I want it to take longer. And I'll just switch it back over here if if this doesn't work. But yeah, how funny would it be if they just walk off the battlefield? Again, brave guard have magic attack. Oh, they do too. Yeah, that's a diff yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, is that gonna matter? It's only gonna matter to... Uh, it's not gonna matter. We, we're not physically resistant. Nobody's got physical resistance except for maybe Morgo. I didn't know you could do that. I actually don't know if you could do that. I've heard that you can do it. I've never needed to do it. But right now I want to do it. I just want to see if it works. I've heard that if you just stay in ambush stance, that they just walk straight off the battlefield. And the funny thing is, is that the army losses will still be inflicted and half their army will get wiped out, I think. Is, are they going to leave? So that's one. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They're still gonna fight. Okay. No, they didn't leave. It's just curious, it's just curious, but no, that didn't work. Okay, now we gotta get organized. At least all of our reinforcements are here. Uh, they don't have ammunition, so I can't use violent entropy. Just get all of our shit over here. Let's get moving. Is this guy here a good spellcaster? No. Nah. Alright, I need to get organized. We are very messy here. Okay, they've got flying superiority, so our guys need to land. We've got Morgo. Oh, what are you doing? Get over here. Yeah, this, is, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a fucking mess. I can just see it. probably tell which units which. But they're coming at us in waves, which... Like, look at look at these Grave Guard. They're going to take forever to get here.
These guys are in a bit more over this way. So apparently the bounce power is in their favor, but I think they're really do they're doing really badly at the moment. Okay, Mortis Engine incoming. That is where our archers need to be aiming. Only one Mortis Engine allowed to be here, and that is Morgur. You're good, this way. And see you later, Mortis Engine. Oh yeah, we got this. No point using vile entropy, they have no ammunition. Yeah, if you guys could shoot these blood knights, that'd be good. We're a little bit cramped up. But it's, it's working out. Alright, where's my manticore? There. These three here. Let's get them. Oh, they're up already. Go, go kill the enemy lord. Now their flying units have been taken out. We've got aerial superiority. Take them out. Oh yeah, forgot magic. Uh, let's see. What should we use? Go for that. Start using it. Good, the necromancer's getting fucked. Right, Simon. Good, we got rid of their lord. Yeah, we got this big time. We got this. Where's Morgan? Get over here. A lot of melee infantry. Go kill them. There you go, for those of you who wanted variety, there we go. What a mess this fucking fight was. And there's the army losses. Slaughtered them. I'm sure like half of their army will recover, but yeah, absolutely slaughtered them. Now the problem here is that Kazrak is still recruiting, so he's not going to be able to pursue this guy, but Morgor will be. He's not recruiting anything important.
but yeah, being able to take their, out their uh, Mortis engine early and having Morgo doing stuff and taking out their Lord and them coming at us in ways like that, that worked out really nicely. AOS is not very good. They sh What they should have done was gotten their army together and attacked with their infantry first and then hit with their monsters, but they did it in the opposite. They attacked with their monsters first without infantry support. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, Karen Carr. Well, I'm just gonna abandon Car Oh no. Oh, we're gonna lose the battle. <laughs> if I had abandoned it last turn, it would have been fine, but yeah. I can't abandon it. I don't have enough time or anything. I'm gonna lose the battle. There's no way I'll be able to repel it with what I got there. And there's no one I'll be able to sell it to. I can't peace out with them. And there's no army that I can disband either. I cannot disband any armies because they're all commanded by legendary lords, so I can't get anyone over there. I've got no regiment of renown. I'm gonna lose a battle! There's no way for me to sell Karen car. I can't possibly abandon it fast enough. And there's no way that 10 units are going to be able to take on that. This is not possible. Doesn't matter how good you think I am. <laughs> that is not possible. Uh, it ultimately means nothing. First loss in three weeks. Yeah, but it, it's a meaningless loss. It means absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh wow, they really, they really ran for it. Yeah, Morgan can still finish him off. Give it to Musulon? I can't. I'm at war with them. I can't negotiate with them because they're an endgame crisis, and I can't. I can't give it to anyone. Well, this is simply marvelous. More playthings to talk to. Tell me your desires. It'd be interesting if I could give them um, it, it because there's a C connection, but that's just not how it works. I don't need Nagra or anything, um, but yeah, it's just not how it works. Yeah, if I wanted to prevent a defeat, I had to abandon it last turn. I just I didn't see that. You lose more than one quarter of your income. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> These things happen. What are you gonna do? It's the most meaningless defeat of all time, though. So yeah, it looks like there's something up here. For now. Ah, the Ripperhorn tribe. That's what what's going on. Before you die, no, nah, you won't give me any money. I recall that the beast path, um, deep beast path, used to provide a lot of extra campaign movement range. Doesn't seem to anymore. Like, if you have a look here, 140. Bugged. Campaign movement range plus 50%. It's actually bugged, it doesn't do that. The game fucking lies to you all over the place. Look, 140 at 140. Doesn't provide you any additional movement. As Malagor lies all around me. Okay. You could try the abandon and hope they don't attack. Uh, yeah, we could try, but look, when they're standing at you like that, they're definitely going to attack the next turn. 
It's like 100%. Like, I could, I could do that. It's not going to cost anything to do it. But I'm telling you, they got us. They got us there. They got us there. It means nothing. I could just go back there and recapture it. It's no problem at all. But they got us. My, uh, my undefeated run comes to an end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a look here. Horrible regeneration for Chaos Born. Yeah, that's really good, but I don't have any Chaos Spawn yet. Those are garbage. Those are, Oh, that's good. But it's not going to apply it until next turn. Because, yeah, I can't recruit another Lord here. And I, it's not possible for me to disband someone unless I get Morgo killed again, which, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? And even if I did, even if I did, I'd only be able to put a Lord there. Just win the battle? Okay, I would never in a million years be able to win with this. Never in a million years. Just... I could put the timer down to 20 minutes. <laughs> and hide. I, I could try that. I could try that. It probably won't work because they'll just come raging at us. Like, you gotta hold. They got fast units. If it's against the dwarves, you could do it. Um, and it's gonna be in the beast paths, which is very difficult to just run around. So, uh, I can give that a shot. But I guarantee that won't work. Can you perform a ritual, get another army? In order to get another army... Oh, yeah, but even then... Um, okay, hang on. That's actually a not a terrible point. How many points do I need? I've, I would need... 200... Oh, no, 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 no. See, army capacity 3, army capacity 3. I need to get to... Yeah, I would need to get, like, 300... I need to get 100... Ruination tokens this turn. That's just not gonna happen. All of these are complete. Alright, well, we've got, um. Torox here. Let's, uh, let's try to get some battles in. They should stand and fight. So we can get two battles out of that, get us to five, but then I don't think there's going to be any battles down here for a bit. Which is annoying, because it'll get rid of... Well, what if I... Yeah, just, just go for it. Yeah, should be fine. All we gotta do is send Torox in by himself, and you know what happens. And stream before enter, so you can't meet tomorrow. <laughs> hey, we're at six hours. I could do that. <laughs> no, who cares? I'm not trying to do no defeat campaigns. It's just they—they they came at my least defended area, and I just didn't see it. Are you going to continue this campaign tomorrow? I don't know. Like, in terms of numbers, normally I would abandon a campaign at this point. But I, I think that um, there's something going on at the moment which is causing streams to just be shit. And no matter what I play, we're just not going to get high viewer numbers on Warhammer 3. So, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea what to do with, with the channel at the moment. It's, like, so fucking difficult. Like, the numbers that we get in Warhammer 3 are worse than the worst times that we were doing with Warhammer 2. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, I'll think about it. Oh, why am I even bother trying to dodge? Don't do any magic damage, or else they will... Yes.
That's just the medieval. Nah, look, I was talking to other YouTubers, and they'll just say because of um, DLCs and stuff that's coming out for other games, people have uh, moved in interest from Warhammer. It, it, you know, this stuff happens. It's not, it's not a big deal. I just, I just don't know what to do. That's all. Uh oh. Oh shit, that was a lot of damage from one hit. Yeah, I believe pretty much all the Total War Warhammer YouTubers are suffering from low views at the moment. It's not just me. Um, so that, that's that's from what I've heard. You know, I was having a look around, and I, I don't see anyone getting particularly good views. I think I think interest in Warhammer Three at the moment is just like at a, at another low. It happens. Those of you who went back to play Cyberpunk, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it happens. So I could start another live stream. I start another campaign, but I just feel like. What's the point? Just what's the point? Like, it's just gonna be another either one or two episode live stream if I'm trying to maintain viewers that. Uh, viewer numbers that we've maintained, you know, for years. I think it's sometimes you just gotta accept and take an L that you're just not gonna draw the crowd. It's just not gonna happen. Because it's the game's fault. But again, I don't know. Because, like, in terms of, like, average view duration, this is still doing pretty well, but just it's just got a low concurrent viewer, just like... People just, uh, yeah, just, not, just not watching um, Warhammer 3 at the moment. I haven't been watching for a while. How's the streams been doing since IE? Not great. Not great. Well, um, Immortal Empires was not spectacular for the channel. Not spectacular. Like, it was okay to begin with, but it didn't break any new grounds or anything. And uh, it dropped off really quick. And I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm just trying to play the campaigns that I want to play. That's all I can really do. Because I don't like. Because if I play a campaign I don't want to play, you get what happened with the vampire accounts where I just, I just get shitty, and nobody really wants to see that. If you can hold a few seconds, that'll make you unbreakable. Here we go. The other option is to just not stream at all, and that way, you, you can't have low stream numbers if you don't stream. <laughs> you know, that's the other option. And I can just wait for people to pick up interest in, in Warhammer again. And then come back. Stay away from Slayers. Slayers there. They're really trying hard to kill my hero here. I tried to get rid of their artillery, but I just couldn't do it. There's Torox in that amount of time. 
Okay, too many slayers there. Get out of that. Get over here. Oh, they fucking keep shooting at him. Is the viewer count also affecting the videos or just the stream? Uh, yeah, the videos are doing shit as well, more or less. Yeah, it's, it's across the board. I think the live streams are affected more, but uh, it's definitely across the board. I just try and do the best I can until people, until interest picks back up. I don't know what to do about it. Do you think playing numbers for IE is good? Last I looked, it was 30k or something. Nah, that's terrible. Fuck, terrible numbers. Should be way higher than that. Way higher. It's only been out for a month. That's pretty low. Like, that's, um, that's not Warhammer 2 peak numbers. That's Warhammer 2 numbers when there was no DLC. And the game just came out. So that's terrible numbers. Well, it's not terrible. It's not, it's just not amazing numbers. I, should, I shouldn't be that pessimistic. It's just not amazing numbers. It, like, it's doing fine. Because, yeah, at the end of the, uh, before War, uh, Realms of Chaos came out, um, Four Realms of Chaos came out. Warhammer 2 was doing about 20 to 40,000 a day concurrence. Uh, yeah, concurrence. And which is what Warhammer 3 is doing about now. And that was on a four year old game, and this game is one month old. So I don't think that's a, that's a good. good sign. So far. You know, and the uh, the overall review views, while they have been better for Immortal Empires, they haven't like uh, they haven't hit Warhammer 2 level. Like Warhammer 2 is hitting like 95% positive reviews, and Immortal Empires is hitting like 84%, which is still good, still good, but it is it is lower than what Warhammer 2 was doing. So I think sometimes people who really like Immortal Empires can get a bit of tunnel vision. And see that it's not actually doing as well as you might think. Uh, Adam Bartos became a member for 30 months. I think people were expecting more from IE after Roman Captain's Arts and IE just did not deliver. That's basically it. Like, it, look, Immortal Empires for some people is like a dream come true, but for a lot of people it just hasn't delivered on that promise yet. And I say yet because it's not finished. Man, this army here gave me a lot harder of a time than I would have liked. But I don't think any of our units are getting wiped out yet. There's the army Do you think IE will one day be better than ME? Yeah, I think it will one day be better than ME. It's just not there right now. It's just not there right now. And you know, yeah, Creative Assembly made a lot of really dumb decisions with um, developing Mortal Empires. A lot of really dumb decisions. But that probably cost them quite a bit of play account. You know, rather than fixing like ridiculously shit bugs, they focused on anti uh, anti fun nerfing. It didn't. I, I did, just don't think they had their priorities correct. You know, maybe they'll get there eventually. Is it possible that people are still kind of bored of Wormer 2 since Wormer 3 basically is the worst version of that with barely any new content, people get bored faster? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. And that's the big problem, isn't it? That Warhammer 3 doesn't improve game, uh, doesn't provide an improved gameplay over Warhammer 2, and so what you've got is a few, a few factions that have a. Uh, uh, a few new things in Warhammer 3, a few new things, and that gives people something to do, but, you know, 
as as example with high elves, like why would you play high elves? Any of the high elf factions in Warhammer Three? Why would you bother? Doesn't offer anything new. In fact, it offers a worse experience. Same thing with dark elves. Like why would you bother playing dark elves in Warhammer Three? Like they put in a lot of effort to make it less fun. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make any sense. Like they could have just imported uh, dark elves and high elves straight out of Warhammer Two, with no changes, and it would have done better, in my opinion. Because he here's the crux of the problem, right? There were people who don't you like let's use the high elves, right? And the the big one is the entrepreneur, right? In Warhammer 2, let's just say you take two groups of people, right? The people who play without using entrepreneur, and the people who do play with entrepreneur. Now, the game does not force you to get entrepreneur. You do not require to do it. And in fact, getting it takes a while before it actually kicks in. Did my wizard die? No, he almost died. He left the battlefield. He's still alive. Barely. I'll need to give him troll hide. But yeah, we got through it. Pyrrhic victory, though. We got through it, though. So yeah, you take two groups of people. The first one that doesn't use entrepreneur, and the second group that does use entrepreneur spam, right? Now, you get rid of entrepreneur. makes it makes it fucking useless. Does that decision benefit... The second group? No. Because, does it change the gameplay for them? No. They just, they still continue to not recruit entrepreneurs. Does that change the the playstyle for the for the people that do use entrepreneur? What's entrepreneur? It, it was a very powerful trait that the high elves could get for their wizards that allowed you to get ridiculous amounts of income if you got enough of them. Like, you, you, it takes a long time to really get it going. You need, like, 10 to 20 of them before you start to see loads of return on investment. Uh, if you just get one, it doesn't make that big of a deal because it provides a compounding effect. So, again, they, they remove it for the, the second group. It makes it less interesting for them. And so what ends up happening is that they've made a decision that benefits nobody but hurts one group of players. So what they've done is deliberately make a decision that reduces the player count, right? Like, I I just don't like High Elves in Warhammer 3. I would I would not bother. I'll, if I want to play High Elves, I'll play them in Warhammer 2. There's nothing added to the High Elves in Warhammer 3 that makes them better in Warhammer 3 than Warhammer 2, especially considering all the bugs, problems with confederations. Why would you play High Elves? Now, High Elves were actually one of the most popular races in Warhammer 2. Um... So if you take one of the most popular races and then make it not popular anymore, you kind of kill a lot of replayability for Warhammer 3. Um, for no benefit. And you could argue that, oh, but multiplayer benefit. I tell you right now, if, if your interest is multiplayer head-to-head uh, -head, like esports, there are so many more bigger problems than cheese. Right? So many more bigger problems. Right? And the thing is, the High Elves weren't actually the strongest race in the game. The Beastmen were, um, I think. And, uh... The Beastmen is still maybe the strongest race in the game. Maybe. You know, but you could argue Corn is stronger. And... You get that across the board, right? With a lot of decisions that just benefit... That don't benefit any group of players, but punish... Especially min-maxes. Especially min-maxes. So they basically just get rid of a certain group of players. And it reduces the player count. So nobody benefits from that. Because you, in Warhammer 2, you always have the option to just not do it. You know? Like, no, like Knowledgeable is another example. Like, um, uh, I like recruiting Knowledgeable. But here's the thing. Uh, Knowledgeable is actually not optimal. Like, recruiting and disbanding for knowledgeable. The, a lot of the, the developers or whatever say that, oh, it's, it's mega cheese because you can get, like, you know, unlimited wins of magic. Look, after a hundred turns of recruiting and disbanding to try to farm knowledgeable lords and heroes, you might get ten. Okay? And ten is worth fifty wins of magic. How much value is fifty wins of magic to an army? It's a bit. It's good. But it's not like after all of that monetary investment that suddenly your armies are indestructible. No. No, absolutely not. In fact, you probably would have been better not spending that money and just building up armies and just killed more enemies. So, by getting rid of that to try to uh, get rid of 
players that do it, they made the game less fun for some players, and people who don't do it, don't notice it. And it's fine, they're allowed to do that, but that's kind of the mentality that they had throughout Warhammer 3 Mortal Empires. Um, and in pretty much, it seems to me that what they did is they looked at my playstyle and then decided everything that Legend of Total War does, we don't like. Let's try to make th that go away. And the thing is, a lot of my strategies have and tactics have moved away, but then I just adjusted. But I don't find it as fun. Like, for example, um, sieges, walled sieges. I can still cheese sieges. Not the same way that I would, would in Warhammer 2, but I actually find the way that cheese sieges in Warhammer 3 less fun. It's actually easier in most cases, but it's, um, it's less fun. Uh, William T. did a $2 subject. What do you do when you're not playing Total War? Sleeping? Um, I don't know. Thanks, Super Chat. It could be anything. Eating? So yeah, if you go to the Reddit, for example, you might uh, you might get the impression that Warhammer Three is like hitting all new strides, and it's um uh you know it's it's the greatest thing that's happened to Total War, but honestly, it's 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 gone down a lot very quickly. Also, another thing to point out that Warhammer 3 uh, Realms of Chaos, at its peak, hit 169,000 concurrent players, which dropped off really quickly, uh, which Immortal Empires never hit. So you're saying Game 3 is a joke compared to Game 2? No, it's not a joke compared to Game 2. It's just, you can't look at it so black and white. It's that Game 3 fails to deliver to many players a better experience than Warhammer 2. That's the problem. It fails on... It doesn't mean that it's shit. It just... Like, if we use a number system, right? Let's just say that Warhammer 2 is 10 out of 10. It's not, but let's just use that as an example. Let's just say it's a 10 out of 10. So what is Immortal Empires? How how high does it climb? If if Warhammer 2... Let's, let's, let's call it a 9 out of 10, right? So, let's just say Warhammer 2 is a 9 out of 10. Immortal, sorry, Mortal Empires is a 9 out of 10. And in order to be better than Mortal Empires, Immortal Empires needs to be 9.1. Well, what it does is that Immortal Empires hits 8, or 8.5. It almost surpasses Mortal Empires. But the thing is, the existence of Immortal Empires doesn't erase Mortal Empires. And I tried to explain this to Creative Assembly, is that nobody is under any pressure or is, is being forced to play Immortal Empires. And that if you don't make the game better than what came before, people will play the previous version. And that's why there is still quite a lot of people that play uh, Warhammer 2, because Warhammer 3 didn't quite make it. And it's not that way for everyone. Not that way for everyone. Some people are absolutely over the moon with Warhammer 3, and that's great. But my statement here is that it's not everyone okay now i was around with the warhammer 2 community for a long long time right and for a huge amount of that time warhammer 2 was undisputably the best total war warhammer right okay nobody wanted to play warhammer 1 it, was, it had like 500 concurrents and it, everybody was playing warhammer 2 and everybody was unified in their love for Warhammer 2. Of course, people who didn't weren't interested in Total War Warhammer, I'm not going to count them because, you know, whatever. You know, the, there'll be a lot of people who are like, ah, I want to see a historical. Yeah, I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about everybody who's interested in Total War Warhammer loved Warhammer 2, right? And the problem is with, with the existence of Warhammer 3, you have Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3 crowds clash against each other, okay? Whereas you never had Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2 clash against each other. That didn't happen. You didn't have this conflict between the community, and you've got that happening right now. It's a bad thing, okay? What in order for it to be, you know, perfect uh, a perfect launch, Warhammer Three had to basically make it irrelevant to play Warhammer Two. It didn't do that. That doesn't mean it's bad. 
it just didn't do what it was supposed to do, that's all. Okay? It's kind of like a straight A student getting a B on their test. They just it just didn't do what they could have done. See, I thought everyone would be playing multiplayer campaigns with their friends. They didn't want people to hate their friends for cheesing. Well, the thing is, um, that's one thing that is still happening. Okay? Anybody who chooses corn is going to destroy anyone who chooses Nurgle. They're just going to destroy them. So, it's it, if that was their goal, then they failed anyway. So, they failed at their goal, if that was their goal, which I don't think it was. But let's just say it was. So, they failed at that. And then, for people who are playing single player, like me, they also failed them as well. So you fail on all, all accounts. You just failed. Now that doesn't mean it's shit. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's shit. It just didn't get an A+. Plus. Uh, Legend, why do you think this game sucks? Yeah. ABCA just don't put in that much effort since there isn't any competing games. Um, yeah, look... It's hard to say. I don't know what went on in CA. I really don't know. Um, I, I, there was, during early access, there was a bit of communication, and a lot of what was going on just I, it didn't make sense to me. Um, it didn't make sense because people that I know that were working on Warhammer since the very beginning were being shifted off the pro program um, of the project. Right? To me, that didn't make sense for a project that is not finished. Why are they being shifted off? Because obviously they want to move their resources onto something else. So what I think they've got going on now is while they do have the DLC team working, the DLC team is smaller than it was before. Or a lot of the great minds working on the DLC team have just moved on. Also, apparently, and you can sort of gauge this based on uh, ex-employees of CA on Twitter, are tweeting certain things that gives you a bit of an idea. So, for example, Simone, um, who was the like the community, uh, like he would post on Twitter and uh, not Twitter, yeah, Twitter and um, and Reddit. He was well liked by the community, but he quit right before Warhammer Three came out. Right now, when a employee quits a company right before a major game release. And then later on on Twitter says, like, half the fucking development team, or half the community management team, whatever it is he said, left the company. It leaves you wondering, hmm, something happened. Okay? CA could have mass fired people. There could have been a mass quitting. We know that CA doesn't pay people very well. Um, apparently it's very good to work at CA. Like, you get a lot of perks. But apparently the pay isn't very good. There could have been a lot of people that just saw the writing on the wall and saw that Warhammer 3 was going to be a catastrophe, and I'm talking about Realms of Chaos here, and quit, basically jumped ship before the ship sunk. Um, so that could have happened. That sometimes does happen, because people don't want to have a shit title on their resume. I don't know. You know, I'm not going to interview every person that worked at CA. But there's a lot of things that went on that le leaves you wondering. Something happened. I just don't know what it was, but something happened. You know? Now, will Warhammer 3 eventually hit where it needs to be? Yeah, because it's it's a self-correcting mechanism, um, the, uh, the development of this game. You know, even, even if they remove cheese and be like, this is abusive gameplay, um, people will push it back against it. And then they just add it back, because the community gives them too much pressure, they just do it anyway. Damn, these dwarves really hit... Oh, it's probably just a magic attack. So, it'll eventually get there. It'll eventually get there. Uh, it just takes time. Especially when they've got new people on the team. That maybe don't know really what they're doing yet. Why are you never playing Nurgle Factions? Because I don't enjoy it. It's not fun. Uh, Blood represented a 5 pound super I think the game's future depends on the DLC, but to my knowledge, the only major race left is Chaos Wars. What else is left? Am I missing any? The, the last major race is Chaos Wars, but there's minor races that they could do. So, there's a ton of, of races with very little amount of lore that they could potentially do. And don't forget that Vampire Coast was not like an army book that they, that they made. Um... 
So they could do Ind, Kuresh, Hobgoblins, um, Fish People. <laughs> there's lots of there's lots of room for uh, really obscure races to be added. Did see ownership suddenly change? I doubt it. Now the attitudes with like the higher ups doesn't seem to have changed. They're they're usually fucking idiots. Um, well, not necessarily idiots. Um, uh, that's probably the wrong word to use. I'd say that they are um, apathetic to what the game is actually like, and they're very good at running a business. So. Who knows, it could have been the best business decision for them to push out Realms of Chaos when they did. Rather than put in another million dollars of development to actually fix it, it might have been better for their bottom line to release it as it was, despite the fact that, you know, writing was on the walls that it was going to fail. Should have been obvious. They had, they had people advising them that it was not going to do well. They had people advising them and they ignored it. You know, um, maybe that was the best business decision because I've heard a story about Shogun 2. William T. did a photo subject. The game's future depends on collabs with other IP like Marvel, EX, XE, Hulk, Race. No, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Thanks, Super Chat. I don't know. It, the, the game, the, the, the future depends on them just making good games that doesn't cost them a fortune, right? Like, they could release a perfect Total War game, right? A absolutely perfect Total War game that every single person that ever enjoyed a Total War game, everyone loves, right? And if it costs them too much to make it, uh, then it's not a good financial decision for them. Alternatively, they could put five... They could, they could put, like, a hundred grand into a shit Total War game and make five hundred grand out of it and just milk the community because let's be real people are always going to buy total war games it's not the kind of franchise that people are just going to mass abandon however they're i don't know i don't know i don't know you gotta keep in mind as well that total war is not in any danger of going broke so if it's not in any danger of going broke i feel like we don't need to worry about like things like Oh, I need to make sure I pay the developers every last dollar or else it's going to go bankrupt. Don't worry about the developers, okay? They are doing fine. Right? Um, so try to push for as high quality as you can. The thing is, with a company like Creative Assembly, they will always do the bare minimum. Not, sorry, they will most of the time do the bare minimum. Okay, you've got to push them uh, to rise above and beyond because otherwise they're just not going to do it. Yeah, so I heard a story about Shogun 2, right? This is, this is um, I think it was the last project that Mike Simpson worked on directly as, like, the lead, the lead game developer. Now, apparently, Shogun 2 was scheduled for a release date, and um, they pushed hard to get it delayed, and Sega was like, all right, we'll give you two months. Two months to keep developing the game to, like, really fine-tune the... Alright, we just got briefly disconnected there. Just got briefly disconnected. No, 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 it's no, no F, no F. It, it was just, it's just a stream fart. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, I know a million Fs coming through here. I know, I know, I know, just, just chill, we're back. We're back. Never mind, no F. It was just, it was just a stream fart, it's okay. So what I was saying, um... We'll use like a... I don't know what the actual numbers are, but let's just say it costs Sega or Creative Assembly $200,000 to put in that extra two months into Shogun 2, right? And that extra two months netted them an extra $100,000 in, in sales, right? They would then look at that and be like, well, we, sh we should have released it earlier, and while we wouldn't have made that extra $100,000, but at least we could have like shifted our resources elsewhere. Sort of, sort of like that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we all like to think that a game should be released in an absolute perfect state, but that's just unfortunately not how game development works anymore because of the ability to patch games and also just the sheer expense of these games being made. Like back in like 20 years ago, you know, a single person could work on a game for a year and then release it and then, you know, never need a patch because the games were a lot simpler. You know, these are, you know, one gigabyte games. 
Um, but now, you know, you've got so much technology behind it that's very expensive, and it just takes time to and money to make these games. You know, if you look at indie games, right? Indie games can be made by, like, one person. Just look at um, Mana Lords as an example. Um, yeah, look at Mana Lords as an example. Made by, like, one person. But it takes them, like, ages. But the thing is, with Mana Lords, how many people are actually going to buy that? I don't know. I have no idea. You know, they might actually disable Mortal Empires if people play this. No, look, Creative Assembly, in some ways, are scumbags. But they're not that bad. <laughs> there are some things that Creative Assembly does that are just scummy. But they're not that bad. They won't do that. You can you can trust that um, a a company like CA will sort of le have a minimum standard. William T did too lots of You're being too hard on CA. Most people like Wormer three. Okay, you're not listening to me though. You're not listening to me. That's not what I said. Okay, I'm not. I don't think I'm being too hard on CA at all. Okay. I don't think I'm being too hard at CA. Okay. I'm not saying that most people don't like Warhammer 3. I didn't say that at all. In fact, I've never said that. In fact, I like Warhammer 3. I I'm in that category. I'm in the most people like Warhammer 3 category, right? That's not the argument that I made. At all. So, why even bother saying that? Thanks for the by the way. Okay, the argument isn't that most people don't like Warhammer 3. It's that most people probably... Well, not even most people, but a lot of people... It didn't leave, uh, live up to the expectations. That doesn't mean they don't like Warhammer 3. It just... It, it hasn't lived up to the expectations yet. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I, I've never ever said that Warhammer 3 is shit. I've never said that. <laughs> you know? And the thing is, am I being too hard on CA? Okay? No. I do not think I'm being too hard on CA. At all. Okay? I've had a lot of time to reflect on this stuff. A lot. I do not think I've been too hard on CA. At all. I don't think I'm going to reflect on this one year from now and be like, Ugh. Sorry, CA. I don't think that's going to happen. Not this time. I know I did that with Thrones of Britannia. Um, but not this time. Okay? CA really dropped the ball with Warhammer 3. Really big time. Okay, they had so many resources at their disposal that they didn't utilize. And they did a fucking terrible job of a lot of things. Okay, they did a good job with some things. A lot of things. But you can't, you cannot make the argument that CA did a good job with Warhammer 3. This had so much more potential. <laughs> There is just absolutely stupid game design in this game. So much of it. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. Uh, William T. did a photo subject. Give CA time to release content patches. They will fix it. My dad works at CA and he has a team working really hard to make it happen. Okay, now I know you're trolling. Okay, thanks for chat. Again, I have... Here's the thing as well, dude. Just let's just hum let's just pretend for a second that you were actually being serious, okay? Just I'll just pretend. I'll just humor it. Okay. I have already said that given time, I know that this game will get to where it needs to be. But my argument has always been that it hasn't happened yet, okay? Uh, what do I need for him? Uh, 
Right, so yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. We're definitely going to lose it. There is no way it won't happen. I'd be so surprised. If we actually manage to hold on to it. I'm so surprised. But yeah, I think a lot of the people who, like, go on Reddit and be like, Oh, Legend of Total War, he's so negative, he hates this game. They don't actually listen to what I'm actually saying. Do this guy seriously? He's trolling. I know, I know he's trolling, but I just humored it. Just a few years, and it will be where it should have been on release. Yeah, see, that's the thing, right? Yes, it took Warhammer 2 a few years to get to where it is. But did you know that Warhammer 2 was instantly better than Warhammer 1? Uh, William T. did a photo Super J. You often harp on about what's bad about the game, but can you na even name two or three features, mechanics that could be added that would make the experience better? It's not about adding new mechanics that would make it better. It's about fixing the ones that are existing in the game that make it worse. But thanks for Super Chat. You don't need... It doesn't need to add more mechanics. Okay? It's that It has some mechanics in the game that don't function very well at all. Right, we'll be out. Do we need this? I'll just leave it. Does CA really have issues inside the company? Heard they had a lot of changes and stuff in last year. I, I don't know. It's, it's just rumors. I don't know. Unconfirmed rumors. Something went wrong at CA for, for Realms of Chaos to be released in the way that it was. Something went wrong. And if you don't think that the Realms of Chaos launch affected Immortal Empire's launch, you're deluding yourself. Alright, we got a fair amount of dread. What should we get? I could get some more chariots for um, Kazrak. Maybe. Uh, I'd prefer to just go Bestigors, but it's that much each. We don't ever need to get Chaos Spawn. Uh, King Gold Dragon did a follow subject. I'm still enjoying Wormit 2. In your opinion, would a year, two years be a good time to wait to get into Wormit? Uh, thanks for the chat, dude. Sorry, we had a stream fight. I'll reread re that. King Gold Dragon did a five dollar super chat. Still enjoying Wormit 2. In your opinion, would a year, two years be a good time to wait to get into Wormit 3? I don't know a timeline for updates. Honestly, dude, you need to. You need to decide that for yourself. The game is fine now, but for some people, they don't like it. Most people like it. You have to decide that for yourself. If you want to wait, it will get better, hopefully. Um, can't possibly get worse. Um, you have to make that decision for yourself. I can't I can't answer that for you. You know, Is it better than Warhammer 2 in my opinion? No. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not good. It does offer some new experiences, you know. My, my thoughts are, is that if you want to get it, play races that play well in Warhammer 3 now, and avoid the races that are shit in Warhammer 3. For me, Dark Elves and High Elves are not worth playing. Just don't bother with them, okay? They have not been given much uh, tender love and care. They've been given the fucking just chuck them into the game response and put no effort into it. Don't even bother playing those races, okay? They play well in Warhammer 2. If you want to play them in Warhammer 3, go right ahead, but I don't recommend them. If you want to play a race that has gotten a lot of TLC for Warhammer 3, uh, Warriors of Chaos and Norska play really well in Warhammer 3, so play those. Uh, William T. did tell us if you could get a beer with any legendary lord, who? Um, I don't drink, so no one. Thanks for the chat. Alright, um... Uh, let's see. Uh, 
So that'll give us Razor Gores. We've got a Rampage going again, but it'll bloody expire by the time I <laughs> get down here again. Uh, hang on, 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 hang on. Hang on, I might actually get to make it this turn without the Rampage ending. Oh, but we should probably have some time to recover. Yeah. See, I could I could get there with one momentum left to spare, but we're trying to get it to eight. I just can't get it up. William Tito, two of shit. If you could get water with any legendary lord, then who? Please stop asking these questions. Okay, okay, thanks for the super chat, dude. But just keep in mind that these are kind of annoying questions, and I don't care about two dollars, so please stop. I'm not answering any more questions from you. Uh, hmm. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade. Yeah, get this. I'm gonna upgrade this. If I'm not mistaken, this will actually wipe out um, the ancestral throng. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing this for a while to ban him. It's, it's, not, it's not ban worthy. It's not ban worthy. Uh, look, I, I've asked him nicely to stop. Hopefully he'll stop. I don't know if it's nicely, but I've asked him to stop, so, you know, just, just please stop. What a strange response. What do you mean? Yeah, look, he's clearly trolling. I, I just don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, um, encourage that kind of behavior. Can't answer a simple and fun question. Okay, I was seriously curious. Okay, okay, dude, you might you might think it's simple and fun, but it was annoying the shit out of me. Okay, your questions have not been fun questions. They're annoying me. So I've asked you just to stop. If you want to have a whinge about it, that's all right. But you're heading straight for a ban. Okay, like I said, I don't fucking care about the money. Don't annoy me. Yeah, I want Minotaur Vanguard deployment. No, no, actually, you, give me um, weapon strength for them first. Um, approaching the end of the turn, I got no money left. Fuck it, I'm going to come. Oh, yes. Going right into the belly of the beast by coming over this way. Yeah, he needs some time to recover, so I'm not going to rampage. Hmm. Let me have a look at um, what we got in here. I'm trying to get a Gorble with Unsaged Bloodthirst, but we haven't got it yet. Alright, that should be fine. Let's move on. So, we are, we are going to lose a battle here over this, this turn here. It's going to happen. Can you do some quest battles for the sake of dread? Every quest five out of dread and only two works. Quest is hard. Yeah, I could. Sometimes I forget about the quest battles because uh, none of them are particularly important. But yeah, I could get some more dread that way. Yeah, so I've said it once before, I'll say it again. I appreciate every single super chat, but if, you, if you're going to do like a series of like 
one dollar or two dollar super chats and ask silly questions all right i reserve the right to not answer them okay i am under no obligation to do that if you've got a problem with that then don't super chat okay it's that simple all right you are absolutely under no obligation to super chat here but i will not tolerate being annoyed so you got a problem with that like i said don't super chat Ooh. Uh, yeah okay why not maybe i'll get allied trips from here is more. why are some of the old world revealed but only in pockets because we've had an end game crisis so everywhere where an end game crisis occurred that's where it popped up so i don't know why that one happened so Cracker Drac is an endgame crisis, Laurel on Forest, Barrow Legion, Broken Axe, and these guys. Yeah, it just it just showed wherever endgame crisis is spawned. Uh Brian Lyons did a twenty of jet. One issue I have with IE is that every battle in settlement is a settlement battle. I miss having more open field battles in 1v3. Do you think they will ever look into changing how settlement battle works? I think, yeah, they're... Ch Ooh. I didn't know those guys existed out here. I'm gonna kill them. No! I can't win that. All right, let's try. All right, here we go, guys. Cheese to the max. All right, what's our chances? All right, we got 20 minutes to fuck them around. Let's let's do this. Mr. Ham Tax, six to twenty dollars super chat. Hey, Legend, do you think you could turn Morgan into a one-man team stack? If so, how would you do it? Yeah, I think you could. Um, you'd have to get all the physicals. You basically do the same thing that everybody. Um, uh, you'd have to do the same thing that everybody does to make a one-man team stack. You know, get all the defeat traits, Sword of Cain, go up against a non-demon army, and uh, just destroy them that way because he's a Mortis engine. Defensive allies can build defenses, or they need to be military allies. Yeah, defensive allies can build outposts. No way he wins. Oh yeah, there's no way we win. It'll draw if the timer runs out. So we've got Vanguard deploy, which will allow us... Damn it! If only it was an open field battle, but it's always a beast path. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Okay, luckily Vanguard deployed. We can go into the forest in a lot of these areas. We have to... Oh yes, yeah, hang back over here. It'll take the mages to find us. Oh god, oh god. If we put all of our eggs in one basket, that's probably gonna end in failure. Just hide. <laughs> Play, uh, it's a game of hide and seek. Uh, King Gold Dragon, the ten little subjects. So, do I play as a Dark Elves Malakith majority of the time? So, I do play as um, Malakith majority of the time. What specifically is a huge negative for them in Women 3 compared to Women 2? Because Malakith specifically is a plus me in Women 2 by far. Thanks. All right, thanks for the chat. Um, I haven't played Malakith yet. I haven't played him. But from my understanding, is that the campaign is quite difficult in Warhammer 3 due to other legendary lords uh, being nearby you. Like Valkyrie the Bloody, beelines for you. Same thing with Grombrindle. So, those could be a bit of an issue for you. Alright. Uh, those could be a bit of an issue for you. Um, and then the other thing is that the slave mechanic is super boring. In Warhammer 3. Super boring. So that's up to you if you want to play into that one. But thanks Super Chat. Appreciate it. Let's 
So, what we want is to have one unit that isn't... One unit that isn't hidden. And we can outrun... Oh god, they got a lot of fast units. This one's revealed, that's okay. Just run it in that direction. Shit! What's with that weird fucking movement? Oh man, my sentry... I'm not gonna win this. Aw, oh, god damn it. Try to run behind them here. God damn it. Ran off the battlefield straight away. How the fuck are we gonna last 19 minutes here? If they had no fast units, maybe there'd be a chance, but our lit there's no way we can win the Even draw it. There's no way. <laughs> it's gonna be a defeat. Ah! We are so badly outpowered with absolutely no ability to do anything. Like, if we lose one unit per minute, we will lose. I need to save. Yeah, look at that. I just... Because we can't even stand and fight. We just have to try to derp them out as best we can. William T did a $10 super chat. I'm new to the stream, just discovered this week, and very much enjoy it. What are the best ways to fit in and avoid infuriating you? I'm open to feedback, thanks. Um, okay. Uh, thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Um, I, I would say read the chat, and if you're asking a lot of silly questions, then that would probably be. Like, you were asking questions like, who would you have a beer with out of the legendary lords? Like, th come on. Are you a kid? Um, like just, just keep in mind that what you might find funny, everybody else thinks is friggin' stupid. Okay, so the best way to not get on my nerves is just try to keep focus on the game, and don't try to divert into these sort of weird ways. I'm thirty years old. If you're thirty years old, then what the fuck were those questions? You know. What the fuck were those questions? Like, who would you have a beer with? It's just fucking stupid. It's a fantasy world. I'm not having... You know, it's just stupid. No, but nobody thinks to my, themselves, Oh, I can't wait to have a beer with Carl Franz. It's fucking stupid. Okay? Um, just try to avoid that kind of shit. You know, because I just... I don't want to talk about it. Thanks, Super Chat, though. Oh, no. Okay, now we just have to hope that they like slow down a lot. <laughs> How am I supposed to last 17 minutes? We instantly wrap from their units. And they got really fast units. Okay, you gotta move out. That's why I moved it around like this to buy us as much time as possible. Cause yeah, this fucking here can take out my entire army. I can't do anything to it. Ah, there's no way. There's just it's just too strong. Oh yeah, built towers. Yeah, there's <laughs> we got supplies. Man, there's just nothing I can do here.
It's a weird line to draw play, play a video game, but don't delve into the lore with a hypothetical question. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. I'm not a, I'm not a, a lore master. I don't, yeah, don't want to do that. There's no way. There's just, there's just nothing I can do. Like, we're at one quarter time and I've already lost half my army. It's just not possible. The only way that this could work is if they suddenly just derp out and just stop moving. There was just nowhere near yeah, enough places to hide. We're all discovered. Oh well, the uh, the winning streak ends here. Yeah. <laughs> the winning streak ends. Can't do it. I I cannot beat these hex rates. Like, look how quickly we route. We we have no morale against them. Is it me or game 3 units receive less damage from range units than game 2? Yeah, because their firing rate's reduced. Is that a Nurgle map? No, it's an underway map. It's a, It was a herdstone. Now, nah, look, we still had t uh, 10 minutes left on the back. I tried to delay them as long as I could, but because they had a Hex Wraith and all of these units in here, it was just impossible. Yeah, so... Okay, Dabba Dabba Dada did a $5 division. Hey Legion, I just started a Malagor campaign with 10 turns end game crisis, but I can't deal with Tomb King monsters at all. Any advice? You just have to keep ambushing them and keep using Flock of Doom. Like, you've, you've elected the way of pain. You're just gonna have to, like, grind them down. There's no other way, you just have to grind them down. Keep ambushing them, keep using Malagor... One man doomstack to just keep flock of dooming them to death. I don't know what else you can do. Oh no! I've lost a nothing herdstone. Oh my god, campaign's over. Yeah, this battle was 100% impossible. There was just no way you could even draw on this fight. Scrunch Crimes did a £2 super chat. F for the no defeats. What a run. What a legend. Alright, thanks. Thanks, super chat. I'm 30. I think this is a nice channel. Okay. William T. You gotta keep something in mind as well. You're being disruptive. Okay? You are being disruptive. Um, I would not... I don't want a super chat if it means that some people in the chat are going to be annoyed, okay? And you, what the questions that you have been asking were annoying the chat. And me as well. Oh, I still get dread even though I lose? Okay. Dude is a troll, stop giving me attention. I don't think he is a troll, I think he's asking genuinely. I think he is a troll. I know what trolls... You could be right. You can't just say that somebody's a troll as soon as they say something you don't like.
Yeah, we just look. We just need a bit of chill in the in the chat. Okay. The thing is, you know, we were talking about something and then that sort of derailed the conversation, sort of pissed everyone off. All right, I don't think we need the um, the regiment of renown anymore. We can get. I should have done that last turn. All right, we finally have some bestigors. That's good. Okay, and I noticed that. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. Can we reach? Oh, God damn, I was hoping I'd make it here this turn. Do I? Yeah, I do have the extra captain member range thing. Okay. You are mistaken. Yeah, I, just, I can't get there. If we have a look at them, the ancestral throng, they're defeated. Yeah, they're, they're, next turn they're goners. Are you at war with them? No. Why don't you go to war with them? You should be able to beat them. Nope. Because they're an endgame crisis, they refuse to do it. Can endgame prices, uh, endgame factions recruit? Yep, they just got a whole lot of cheats, but yeah, they can still recruit. Ah, uh, that's freaking on Grindon. I forgot that these guys even still existed. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I am going to use them to um, explode around through here. Okay, so if we have a look at Shroktak Mountain, this is part of the Herdstone here. We could probably re-establish Clark Arond as, an, as a Herdstone. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, okay. I have many, many Skaven slaves. Do you, you Not a walled city. Okay. Uh, Alright, if I fight this manually... If I, sorry, if I auto-resolve it, I will take some damage. Whereas if I fight it manually, I won't take any damage. We might have a few battles to do this time. So apparently CA just announced a hotfix for this Thursday. I wonder what cheese they're removing this time. Uh, I think the main thing that they're trying to focus on is the crash to desktop problem. Um, if the hotfix is to like to get rid of a cheese, then that, typically speaking, that's not what they do. They don't um, they don't hotfix for um, exploits or cheeses because that's not fundamentally reducing the player count. What's fundamentally reducing the player count is a crash to desktop that's happening um, in in campaigns when you reach a certain, over the end turn. People are just having massive troubles finishing the, like their campaigns. I think that's what they need to... I, I imagine that's what it's about. I'd be very surprised if that wasn't it. Do you think they'll add Beastmen with Chaos Marks in the game in the future? Uh, I mean, who knows, but I don't see any reason why they couldn't. Alright, you come in here and help as well. M Elder, two dollars image. Do you know about the Arcan ammo bug? Um is it where you use the um Law of Nehekara and it uh restores your ammunition on your undead units? If if that's it, then yes. Um, that's not limited to Arkan though. If there's another one, I don't know. Oh, shit. I forgot to turn timer off. <laughs> It'll be fine. We'll win this within 20 minutes.
plenty of time. It's plenty of time, don't worry. Uh, Scrunch Crime did a five pound super chat. Do I want Stegadons or Ancient Stegs as mounts for Warhammer 2 for heroes? What's the difference? Um, it's up to you. Either's fine, but regular Stegadons are better because they're artillery. So the Ancient Stegadons will have a higher upkeep cost and they are better in melee. But the regular Stegadons have artillery on them, making their uh, higher utility, which I always value more than just pure stats. It's not like they're awful in melee. It's just that ancient stegodons are just slightly better, that's all. And I, I really do mean slightly better. Brothers is here, he's received almost no damage. He's got a uh, troll hide armor, he's regenerating health really quickly. My wife walked in and asked me if you were that guy from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Have you gotten that before? Yeah, I get it all the time. Thanks, Zimbachat, dude. Yeah, all the time. Okay, man. Honestly, though, that is a very frequently asked question. That happens all the time. It's pretty much on a daily basis. Hey, it's that guy from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, it's pretty common. Yeah, I feel like I'll let, let them on pass. It's fine. So I don't think he's new. Uh, William T. Oh, no, he's not new at all. He's been around for ages. Been around for ages. At least a few months. <laughs> I, I recognized him on uh, multiple streams from ages ago. So if he's saying that he's new to the stream, uh, that's bullshit. You fuck, you deprived me of all my movement. Then run back. Ooh, just enough movement to get you. So I know that I know that they're like here. I know they're here. Um, I don't know if they've got another army. I could send Kazrak over here to blow this up. But what if I created a undercity? Uh, not undercity, herdstone there. That actually could be okay. 
Uh, Morgur, how hard would it be for you to beat that? I don't know. Well, now you need to get the Black Light Tower to go and defend it. Hang on, make sure you go into a camp stance. Yeah, so here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. If I send Kazrak to go do this... Ah, uh, nah, fuck it, I got an idea. Um, what we need to do here, let's claim this reward, let's get a rampage going. Shit. Can't get around it because it's under control. Shit. If I do it from this angle here, then I should be able to reach Venom Glade. When is this rampage end? Ooh. Oh, well, we're about to set that one back. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, I can still move around a little bit. Oh, there's an army there. That's good. Get your weedies in a second. Okay, there we go. Change the timer. Yes. Thank you, dude. Need to do that. In fact, yeah, it's not me. It's not me. It's not the internet. It is stream farting, but it's not my fault. It's not my internet. My internet's fine. I think it chucked me in the right direction there. Chance of ambush is 70%. I need that ambush to work. I gotta get these fucking marks of ruination. No, sorry, the um, the momentum marks. 70% chance. Come on, ambush. Yes! Alright, we need to fight this manually so it doesn't wipe the army out. I heard multiple streamers got issues on YouTube lately. Yeah, it's been a bit shit. Yeah, it's it's not my fault. No more beast path mats for ambushes? No, it seems like it. Alright, the... Minotaur should be okay to charge in here and not get wrecked in the fight. Um, Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, these ones here just stay out of it. They're just placeholders now. Everybody stand over here. And wait for the missile units to come up this way, because that's what we want to hit first. I'm just roll them up really quick. So, put them in a control group because I'm not using them. So what we do is we hit this one here and then send the, the Minotaurs charging down this way. And have um, these two deal with this. Alright, let's do this. Basically cut their army in half. Not that it's much of an army. Imagine being a rat and then seeing all of these minotaurs just 
come out of the woods. Oh, look at that. They're trying to leave the battlefield. That's fine. That is fine. Stream today? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm enjoying the campaign and. You know, trying to make the most of it. First I'm going away. They're insanely fast. Uh, yeah, we got a few bonuses that increase the speed of units in the army. So you get that sort of... Um, uh, shit, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of things. That's in it's probably increased by about 20%. So I think their base speed is about 58. I'm not sure. Twitch DDoSing. Yeah, it actually could be that a lot of people from Twitch moved over to YouTube and therefore the YouTube servers crash. That could actually be it. Because a lot of people moved away from t Twitch. I've been saying it for years. Twitch is shit. Oh no! Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you know what's going to happen? I win one more battle and it's going to tip this over the edge. <laughs> you can't end this. I can't end a turn with eight marks of ruination. Uh, momentum. I just can't because our rampage, it, it just resets us down to three every single time. I fight one more battle and we're... It's just going to tip us over the edge and I'm going to be back to here, here. And then that's going to go down to three. Because, yeah, I can hit Venom Glade. What am I supposed to do? I can't get it to eight. I just can't. I, I, I'd have to chain up. <sighs> I can't get it. I just can't get it to eight. I burned did a five-ended super chat. Uh, good morning, Legend. I'm starting a new job, 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Any tips? Um, no? <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, you'll get used to it eventually. Hope you enjoy it. It's not great working the midnight shift, but yeah, I don't really have any tips for you. Sorry. Thanks for the chat. Oh, I'm stuck within a zone of control. Legend, I love you. Rob is a bastard man. 
Great, less than legend. Okay, okay, thanks, dude. Thanks for the chat. I think it's about Rob McElhenney. Oh, no, he's good. no. I, I just I don't have any advice. I don't have any advice. Sorry. Sometimes I just don't. I don't know what to say. Oh my God! I can't believe I waited that long to get Arcane Conduit. Yes, I did it. Uh. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's just gonna get reset to three after the next freaking fight, anyway. No. So, what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure I take him out. Might light as well. Like I said, this is gonna get reset to three. Yeah. Oh, hang on, this is still going. Oh, we still going a little bit. Oh, next one for sure. Uh, yeah, not much you can do about that. Guess we could uh, occupy this with the hearthstone, I suppose. Yeah, I wasn't sure how we were going to get that to 8. Um, it's actually quite difficult to chain it up to, to get that, because you just end up resetting it constantly. That is quite tricky. We'll figure something out. Just a tip slide? Yeah, sorry. Like, I really wish I had a tip for you, but... Um, you know, I think it's really important to, to, uh, to state when you don't know something to state, I don't know. Um, because I imagine that just because you and I work the midnight shift doesn't mean that our jobs are anything alike. Um, and I just, I just don't know what advice I could give you because Alright, I want this guy here to just scout ahead a little bit. I want to know when Wood Elves or whatever are coming this way. Well, we got a bit of a rampage. I mean, it started here this turn. And it got us a lot of uh, dread tokens. Let me see, what should we get now? What do you guys think? What should we get? Um, I do really want to get Kazrak. Uh, okay, so hang on. Oh, there's Cunning. There we go. Local owned region. Yeah, that's shit for the Beastmen. What do we want to do? Could upgrade the herd stones. You know, give ourselves slightly better garrisons. You know, might have helped us. Eh, we, we wouldn't have won. Even if it was a tier 5 one, we wouldn't have won. It's a very strong vampire count army. Uh, but we've got enough to do it. Yeah, just go straight up to tier 4. Why not? 
As much as I want to increase unit caps, it would help to have better herdstones. It doesn't cost us any money. Get better garrisons. And a better global bonus from here. Okay, we just got one more battle to do there before we can perform that ritual. Let me just go through and make sure I've done them all. Yep. Better recruit rank? Uh, yeah, we'll see. Alright, we, we can get some... Yeah, we've got some rewards here that we can get. Uh, let's see. Hold off on that one for when the next rampage begins. And... Yeah, hold off on this one for a bit longer because I'm just not sure what I'm going to spend that on. I have no idea what the army capacity is, what, what our um, capacities are for Chaos Spawn. Do we have any of the Chaos Spawn things? Yeah, there's that other Gift of Chaos that somebody was talking about. No, I don't think we have it yet. Can you still do unending rampage? Nah, I've tried to can I can't train it up. It's just not possible. <laughs> not Warhammer 3. It's just not enough armies to like chain up the victories. You just gotta go such a long distance to find another army. Because in Warhammer 3, right? Uh, sorry, Warhammer 2, like a single settlement faction might own three armies on turn 10. And so you can just get so many um, victories chained up really quickly. Get sunlight when you can. The midnight shifts can get you feeling down if you don't get enough sun. That might have explained part of my mood as well. Um, I don't get very much sunlight. William T. Did a two dollars super chat. What was the first RTS game you ever played? Uh, so I guess it's a fair question. Um, probably Age of Empires 1? Or was it KK and D? I can't remember. Probably KK and D, yeah. Was it? Yeah, I think it was. Crush, Kill and Destroy. I think that was the first RTS. Thanks to the chat. Just can't remember which came first. I'm pretty sure it was Crush, Kill and Destroy. And also, how dare you ask that, yeah. <laughs> what the heck is KK and D? Ah, oh, it's really old. It's a stranger game from the 90s. There's, there's two. Uh, two games of it. It's just really, really old. Um, RTS. Yeah, it was like one of my favorite games. See, that would have been 1990... 1998 that I played that. Yeah, I think it would have been 1998. It's like a weird StarCraft. Yeah, it's like a predecessor to StarCraft. Oh shit, I forgot to recruit with... um. Are uh, you cock blocking? Fucking beast man, piece of shit! <laughs> you fucking bastard! Why 
I was hoping to wipe out fucking Grombrindle today. They bloody blocked me, you piece of shit. Son of a bitch. Oh, corn got destroyed. Well, so much for getting corner tours. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I've got to recruit over here. Whoops. Yeah, that army, wherever it is, it's on the move. Alright, so looking. Okay, so we've got access to three Chaos Spawn, which is shit. Oh, got it. We don't even have good local recruitment. So that army's probably sitting around here by now, maybe even here. It's not at Blacklight Tower, there's no way. This will give us an idea of where they are. I don't think we've got any battles to do this turn. Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't fucking care about your fucking reliability, you bitch beast man piece of shit. And play Dungeon Keeper. Yeah, I love Dungeon Keeper. That was great. Alright. You're fucking dead meat, you son of a... Oh, wow. That actually shit at me. Beastman, get in my way. Teach you a fucking lesson. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, they're in the water. Cool, we got rid of all their ammo. Uh, it's important to note, we actually don't have that much reserve, so i got to be careful with how I spend my magic, especially considering we're going up against dwarves, which will consume a lot of wins. But we should be fine. Uh, William T. did tell us in the chat. In first grade, a computer lab guy, Dave, let us all play Quake 2 LAN uh, during recess. It was really fun and my first shooter game. Once the Karens in the back office found out, they had Dave fired. F. Yep. Thank you, Super Chat. Yep. Um, I didn't play much Quake back in the day. I played a little, a little bit. Doing very much damage. So they're not blobbing up. Oh yeah, don't land now we go. Shit.
Alright, let's get the uh, Minotaur out this way. And start luring them over this way. Because, yeah, if they come over here, we'll just shoot them with the, um, with the archers. Gotta kill off the Saigor. I don't want to have to fight that again. I think we killed the other Saigor with the archers. We took like three casualties. It's nothing. There we go. Cool. We should be able to fully replenish after that battle. Funny thing is, if Torox was here, this would be really good for gaining momentum because not only could you get two battles out of this, a battle out of um, out of Grom Brindle to finish him off, and then another two battles out of the, of the other one if you ambush them. Which we didn't ambush this, did we? No, I don't think we successfully did it. Malagor only got 172 ca uh, kills. I guess we just didn't do enough damage to the blobs. Brendan O did a ten dollar super chat. I'm actually loving vampire accounts and minor sieges using five mortars to shock and awe. Vampire Coast and Luther Morgul to inch forward, followed by Gunners from behind. Started today. Hope you give it a go soon. Uh, we'll see. Thanks for the chat. We'll see. All right, cool. Let's take the replenishment. I gotta stay in good shape. War darkness. Okay, here we go. I wanted to try to wipe out Grom Brindle today. And we should be able to. Alright, let's give him some equipment to make sure we're going to be okay. Um, I think he's going to need Troll Hide. <coughs> That's good. Yeah, but we're a little bit low on Winds of Magic. Uh, can't go into channeling stance. With these last two points, give him this just to give us some extra bounce power. Sergio Z did a 200 ARS super chat. Hey Legend, is regeneration possible in Malagor and Kazrak besides endgame Isabella? Yep. Get the Trollhide armor and it'll give you regen. It's actually like double regen actually, it's really good. Thanks super chat. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh, that won't give me extra- oh, uh, do I have a forbidden rod? No, I don't. See if I can get one if I just fuse these two. Come on, Forbidden Rod. 
Garbage. That's good. Let me just see if I can try again for um, sort of strike. I got two talismans of protection. They're not great. Come on, I need a thing. <laughs> not warrior bane. Obsidian trinkets, garbage. But I don't have another one in here. Nah, we just don't have a forbidden rod. Well, I guess we're gonna stuck with fucking 40 winds of magic. <sighs> Going into a battle with low winds of magic with Malagor is a problem. But he's only rank 7. I think the game vastly underrates how powerful Ongor Raiders can be. Hang on, I've got other blind eye of seeing that I can probably attach onto these guys here for some extra side goals. Could make a big difference. Fuse items? I did. So you didn't need dupes to fuse? No, but I just did. It was just of the same type, I just don't. Um, yeah, you take a blind eye of seeing. I've, I don't have enough money for another one. I've only got two. Do the best I can. I got black tiles on my battle map terrain. Where do we report this bug? Tr firstly, try um, um, verifying your game files. Try that first. Then... Maybe increase your graphic settings, have a look to see if that makes a difference. And if that doesn't work... I, I mean, you could send a, a report to CA, but I don't think you'll get a response. I don't know what else you could do. Checking out Anno 1800 after your recent video, is there any DLC you enjoyed more than the others, or would you recommend picking it up first? Yeah, I, okay, I'd recommend the DLC that provides you with uh, additional islands. So, I think there's three. Uh, Cape Trelawney, so that's Sunken Treasures. Uh, the, Nor uh, the Arctic one. I forget what that's called. The Arctic Expedition. And... Embessa. Embessa is really good. Land of Lions. That's a really good DLC. Then after that, I would recommend getting Docklands. That's probably one of my favorite DLCs. Alright, well, we have not much Winds of Magic. I gotta really make it count. Luckily, we do have that Trickster Shard, so we can reduce their magic resistance. Okay, if I come over here, we'll try to draw their forces out this way. Because that's the big pro- Oh, yeah, and we've got to deal with this. Mm. It's got troll hide, so we can take as long as- Well, not as long as we want, but take a reasonably long time. It should be fine. Okay, you guys, you're free to come over here. Cap that. And I think this one over here, free to cap this point over this way. I can't seem to get a blob of any more than two at a time. And of course, Flock of Doom, 
takes quite a few casts. Colin Fleischer, Fleischer became a new member. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Uh, where are we going to put this? We should definitely get rid of Quarreler ammunition. They're going to be a big problem. Slayers as well. Yes, try to strip away as much of the magic resistance as we can. Well, it's playing chaos music, so that gives me a little bit of hope. Just a little bit. Gotta really make use of life leeching. Really make use of it, because like we are starving for wins here. How are we going? Alright, looks like we'll cap these two points, so that's good. That's better than nothing. At the end of the day, it's only really costing us maybe one or two wins of magic to cast it. Yeah, not doing much damage. I bet you come over here. We'll pop down the uh, the Saigor to um, to shoot. Uh, might be better actually being used in melee. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right, we got two of their points, and they're not trying to recap it. Right, I'm gonna put this one. All right, I'm gonna go into melee for unending flock of doom because I know I've got it. Because these are two pretty weak units. And we've got troll hide armor, so we're going to get regen. Let's see if we can lure more units around over here. Let's deplete their ammunition completely. Have you played Frostpunk? I think you would enjoy it. Yeah, it looks good, but I haven't played it. Alright, yeah, you, you can't stay in combat for very long. this all right looks like they're coming over here to retake this spot you guys come around over here as well That's it, this is it good. We want as many of them coming over here as possible, not necessarily the Slayers. Okay, get Melagor out of there. Yeah, they're coming over here to recap this point. That's okay, that leads it into a trap. Good, we get more of them with this. Now, once our guys are discovered here, they might send more troops over. I need to move forward a little bit. That's working out really nicely there. Hopefully we kill them before they cap this, otherwise we're gonna recap it. 
all good. Alright, ceasefire. Cool. A shattered unit can't detect us, so that's good. Cool, cool, cool. So far, so good. So yeah, we've got a point over here that we're using as a bit of a trap. They come over here to try to reclaim it with one unit, because they can't see the rest of our troops. And then they end up getting wrecked as they come down this way. That way I don't have to rely entirely on Malagor, because I can't. I simply don't have enough wins. No, those are just I used to pop that down there. I just realized we also don't have to take out um, uh, Grombrindle in this battle. All we have to do is cap all the points and he will be army lost out of here. This guy here is on foot, keep him out of it. Okay, three points. Two more to go. too much about the spot right now. Let's just come over here and cap this one. That will get rid of the last of their towers. They can just rebuild it. I'll get rid of it later. Okay, make sure these guys here aren't firing at will. They're gonna bring another one over here. Cool, we'll just snipe it. The three points needed. We are running very low on wins, but we have done a ton of damage to them. 150 odd kills is pretty good for them. It's 
33,000 damage. Yeah, that one's been recapped. Right, Malagor should be fine to land here. Because he's, uh, he can take a bit more damage. Okay, this one here's got full ammo, so go fight that. Okay, here we go. Cool. Another one gets wiped out. Nice. Sean became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Definitely gonna win one way or another here, I think. We've just done so much damage to them and we've barely taken any in return. Thanks for catching anything. Uh no worries, dude. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. So yeah, I don't wanna put down a flock of doom unless I'm hitting at least two units. So over here there's two. They're recapping this. No, that was that one over there. Three Alright, back over here again, see if we can recap this. I think we're getting pretty close to capping all the points. Alright, I don't think we need to. Um, Hold this. What I'm going to do now is just make a beeline for here with everything that we've got. Don't worry about fighting. We're just going to try to cap the point. That's what we're going to do. So these two here are going to cap this one. And all the Ungors are just going to run over here and capture this. And I'll use this one here to just keep Ungrim busy. Ah, Ungrim. Uh, Grumbrindle busy. Get in here, don't worry about anything else. Just cap these points. Uh, Wesman1010 did a photo super chat. Beastmen are my least liked race, but you make them interesting to watch. Alright, thanks, dude. Um, glad you like watching them. Move, 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 move. Forget about fighting this. Just move. All we're gonna do is cap. Because we're never gonna get the uh, army losses and beat Ron Brindle. He's unbreakable. Got him fighting summon so we can't actually do any damage to the army. Okay, and I think they took too long. There we go. And even though Grom Brindle hasn't broken, I don't need to fight him off. Cool, we barely took any damage. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Game is like, Alt F4, how dare you! Stupid game, that was... I did such a good job with that battle.
Yeah, fucking crashed. Uh, Gaboinky did a $5 super chat. Hey, mate, when playing Warriors of Chaos, since they use Warband recruitment, what is the point of military buildings of your vids? Um, they, they're not very useful, but they will allow for other... Um, so they'll allow for higher tier warband units to show up. So for example, if you want a Chaos Giant to show up in your region, you have to build the, the Chaos Giant building. If you want a Manticore to show up, you've got to build the Manticore building. Um, increasing the Chaos Warriors that'll show up. So it just increases the potential pool of those that you can recruit. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day there. I think it's the universe telling us it's time for a break. Um, I'll go chuck a host over to someone. Let's have a look and see who's streaming. Very long live stream today. I do want to continue the Beastman campaign. It's low turnout though, but I kind of feel like no matter what I do, everything's going to be a low turnout. So maybe I should just suck it up. Alright, let's chuck the host over to uh, Mercy the Mad today. Yeah, like, it's not just me, even Mercy's got a way lower um, view count than what he would normally have, I think. Because he'd normally have like about 80. Alright, let's go talk to the host over to Mercy the Mad. And I might live stream tomorrow, we'll see how we go. Um, I do want to continue this though, but, uh, oh, the average view duration is good. It's just the concurrent viewers are so low, but I think it's just, I just gotta wait for the next patch put it, to bring people back. So I don't think it matters what I play. People are just not going to show up, you know, as, in as, as not large numbers as what we've previously seen. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to go get some rest and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.